Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the decadent Feathers of Liberty vanilla infused flavored coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the dark roast FNT blend of the fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Nerdrotic.com. show going uh, yeah, we we actually uh, some of show. our best jokes and wood, guns, everything. Yeah. you know how it is Hot women you know how it is it's friday Please night show. tights what's up how's it going everybody we're still here we're still here <laughs> we're still here good, Gary. <laughs> yeah we're still here we made it another week we Woo! made it one week without a johnson wait so never mind <laughs> 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 Not much. A little bit. A little. Uh, <laughs> a little. Very, very little. I, I heard a minute bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Micro, you could say. Uh. <laughs> it's a microaggression. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> micro. Micro. Aggression. Mm. Focus on the micro. That's yeah. right. That's wow. Right. We, we have a rule. We have a rule at the Benny Show. It's uh, Glocks, not cocks. There you, go. <laughs> there you go. We probably should institute that Bam. for this show too for future episodes. Yeah, I didn't know we had to make that rule, but uh, now we do. Yeah, you have to. No yeah, well, to we got the team together and we we found a solution to anytime somebody's going to whip it out. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> <laughs> hours oh. of meetings to come up with that clip. Hours of meetings. Uh, hours, hours. Uh, and luckily, luckily, we are blessed with a chief diversity and inclusion representation officer in Ryan Kennel. Yes, thank you, Ryan, really for your is, service. He's, he's really focused on all of the all of the right things, and he got us through this tough time. Uh, this is the first crisis Friday Night Ties has ever faced. We've never had a controversy ever. No mean it's words have ever been I'm said. Back on the show. I'm back on the show. <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. sorry. You're here. Yes, thank you. It's good to have oh, you back. Uh, honestly, dude. Come yeah. on. <laughs> we did miss Az last week. We did. Yes, as as yes. was gone last week? Yeah. I was, cool. I was skipping in fields of daisies, touching grass, feeling the sun yeah. on my face. Playing Conan. You were, uh, yeah, yeah in other words, cow. masturbating vigorously uh, over oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, to, to bigtittyasians.com. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You could just watch FNT and X Ray Girl. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny. Well, you know what's funny. As has defiled 
my character <laughs> on stream. Already. Right, you've sat on my face. <laughs> uh, you... Are you guys talking me. about that video game you're playing? Or... <laughs> yeah, Conan. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. All right. So All right. last time I was on Friday Night Tights, <laughs> last, time I was on, last time I was on here, they, we were doing it live at like the Hype yeah. House in Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And somebody yeah. photoshopped x-ray girl in a bikini like laying on the table like people were gonna eat sushi off her <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and my wife like my wife day. who was at a hotel like who was at a hotel um in collapsing you know disney the collapsing disney empire uh she she happened to tune in while she was putting the girls down she's like why don't we watch daddy let's just let's see daddy and she opens up her phone and here's x-ray girl like wearing practically nothing and she's like right on uh, right in front of me like the sushi sticks <laughs> and she's showing this to my two daughters oh wow and and uh and, and case like you should she warn me oh. yeah. Kay goes you should warn me yeah. next time i mean that didn't yeah, actually yeah. happen <laughs> when i make this, so the live you're stream setup, that, i say not for though? kids all right yeah, not, you're saying okay. it's not the first time this show hasn't been family friendly is that what you're saying betty <laughs> <laughs> so the episode where she's lying naked on the table and you're eating food of her she wasn't she was just doing a foot fetish thing for the audience <laughs> the entire show yeah, yeah yes entire yes show. Yes, we it's remember. true. Much better. No, in Florida, it's weird to wear socks, okay, with your sandals. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is true. Don't tell my father that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an age, you know. You pass that. Yeah, age there, and it's well, okay. there's the don't I don't give a fuck age. I'll wear I'll wear khakis. I'll wear socks with my sandals. My feet are cold. My feet are cold. I'm getting there. That's okay. So I don't believe in white privilege, with that exception. Like there is a total <laughs> privilege. To being able to wear sandals and socks and you do you hit a certain age as a white dude and you're like it's time for sandals and socks it is my yep. it is in my genetic code gary yeah, holds the slot. card right there yeah i think That's it's right. like it's a point in your life right where it's like you know you're not working anymore you've done everything you want to do you don't give a fuck who respects you or not you just do whatever you want that's mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're all working towards. I mean, yeah. I, I firmly believe I'll probably get killed by somebody before then. So, uh, whatever. Most likely, I'll talk. Get, really get to that point. But. I'm of the age oh. where I'm actually asking for socks for Christmas now. Wow. Oh, I started yeah, that a long but the time change ago. is yours are to jerk off in. Yeah. Oh. You're, it's you're time running to out take, of socks. Take the sock off your cock and put it on your foot. <laughs> That's the Make age. Make that I'm shirt. On. Make that shirt. Make that take shirt. Sock off. Your off. Cock. Socks on cock. Dr. Goosebumps. Sock off. Sock off. Keep the cock on. Don't cut that off. <laughs> oh, not no, in no, California. No, no, no. Yeah. If you didn't think there'd be any penis related humor on this show, well, uh, yeah. I guess you, you didn't watch last week. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, and I, and can somebody, I, uh, this is going to be, this is going to be so macabre, and I'm probably going to regret asking, can somebody give me the setup for that? Oh, I, we, can somebody explain went why? down. Um, why? why last yeah no not really i mean I, I, why would someone want to show their little penis on air uh i guess yeah. just for it just for attention right just i'll give you a, why, give why you a set up I, okay. I know why okay so gavin came in he th he had a preconceived notion of what nerds were he thought they were basement dwelling losers that had no life only yep. wanted toys play video games and read comic books that sounds then, fucking awesome dude we all, sounds know, great we all <laughs> gave him reasons why that makes no sense and that's not how nerd people actually are then he went around and asked everybody what their life was found out that we were all successful had our lives together was shocked had no argument against that so he just pissed on his own desk <laughs> i think that pretty much sums go. it up there you go thank you garrett i think you had plans to do some kind of uh a big or not so big finish because he knew he was doing three hours well, it, it definitely wasn't a big finish him. that's for sure <laughs> it, was not, it was not a big finish because you saw yeah. him like i rewatched it you saw him fumbling with something in the in the minutes leading up to it and this is also the same guy like he he likes to be a provocateur he's he's somebody who has like fake swatted himself which i would never yeah. advise so he's all about pushing the envelope by just he, like he shoved a dildo up his ass before yes yeah, he's I done know. things like the, that the, so these I don't are know things was... on these are things that are on his own sure. you know channel no, I, don't know know know. Reaction, I don't think yeah. it was a reaction to anything that we had said or done i think he was always planning to leave that being his final dismount because he did it right at the three hour mark yeah 
Yeah, right? I mean, I, I think I think ultimately what it comes down to is, is Gavin's penis made the same amount of appearances as as did last week, which is zero because none of us could actually see it. Oh, so, uh, that's really what it comes down to. Well, uh, that is one little dick. And if your intent was to embarrass wait, us by pulling your little ass dick out. And as I told as. If anybody was going to pull their cock out on FNT, I would assume it would have been as at some <laughs> point. But it, here we are. You know, expectations subverted. Yeah. I guess. You know. <laughs> <laughs> expectations well, subverted. as I've stated in previous live streams, uh, it was so small the YouTube AI did not pick it up. This the stream was monetized until I took it down completely <laughs> and i'm sure people were flagging it and as you guys said earlier the bots or whoever works at youtube when they actually get around to it probably couldn't see a thing so it like, must be bigger than three pixels uh, <laughs> in order to register yeah in the magnifying glass oh, my kids man. were watching but... though during that <laughs> they were going out to get my the pineapple pizza right that i was talking about and they were waiting in the car for the pizza. They're like, oh, it's always Friday night tights. This happened on the Boom. kids' TV show. I mean, yeah. God, it's <laughs> unbelievable. They kids laugh. Okay. This is my kids have good show. sense of humor. Yeah. 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 My you, kids you are old. Mr. Rogers. Is this a kid's show? Yeah. Friday night Kinky. tights. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone Irish on uh, the show? No. A little bit. Not much. A little bit. It's in the distant Scottish. past. That's why There's I'm not. In the distant past? No. There's a few white boys. You can go for them. Okay. <laughs> just As wondering you, be it saint patty's day and everything happy saint patty's has. day yeah happy saint this patty's day you alcoholics wearing green look at that yeah and yeah. have a potato they care. yes no i can't i'm doing keto enjoy your po potato I famine it, the, the girls the only two wearing green you guys the only yeah. ones give a fuck yeah. about that shit yeah. <laughs> that's right i keep forgetting it's saint patty's day this that, that's like a big deal like in school Yes, yeah, you don't, don't get care. pinched. Or so whatever. you didn't get pinched. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to get. And I pinched, never though. wore green. Yeah, I was like, yeah. So so down the so down the street from my house is uh, a, a like really campy Irish place called Beef O'Brady's. Oh yeah. Have you ever heard mm -hmm. of this place? Oh yeah, yes, hundred yeah. percent. Like yeah. yeah. And on like cable access television around here, I'm in Tampa. They have uh, the Beef O'Brady's ads, which are like. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's like this pantomime, like Dylan Mulvaney, but like Irish, like looking, <laughs> like freckles, like painted on like her face with like oh, a red sad, raggedy yeah. Ann win. It's like, mm -hmm. I'll put a, I'll is, put a morning to you, beef or Brady's and everything. And my wife, who's 100% Irish, my wife's watching this and we're like on the cat. She's like, how, how is this not cultural appropriation? Right? How is everything else is racist? Always sunny okay? in Philadelphia. Yeah, exactly. Always yeah. sunny in Philadelphia. They but still this, have that like, episode up. Absurd <laughs> pantomime of Irish people. And there's like a cartoon leprechaun, right? And everyone's getting coins in their beers. And, uh, you know, like, <laughs> and it's St. Patrick's Day. And so I don't like, thank you, Irish people. I guess I want to, my, my message is thank you, Irish people, for not being so effing offended all the time. Yes. And letting us have a day to make fun of, with you, the uh, the glories of your culture making fun of people is part of being accepted you know yes. laughing at people laughing at one another when you put a protective bubble around who can and can't be made fun of you're only putting a bigger target on the people to get made fun of that you except, don't want to be made fun of for when you make fun of geeks that's not okay so hell no you can <laughs> you can you can but also. geeks but you can but not when you're completely uh arrogant towards it to where you don't un even understand it so but ultimately like that's why we see like what i say about the star wars hotel thing when they posted those two fat lesbians what did you say about me one, oh yeah uh, besides as i'm not talking about as this time but when they post those two fat lesbians then what did you think was going to happen because they were celebrating them and all star wars was doing was putting a target on them and they knew exactly they what knew they exactly like, hey, uh, what, we we put these two fat lesbians up. All these alt-right Trump supporters are going to make fun of them, and then we can build a narrative about toxic fandom again. So, so they're just using them. Mm -hmm. They're just using yeah, them. yeah. It, 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 I still think that's bullshit. Those are the only people that actually want to go to fucking a Star Wars hotel at this point, Jeremy. That is Disney Star Wars <laughs> audience. Conspiracy. Your choice was between like some anime profile they them fucking freaks who would never go out in public anyway, or fat disgusting lesbians. Pick your poison. Star Wars. As I've said. The, re the, the reviews, especially for like Blood Origin or Velma, are dropping so low they're actually representing the percentage of people who these shows are for. Three, four percent. Is it down to three percent? <laughs> yeah. That's wow. about it. 
Uh, hi, it's Friday Night Tights. Uh, again, we survived. My name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from nerdrotic.com. We're going to get through the introductions quick. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Gary from Nerdrotic. I'm Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Um, let's get this party started. I'm glad to have Az back with us. I am hi, too. Az. I missed you. Not would, really. You know, I, that was the perfect <laughs> moment to go, sup, N-word, but <laughs> just can't do that nowadays, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, unlike Linus Tech Tips, we don't drop hard R's around here. So, uh, <laughs> is that what it means these days? <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, I don't know how was, many people are going to get that, but that shit was funny as hell. It was hilarious. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I used to drop the hard R all the time. All the time. <laughs> Years ago. <laughs> like, you mean the N-word? No. Like, no, like something, <laughs> you know, like, when you mean slow people, yeah. oh, retards? <laughs> That's what he thought the hard R was. And he's like admitting it in front of thousands oh of people. He's just like, no. ah. he's just like, oh, let me fact check this. Hold on. Wait a God. second. That's not what it so, means. That's so funny, dude. It was so funny. <laughs> no, oh, Matt. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, shout out to DSP side scrollers. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch a second of that. Oh, my God. That was amazing. I Adam watched Kriddler all five hours of it. I could five not hours. Stop watching oh. it. It wow. was, dude. It yeah, was... imagine watching a five hour stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of DSP? No, not dude, with that. Yeah. Dude, that was pure entertainment right there. Holy shit. All, I, <laughs> Gundam was there. Keemstar was there. Everybody was there. It was wild. I heard I heard Gundam got kicked from the chat. That's what I heard. Uh, I, Is that true? I, I, don't, I don't think he actually did. I think it maybe YouTube just wasn't let let him post some things. No, they had slow mo. Kicked. They had slow mo turned on to where like you couldn't comment for like every two minutes. It was weird. So like my comments, yeah. like I was trying to comment. Yeah. So, but um, it was fun. It was fun. As I kind of threw it over to you, this is where you kind of like. Yeah, but you carried on fucking so, talking, Jeremy. Yeah, well, that's can, you, true. Yeah, I'm trying to fill in the dead space. Not the video right. game. It's time to introduce myself. I'm gonna sit back, relax for a bit. Okay. Get a get a drink. I'm gonna be here for a bit. So, uh, hi. Out the crying. Maybe he'll explain. That's sexy right there. <laughs> it is. That's that was pretty sexy. good. Really you should great. perform at the WEF. <laughs> yeah, remember, you remember that uh, lady like playing the like the, the mouth good. flute at the WEF? That would be great for that. <laughs> she was such a <laughs> Thank you for watching. Friday Night Tots. I wonder how much to pay her. Gary, I will Venmo you right now. I, like with the amount to get her to do a new, like an intro for Friday Night Tights. And she can do like the oh. official Friday Night Is she night on night Cameo? Night. If she's on Cameo, we could probably get it for 50 bucks. She got paid, she got paid in kale. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I think they siphoned some funds off that Ukraine money. So she probably can make a bank. I don't think we can afford her. That's right. <laughs> so how was uh, Gotham Knights, As? Oh, it's dog shit. Okay, thanks. I saw one clip Welcome. of Gotham Knights. Welcome. And, and it was about dead naming someone. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's actually so, really funny. Yeah. There's a brother and a sister. Uh, they were being questioned by the police for the murder of Bruce Wayne. And the sister told the police that she's bisexual because that's what you do in police interviews. And then the the brother, I've got the clip. Uh, the here. guy says, uh, "Oh, yeah. but your name is actually." And the other policeman goes, "Stop! Don't okay. dead name them." Oh no! And of course, this is again spoiler alert. Bruce Wayne is dead. Batman is dead. Are these superheroes right, sure, dead or something? Batman. Or are these just random teenagers that they pulled off the street? You know, because yeah, the world the needed another show with a dead Batman. Like yeah. we and just haven't had enough. Person. And and. Yeah, and transmission. Because your birth certificate says you will don't die. use his dead name. Oh, fine. I got another dead name. I just want to, that's stunning Bruce and brave use of pronouns. Oh, I just lost oh, all respect oh. for that actor. I used yeah, to like that actor. Uh, By the way, that's, dead Misha, to me. that's Mika Collins, right? Yeah, Misha Mika Collins. Col uh, Misha Collins had to apologize because he accidentally said that he was bisexual when he wasn't. Whoops. What? And he's he went to a, a supernatural because okay. he played Castiel in Supernatural. Wait and he went to a supernatural a minute. convention and he and he was talking to the audience and he said that he this. was bisexual. And then a couple of days later he was like, 
sorry, I'm not actually bisexual. I'm happily married with children, but I got a little bit carried away, so I just sort of said I was. Okay, hey, I mean, me everybody on. assume all actors in Hollywood are bisexual anyway, but, uh, you know, how do you just, yeah. It's Hollywood. Yeah. And if, if I'm not mistaken, that was actually, like, the result of a question about shipping between him and... Uh, Dean. And Dean. Shipping. And I think that's kind of where it got. But, yeah, they, they made a dead a dead name joke and a Bruce Wayne joke in the same couple sentences here <laughs> with this trans character. I'll play it one more time in case anybody didn't hear it. Because your birth certificate hey, says you were... Don't born. use his dead name. Ugh. Ah, oh God. God. I got another dead name for him. Bruce <laughs> Wayne. For Take a walk. Oh, wow. Don't use his dead name. Take a walk, bigot. I got another wow. dead name for you, Bruce oh, Wayne. The good news yeah. is that guy I got another dead name for you. I got another dead name for you, DC. <laughs> <laughs> dead comics. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Oh my God! God, and that's not even the uh, worst of it. Dead comics. When, when little see. when little Robin comes out and beats the crap oh. out of like a couple of. By the way, that girl is four eleven, five one. She is tiny. I'm G genuinely Gary, confused. When you're, when Every you're poster a... that nobody has <clears throat> costumes or anything. What are these characters? Uh, they're dog shit. When you when you uh, have a secret identity, Gary, what's the first thing that you sort of do? When I have oh, a secret, uh, not tell anybody. Oh right, okay. And wear well, a she, mask. She she, uh, she she blows up the police car, saves them, and goes takes the glasses off and goes, "Hi, I'm uh, Carrie Kelly. I'm <laughs> here's, here's my social security number okay. and yeah. uh, my uh, here's license. My dress. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're coming in my mum's car. The license plate's on it. You can <laughs> yeah. uh, find out where. Here's I live my that tax way. return. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, can we just stand over here? Here's my medical records. My feelings. Yeah. <laughs> the CW dude. Yeah, that's it's, the CW. It's going show. down in flames. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Uh, company, a, a, a network so bad it gave itself away for free. <laughs> if somebody would assume seventy-five percent of its debt, so here's it's never made a penny uh, of did profit ever in take its existence. That deal? Yes. Okay, and yes. and wow. considering the CW was on the air on broadcast, it made commercial money and it never turned a profit. How are these streaming services doing? While it was getting. You know, there was one point where Flash and Arrow were pulling like three, four mil. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. And they were like good. Natural was a big hit. Like, well, mm -hmm. Gotham Knights was a, a massive time. hit. It brought in a staggering six hundred thousand people for its debut. That is with a demo. Of that's way one more one. than I thought would, like would watch it. That, that must have been all YouTube. Half of it must have been YouTubers. <laughs> I, well. That's its debut, so it's probably going to drop by about thirty percent. Oh, it'll be in under two hundred thousand within three weeks. So, dude, it's going to be cancelled within three weeks. Yeah, I, well, a lot of stuff is, and we'll talk about that. Hello, shout Ryan Kinnell. Uh, shout out to Willow. Uh, nice shirt, Ryan Kinnell. Why are you copying me, dude? Yeah, I don't know. I just I felt like I felt like and I wanted has. to wear it today. I looked at a green <laughs> shirt. I was like, "Fuck that! I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be a rebel." I'm going to wear my Make Marvel Mail Again shirt. That's right. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good. I've been sick like this whole week. So hopefully my voice holds out for a while today. But I'm excited to have Benny on the show. Uh, that's fucking going to be fun. And yeah, let's rock and roll. John Kasdan says, by the way, Willow isn't canceled. We just released all the actors from their contracts because we don't plan on doing one for a while. Okay. I, I, didn't, get, still I, happening. So. <laughs> I didn't get fired. I always leave work in the middle of the week crying. Um, yeah. it, it, it feels, it smells to me like that. Uh, the Ryan Johnson trilogy, right? Oh, it's still, mm -hmm. it's still happening. It's still happening. Yeah, hey, uh, Ryan, uh, if you want to feel better, get some soup, stop making out with Jeremy. Uh, that would be my suit. Advice. I don't know how the fuck I got brought in. I've been trying equation. to stay as far away guys, as I can. Because you guys are yeah. like living together now. Yeah. No, we're not. So I, okay. I don't know. That's living not, together. I don't know what you're talking about. You I'll are in this. Here. You are <laughs> living. <laughs> okay. Under well. The same okay. Roof. You are technically married. Extreme cuddling <laughs> in the middle of the <laughs> night. I don't know like where you keep your toothbrush or anything. None of my Wait, business. I don't want to get too personal. Time? When would I have time to do anything with Ryan? Jeremy, if you could do a video in ten minutes, streaming. I'm guessing you can do other things night, faster. Night, yeah, night. yeah. I have four. He's always streaming. In between streams. Doing his Fortnite before until three o'clock. Fortnite, motherfuckers. That's right. Real men play Fortnite, motherfuckers. That's right. Right, real men play Fortnite. Damn right. It sounds like Ryan, Ryan's been nagging Jeremy about a streaming. You stream oh, yeah, too much. Dude. Oh yeah, I, I stream all stream, the time. You don't spend enough time with me. You stream too much. Oh, you never give up. <laughs> no, but I'm doing good. It's rock and roll. Awesome. Hello, quarter black Garrett. Hey. 
What's up? I'm very happy that Benny is here because yes. he's the only Johnson that we are going to see tonight. Oh, oh wait, okay. Wait, wait for it. No, wait, no, 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 sit no, down. Wait, sit your okay, ass down. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. This is a kid. Later in the show. Later in the show. Family Locks, show. Not Cox. That's right. That's the way. That's a toy. That's a water pistol. That's what we said last week. Hey, oh. oh. <laughs> Was it a snub nose? <laughs> what are those little one dollar ones uh, you get in the ball machine? There you go. <laughs> Hi, Chrissy Mayer, comedian. Hi, Barry. It's great to be here. Um, I watched the latest episode of The Mandalorian. I don't know if we're going to talk about it or I not. I did. We Maybe can talk about no. it. No. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I'm. It's great to be here. Uh, I agree with everyone. Yeah, ready to not see any penises this show, and um, yeah, very excited for Vegas. Yeah, did you yeah. sell out? Oh, I can check. Did you sell out? I was surprised if you didn't sell so out. So it's like, the day after the meetup. Going right there at the oh space. My God. Uh, I, I put it up on Instagram. Well, my wife wow. put it up on Instagram. Because... Yeah, I mean if. If it sells out, they'll add a late show, and then we can get real weird at the late show. Uh, well, how weird? <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to ask. Not, not that weird. Yeah. It's, like, it's like Ricada weird, weird or, <laughs> you know. All right, yeah, there's still seats available. God, this is like a, you can't even tell. But like ha less than half. So there's some you seats. You just got a message on your phone, Chrissy. It showed it. it came across the top. <laughs> she got scared. It's <laughs> <laughs> you always hit do not disturb when yeah. you show your phone. It just says, always. latest dick pic. <laughs> Holy shit, Hi, Frank. <laughs> What's up, Frank? What's up, filing cabinet? <laughs> where he is. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to have you here, Chrissy. Hey, there, you might have a club to play. Well, someday it, in Austin, the mothership. Yeah. Oh my God! I heard about that. Yeah, I I heard you had an awesome time seeing Chappelle, seeing Rogan. I'm, I'm not Ron White. Ron White. Ron White. Ron White. Wow. And um, I keep forgetting his name now. Damn it! Dave Chappelle. Kill Tony. Chappelle? Joe Kill Rogan. Tony. Kill Tony. Kill the, the guy from Kill Tony was oh, the best. Me. The best it's comedian. Good. He was okay. so freaking dark and good. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, like Chappelle coming out like <laughs> wasted, like just fucking wasted. And uh, I get to that level. he had a Guinness. He had a <laughs> shot of tequila. He, you could tell he was oh. high as a kite. He came out and said, I've got no material. Then he freaking slayed for 40 minutes. It was great. Wow. <laughs> That's the best. He was a legend. That's amazing. Yeah, Ron White was awesome. That, that's I like, love Ron White. That's like one of those all time. That's like one of those all time. This is the opening of the comedy mothership. You were there. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's the it's like the, one of the all time like greatest. That'll go down in history as like one of the one of the great like moments in comedy history. Like you were part of history there. Yeah, yeah. Because I it, all we club. knew about was Joe Rogan. That's it. And an opening act. Yeah. And uh, yep. and I knew it was his club. I didn't know he was building it for two years. And the GM watches the channel. Thanks, by the way. Um, and it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be based on the, um, the comedy store, Mitzi, Mitzi Shores, the comedy store. If I'm getting that wrong. Sorry. Pauly yeah, Shore's mom. Joe spent a lot of his. Yeah. That's where him and yeah. Chappelle cut his teeth and it's supposed to be the cancel free comedy. So we had to put all our phones in this bag. We got to keep our phones, but it's like in this bag that it's locked that we can't take out. And the reasoning was pretty sound because the comedy was pretty dark. Like it got dark and good. Uh, and the way comedy should be, you know, and rip it on both sides equal, like tearing them apart. It, it was pretty funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, especially Kill Tony. Kill Tony. <laughs> uh, I got to get him on the show. But uh, we'll move on from that. It was a good time. Uh, wish you guys could have seen it. I paid way too much to get because the tickets were sold out like immediately. So I went on because it was for my wife's birthday present. Uh, I Aww. paid too much. Aww. Worth every penny. Worth every penny. It's a good uh, gift. Hello, X ray. Girl. Hello. Um, I'm excited for today's show. I want to keep this short because we don't have Benny for long. Um, so let's uh, let's get it going. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of fitting we have Benny here because we we do have some Donald Trump breaking news. He just do, posted yeah. on Facebook for the first time. Just Facebook. So Facebook. Did, did he post on Facebook to tell everyone his YouTube's been reinstated? Yeah. No, <laughs> I just said I'm back. I just posted Facebook. I'm back. So, so does basically, that mean that he's got Twitter back? He just means, hasn't done anything, That means True right? Social's fucking garbage, which it always has been. I don't like True Social. It's just get on Twitter, get on YouTube, 
stop with this true social bullshit. And he started it way too late. Oh. Like, he should have started it, had it going ready to go when he got kicked off of Twitter so he can switch over and be like, this is where I am. But he took way too long. I there found out that of, Benny Johnson tweeted it out. I, 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 this this feels I, okay. So let's welcome Benny and see what. Uh, welcome Benny Johnson to the show. We love you. Welcome back. What up, Friday what up? Time? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Benny has respect Woo. for culture and pop culture. Woo. Woo. What was that? <laughs> it was a woo. That was, 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 was kind of creepy. That was British, weird. It's kind of creepy. woo. So that yeah, is, uh, pardon, that's, the, pardon, that's the sound that Black Aragorn makes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everyone on this channel. Listen, I would like I would like to consider myself an honorary nerd. At some point, I'd like to be knighted as an honorary nerd. My channel is not exact. It's mm -hmm. it's cultural. It's pop. It's pop culture related, but it's it's more political uh, in the zeitgeist than it would be cinematic. But I just want to thank every person uh, on Friday Night Tights uh, for keeping me educated as to what's going on in the entertainment uh, industry. I view us as like the meme where all these middle ages uh, guys are like putting their swords right in on the table. You guys are all, all, you're familiar with that meme, right? And everyone has their swords, you know, and everyone, everyone's putting their swords down because it's actually uh, your world and my world together that was able to like rip the Disney kingdom asunder. So it's DeSantis, right, and conservative yeah. politics, plus all of the pressure that the cultural creators, like the channels represented here, are able to put on. And it's attacking them from both sides in a pincer move that was able to destroy the corporate kingdom of Disney uh, just this last, uh, in the last two weeks here in Florida, which is a wonderful thing. It's been yeah, falling apart, and it's all. been great. Thank you, and we thank you for what you you did out in e East Palestine. That was freaking awesome, dude. I love that video. That was awesome. Took your YouTube ad revenue and just gave it to the people. Just gave them a check. I actually heard that Benny was going to give $1,000 in cash to the 10 people most affected by last week's show. Yeah, I was. Wow. <laughs> That's one, yeah. two. Well, that would be me and Jerry. I'll take, uh, <laughs> take PayPal and Venmo. Uh, Got a link. I My prefer in section. US dollar. No. Yeah. You know, before hey. the show started, we kind of talked. We were talking a little bit just about Disney and all the, the fails that they continue to have. And it's crazy how now, if you would have looked back five years ago, even, and looked at Disney, people view it in such a different light right now. And that's the combination of a lot of things. It's the products that's they're, that they're putting out constantly with the agenda, the identity politics, the race swapping every time you look. Every single trailer they put out is getting ratioed. And also a lot of that is what we saw, a lot of those leaked internalized memos where we got the verification of everything that we knew. These Zoom calls where these people are talking about, yes, we have a not-so-secret gay agenda. Yes, we're pushing critical race theory, not just in our content, but in our hiring practices and all of it. I think all of that combined has just led to the the downfall, at least of the reputation of Disney. We know from a business aspect that things are tight. It's going to take a long fucking time. But mm -hmm. I think when you look at the public perception, it is inherently changed. They're putting out these animated movies for families that are flopping. Mm -hmm. Strange world, flop at the box office, not even close to success. And that's really a testament to, I think, how people are viewing Disney right now. Right. Buzz Lightyear. And, and, a name like Buzz Lightyear from a franchise Toy Story flopping, that's massive. But then you you contrast oh, that with other wait. things. Before, they were hiding behind, they were hiding behind, you know, uh, COVID. They were the only ones releasing stuff. But then Puss in Boots comes out <clears throat> and just, like, everybody loves it. It kills it. It's been this, yeah. like, mm -hmm. slow burn uh, and uh, of course, Spider-Man: No Way Home came out and just crushed their their whole early Phase Four narrative. That was the it was the COVID, and these were actually hits. Now we know they all lost money. Every damn movie Aww. that came out. I know. I'm so sorry to report that in 2021, all their movies lost money. All yeah, their well, movies just, lost money. You just need to keep that same energy when the Marvels comes out, Gary, because that movie <laughs> is going to that's going to turn things around, money. baby. It's going <laughs> to lose a lot of money as well. We're, so. we're the we're the lost boys. You're not all boys. <laughs> so so <Yes. laughs> what the, what the fuck was that? Uh, dude. So no, no. And, and we talked well, then about. Well, why do you call them the Lost Boys? Call them the Lost Zayzers. <laughs> the Lost Zayzems. The Lost Zayzems. Yeah. Don't but call like, them the Lost Boys. 
And that's the you... whole thing. We've, we've been talking about how, like, these last few years, like three, four years ago when we were calling a lot of this stuff out, mm -hmm. there was so much resistance to it now. It's like everybody's waking up to what's going on now. Everybody, yeah. normies, yes. regular people, hardcore people. Like, it's this is such a problem, and they're they're operating <clears throat> as if they have nothing to lose when they do it. The, the, can I just say, the Lost Boys bit, Benny, is actually yeah. based as fuck. Because in the book, the reason why they are lost boys is because boys are stupid and they climb out of their cots and then they're, when their nannies aren't paying attention and they get lost and they become lost boys. But the reason why there's no girls in the lost, lost boys is because in the book, girls are too smart. So Disney is now saying women are fucking oh. stupid as well. <laughs> Unfortunately. Which is true. They <laughs> support this change. For all yeah, idiots. I support these female lost boys. <laughs> so uh, very, very base Disney. Well done. Yes. yes way to, way to very go. cool. Well, they're so far yeah, gone, they're cool. back again. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Just because uh, they've gone so it's gonna get so much worse. I can't wait for Snow White to come out too, and that trailer to get absolutely destroyed. What you know, can we pull up the current ratio for Let's the see. Little Mermaid trailer? I mean, a mirror, movie mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, you are because you got a dot, you fit as fuck. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you have this, is the one she looked good in Shazam. She did, I think, where, where you, you can. These oh, people sorry, can skirt spoilers. away with like, These well, you know, the the skin color isn't necessarily tied to whatever, right? They they say that bullshit all the time. With, with, with Snow White, <laughs> like literally the name of this character and everything we know is described with her skin color. Look at that, one point one million. She's Snow White because her skin is white, people? white as, as snow. snow. White people. Yeah. One million. Yeah. 1.1 1. 1 million. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, what's up with the? Oh, uh, was that? Oh, was that Garrett? That's sorry, Garrett. I Ryan. Like I apologize. <laughs> I am sorry, Ryan. I am sorry, Garrett. What's Why wrong does, with you? Um, sorry. Why does Flounder look like a uh, like a horror show prop? <laughs> I know. Right? What if? Why you got to do Flounder dirty? And why didn't they race swap Flounder? Why isn't Flounder like green and orange? Or, yeah. You know, time for Flounder. What does Blue Lives Matter? I, yeah. He doesn't look what's anything the, what's like. What's the um the, the the tentacle woman under the ground under Ursula. the sea? Ursula. 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 I saw Ursula. an article today Impulsive. saying they missed out an opportunity to make drag in yeah, the oh Little Mermaid. God. Good Lord. They should have had Why are all the, why are all the bad? Wait, hold on. Enough. So the only people you're not allowed to race swap are bad guys, right? So Captain <laughs> yeah. Hook is white, right. and can, Captain Hook's like looks like Joe Biden, and <laughs> Ur, you know, and villain. Ursula looks sense. like Melissa McCarthy. So this is like <laughs> the only people you're not allowed to race swap are the bad guys. Got it. Yep, mm -hmm. that's or it, or, that's or it. if there is a female bad guy, they're understandable, kind of like uh, no, yeah. nobody here shots Shaz Shazam, yeah. right? We no. need to stop calling mm -hmm. people that. Blow up buildings and kill eleven men terrorists. Okay, yeah, we exactly. need to stop that. You, you can be it. better. Do better. You can be better, Senator. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to turn away from the woman I'm talking to to the white guy. And go. You got to do. Better. I know, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. That's the best Why part. Are you turning to me. I love that fuck. part of the video oh. when uh, when Perry <laughs> cut back. It was like, well, what do I call them? <laughs> they blow people up and kill them. Yeah. Yeah. He's not giving his face. You call I don't them know what to do, Antifa, but and there them. are friends. Oh. Antifa. Friend. Oh, man. Antifa man killed me, Gary. Well done. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, Antifa man. Antifa, Antifa man. man. That was really good. I, I think that Little Mermaid trailer, there's so many things to look at. Hail as to, you know what? Yes, people are rightfully upset that you intentionally race swapped a red-headed white girl as Ariel. People are upset about that. But then you also get to, it's another lazy live-action remake from Disney who has no original ideas. The only thing they can do is go back to their history of like well-received products or franchises and try to do a remake. The CGI looks like absolute dog shit, especially after we all sat through the way of water for Avatar, which has incredible effects underwater. Mm -hmm. And then these other characters that you're supposed to be able to recognize are unrecognizable. You got Flounder, who just looks like a regular damn fish. You got <laughs> Scuttle, who doesn't look like a seagull at all, and is voiced by Aquafina. And then you got Sebastian oh. the Crab, who's oh. fucking insane, and he doesn't sound good either. There's <laughs> something he's a crab different that can't about breathe underwater. Her. She's black, that, you idiot. Hey, <clears throat> that, that Sebastian the Crab wouldn't even get cast in a Red Lobster commercial. No. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> the that was little man made the Snyder Under cup, the sea, oh. I can't breathe. <laughs> 
Oh God! What? what? Yeah, Tell I mean, me, now, wh- do you why swim? W- <laughs> <laughs> Somebody cut that. I want to see that trailer. Yes. <laughs> Somebody needs to cut the real. Zack Snyder Little Mermaid trailer and like put oh, in a bunch of slow mo and some metal oh. and it would be great. I'd rather watch I'd rather watch that than whatever's gonna come I know, out. I know, I would too. Movie. I would too. Like super be... dark horror version. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, I mean, isn't that I mean, is it racist again, like again, I you gotta you get, <laughs> so if you're gonna play this game, play it all the way. Yeah. Why are they? Why are you straightening her hair and giving her red hair, if she's a black actress? Isn't that cultural? Aren't you projecting onto her something cultural? Oh, no, she's she's just just in hair. Her dad's a Mexican, her right? So her dad's her, Javier Bardem. So what the hell's that about? Yeah. Have you seen her sisters? It's they like don't a think whole, this through. A whole. Now, when you say sisters, but isn't that cultural? <laughs> project? Why are you there, projecting on her ER white hairstyle? Is that an ER or an A with the sisters? <laughs> sisters. sisters? So. <laughs> again, like, it doesn't make, again, this is the question that I would ask. The question that I would ask is, would they dare race swap Mulan? Would you dare race swap Aladdin? Tarzan. Oh. They might oh. with Mulan. <laughs> I want to see a race swap Tarzan. Tarzan. I do too. Disney. Make it happen. It's very safe about not being race swapped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, well, remember in Rings of Power, we had Don Lemonless, and we had Girl Boss and their son. So um, she is Middle Eastern, he is Puerto Rican, and their son was Filipino, and that's their natural son. How'd there that happen? Is. Diversity. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. It was Middle What's Earth. Uh, it, well, I, it's Southeastern yeah. Asian, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that happened. Secret. Asian man. man. I was looking for this meme and I finally found it. And to me, it's it's an oldie but a goldie. But this is this is the best meme ever, right here. And it, it just yes. perfectly. It's it's the example right oh, yeah. here. <laughs> That's racist. Oh, Why yeah. is the black guy the villain? And then it's like, okay, we'll flip flop him. That's well, racist. Why does the black guy have to get shot? Okay, well then we'll just make them both black. Well, that's racist. Why are only black people killing each other? <laughs> that's racist. Why are there no black people in the movie? Yeah, yeah. That's a perfect yeah. meme right there. That one, of these was, one of these was my Batman review, I think. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's almost like, Jeremy, they never should have listened to these people, and they did, and they yeah. tried to sell things to them when they had no money for five to six years. We're going on six years of this garbage, and now they're like, Oh, maybe we've made a mistake. Um, maybe we should just make stuff people like, and it's way too late. I mean, like yeah. the, the the amount of time it's yeah. going to take to to change course minimum two years, minimum. Oh. You'll see it faster with TV shows than you will with movies. But by then, this stuff will be ground into dirt. Well, it already is. It already is. Like Star Wars is dead. Uh, yeah. Lucasfilm yeah. is dead. Lucasfilm I mean, is dead. That, that TV content. franchise, Gary. That television franchise. Oh, yeah, the straight-to-video franchise that is Disney Star Wars. Well done, oh, so Kathleen I Kennedy. Too much credit. That streaming, so that very limited. Oh, yes. Yeah. Direct-to-video used to make money. Yeah. Direct-to-video used looking, to make money. I sit corrected mm. as. <laughs> so, looking, forward to uh, the newest, looking forward to the newest casting of Black Panther, Jack Black. Uh, that <laughs> might watch that. I'd watch that. That would actually be pretty I, good. I would, I, would, I would actually watch that. No, okay. no. What, Wakanda <laughs> Thunder? Let's not give them good ideas. <laughs> My no, name no, Black not at all. Wakanda <laughs> Thunder. I would watch the hell out of that movie. Oh. Wakanda Thunder. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's that's when they'll finally bring back Robert Downey Jr. When they bring back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that guy going around the street uh, uh, asking people uh, whether or not Wakanda was real? And people go, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I believe it. Yeah. I, I believe well, it. Well, Benny, Benny's- I mean, considering you, if you want to see Jack Black in that role, I'm sure you're excited for this one. And I don't know if you've heard about this movie, but this is a new movie coming out very soon. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Ryan Gosling is playing Martin Luther King Jr. Um, I'm really excited about this. Representation is important. People? Hey, hasn't he just been cast as Black man Panther? who stood against the nation? Oh, my God. <laughs> it was kind of a tough casting for them because they were going to cast him as a black man, but then they didn't want to have a black man just repeatedly cheating on his wife. Wife, so they decided. Uh, so, so they, so they decided we'll cast Ryan Gosling. We'll cast twenty two situation. So they decided to cast Bill Clinton. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, and it, honestly, important, and, everybody. I'm not they cast, they Hollywood is a paradox, man. I'm not for cheating on your wife, but in Clinton's case, it's understandable. 
Oh, damn. I'm getting a lot more. People are sending me stuff right hey, now. I didn't. Happen. I did not know that this was also announced. Again, we got to get the marketing up. And this is why channels like this are important. This mm -hmm. looks this this looks like good casting right here. I think so. Um, <laughs> so oh, my God. Chris Miguel is clearly a method actor. So oh, wow. uh, people? I'm really excited. For <laughs> I don't know. I'm really upset about that casting. They clearly got the hair wrong. Well, I, like, That's true. I mean, if you're going to cast, true. like he's playing Obama, at least find an actor that has the right uh, Oba hair. Obama? <laughs> Obama? Oh, wait, wait, wait. How, did you, how do you say his last? black man because they didn't want them to have to have sex with another man, right? <laughs> Shad... They didn't want to do that if you accurately cast Shad, Michelle say Obama. his name one more time. Obama? What? Obama? You said Obama. Obama? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Obama? That's, that's, Hi, that's Shad. That's what the rumor was when we heard his middle name was Hussein. So. <laughs> his terrorist brother. His terrorist twin brother, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I thought it was very. Bomber, you ever seen man. that video of his of his brother who's like who lives back oh, yeah. in Africa? He's who's like? I know he's all. Yeah. I miss colonization. We're the roads Obama. were better. Lincoln Obama's super based. Yeah. Ba yeah. Gary said, if we keep telling jokes like this, somebody might as well get, pull their dick out because we're, we're telling. <laughs> I feel, I see this as tamer than last week. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's been on the whole time, eh? Camera's been on the whole time. There's a better the chance time. to get demonetized <laughs> this week. We're, we're like, we're we're money. We need this money to pay our bills, our internet bill, our electricity bill. Oh my lord! Oh. This one's actually so, real. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> King of Gondor. Uh, <laughs> Where's so respect? Wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Where's Aragorn? Where is he standing behind? His I'm wife's not seeing Eric. Yeah, yeah, is this like a Where's Waldo? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> behind the tree. Behind the tree. <laughs> so who dis? Who dis? <laughs> this is uh, this is actually a form of racism because you cannot tell me these assholes did not do this just for the reaction. This just. Is this Wizards is of black, the coast. This is blackface, just like when you where you swap somebody that is a snobbish character, you are committing TV or film blackface. You're yeah. not being based, you're just blackface in characters. This is another absolutely and, and it's Wizards of the Coast. So what the fucking expect? That company's uh -huh. lost. It's absolutely yeah, lost. It's fallen lost. to the to the cold. But I, this, I is, don't this, know, is, I... this is future landfill material. <laughs> I, I thought this was just the best person for the role. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> oh, what? So yeah, yeah they're like, already like dump, play, uh, which is a coast they're already dumping magic cards in landfills right now. They can't get this, so they're dumping yeah, and then, like, then they're up. doing this shit. Let's uh, fuck around with Lord of the Rings crew. They're, they're up for this. Oh yeah, it's like the worst aspect. Yeah, we of we didn't culture getting thrown into landfills because they suck. Tolkien fans Funkos, just didn't take down a next trillion dollar uh, fucking company. Story, uh, game. Yeah. yeah. So let, yeah, let's stir the pot with the Tolkien fandom because they'll they'll just sit back and take it. Yeah, uh, yeah. We saw what happened with Rings of Power. Yeah, uh, they'll roll over. Our good friend hell. European Lore, I'll, I'll find it later. Pulled up a great quote and put it up on uh, YouTube earlier, where Aragorn is described. He's described. He's pale. He's got pale. gray eyes. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, the man. This is the woman king, Aragorn. Yeah. Do, do, do you remember that how outraged people were? With the fucking movies, when he had a little beard, because yeah. he's not supposed to have a beard. Yes, like yeah. uh, th this is the type of fandom that we're talking about, right? Where if if you have what looks to be like three or four days not shaved, right? Basically, then people will freak out because it's not accurate to the books. And then you go ahead to that same fan base and do something like this, right? And, and a fan base that I mean, even though there were some turncoats but not all uh a fan base that has been around for decades that has s legit scholars not the fake ones you see on youtube or fake professors but actual I scholars like tom shippy yeah like i know scholar i'm a total scholar now i have an online university i'm gonna call myself a professor <laughs> oh yeah i'm calling that motherfucker out yeah uh so yeah no they do this to get it because if it's true inclusion then make Arwen Black. Why are you make? Why'd you make her a white girl? Mm -hmm. uh, and and there are. I'm sure there are people complaining about that. Absolutely, uh, because it doesn't do any good for anybody. And it, this is. Just, I think it's in its 
death throes right now, this whole anti-fan marketing, just to get somebody to talk. Your, your shit is so useless now, you need to do this to get people to talk about it, right? Do you think and, that's what's happening with April O'Neil? Uh, do you, I mean, like, you think it's a, it's, it's, is, it a, a is it a scam? Is it a scam to, like, to like trigger um, outrage? With... Well, no. See, April O'Neil with Seth the, with uh, with Seth Rogen is race swap. They can't race swap back. So this is yeah. the second April O'Neil that is black. So, so they had to make her fat. Said it. The last one was skinny, so they had to make her fat. So it's like two yeah. degrees. But like honestly, it's Hollywood is where trends go to die, and mm -hmm. this the woke is a trend. It is nothing but a social trend that lived. I, I would argue a couple years longer than it should have because it gave it got some new life uh, during the summer of love. Uh, but yeah. it was on its way out before then. But uh, it's where trends go to die. And you have, like, idiots uh, like Seth Rogen who uh, just smoke pot all day. They're not really that talented. They got lucky. They produced one one hit show, The Boys, and everybody wanted, made him the comic book man and gave him all the work. And, it, yeah, mm -hmm. it's just going to Everybody gonna, remember like, the Green Hornet? <clears throat> no? You don't remember that? Don't remember no. I, I, I do remember yeah. it, actually. Back back. Somewhere, Seth Rogen, B back in the depths. Yeah. yeah. How did Santa Inc. do? How that? How did that? How did yeah. that do? Oof. That do. That well, mean, it was so the good. worst rated animated series until Velma came out. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Season uh, wanna, two on the way. I want to give a shout out to our Rumble audience. We're over on Rumble. We got almost three thousand people on Rumble. Rumble. We got 13,000 on YouTube. So what up, we're Rumble? over fifteen thousand people watching right now Hell. So thank you guys thank Smash you the melee button like the video Yay. i guess our audio hey hi shad how's it going hey <laughs> i'm going good <laughs> go great how are you guys that's good Doing uh good, right? so Doing the good. time uh, let me guess the time didn't change over there in australia no yeah i was like what's, what's going on we probably should have told you that's my fault <laughs> i'm like everybody should see just what do what america does okay <laughs> well, contrary to popular belief, we we don't know what we're doing when we even plan the show out no. an hour in advance. We don't we don't adjust for time changes or <laughs> starting an hour in advance. Yes, please. Advance. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So when's the time change in uh in Oz? Does it I change? I have no idea. My wife tells me these things, Gary. As, otherwise, I'm lost. <laughs> you are medieval. You have your sundial, right? You don't even check it every day. Okay. Yeah, yeah you just kind of gauge it by the sun, and you just like, oh, yeah. it must be around. I there. mean, to be honest, I'm the same way, dude. I don't. I've, I haven't <laughs> worn a watch since I was in like grade school. I don't even know what time is. Time is illusion. <laughs> Lunchtime, doubly so. Social as as has the time changed in uh, in New Zealand. No, uh, okay. not this weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. <clears throat> All right. Daylight savings time is stupid, by the way. Dumb. Freaking okay. dumb. If one state can just say no, why can't we all just say no? Well, two states say well, it's no. Up to your, it's is up it to two your states? states? Uh, you, your fucking state can say no. In Texas. Yeah, well, Stop California it. said no, and then they never did it. They passed it in 2016, but then all the power companies said, no, this will affect our bottom line, and they, they lobbied it. Out of it's existence. even up to fucking counties in some places. So when I when I was in Indiana 20 years ago, um, when you get close to Chicago, since so many people do business in Chicago, work in Chicago, take the train in to do whatever, like several counties in Northwest Indiana are actually on Central Time, even though the rest of the state was on Eastern, and some of those counties didn't do daylight savings time. So so you'd be like going county to county, and the time would keep fucking changing. <laughs> At certain times, so yeah, you figure it out. We live in a, a silly society. I want to identify as not being in daylight savings time anymore. Can I do that? So dumb. <laughs> you could, I guess. Maybe. What the fuck does that I, mean? I don't like, know. Just not go outside. It's, no, just no. To I'm just gonna. I'm gonna refuse to move open. my clock forward or back anymore. That's it. This is day. You refuse don't to acknowledge me. that McDonald's is no longer serving breakfast. Like, don't dead time <laughs> me. Yeah. I identify as. Yeah, don't dead time <laughs> me. <laughs> That's right. Dead timing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Ryan, would it affect my punctuality at all? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey, Patrick. I'm just hoping this would make us start on time. <laughs> Hey, we started pretty close today, hey, as hey. yeah. I mean, it's because yeah, I tried. Wow, I like that, Gary. Gary's defense is we almost started on time today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was here early. I think it's I think it's appropriate. Yeah, well, that goes progress, not perfection. What do you want from me, dude? Jesus. Uh, Patrick Ells for fifty dollars. Says, "Hail Friday Night Tides and Happy Saint 
Me Day. Happy St. Me Day. Uh, hope everyone is safely celebrating. Don't want any drunken problems today. Well, we're talking about St. Patty's Day, but thank you. Mm-hmm. Don't take a drive. Get an Uber. All that stuff that you yeah. should know because you're an adult. Look at that yeah. red cup. Benny with his red cup. There you go. I Benny's got a. I don't know if Benny's still got a bottle of whiskey back there. A nice bottle of whiskey back there that I had him when I was in the studio last time. Ooh. Look at that right the there. There, nope. it there. There it is. There it is. Nice. Yep. Heck yeah. Uh, you always all... ready. Uh, rum. Do you have a nice orange juice or something, Benny? <laughs> Wait, Say it's... again. You... Do you have a nice like orange juice? Maybe uh, lime cordial. An orange juice. What? I don't have any orange juice. <laughs> You're in Florida. <laughs> I'm not going to. What the hell's your problem? <laughs> Sorry to dox yeah, you. We send it everywhere else. We don't fucking drink it. Uh, yeah, you yeah. mentioned this orange juice is thing, good. Aren't you? I drink during the day black coffee or I drink whiskey. So you like your coffee like you like your men. Okay. <laughs> no, no water. <laughs> I like my coffee like I like my men. That's an airplane. Come on. Airplane. That's a Classic. movie. That's a movie you could not make today. Oh, no, no. No way. No. no. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you speak jive? I speak jive. <laughs> I speak jive. <laughs> did, did you guys see uh, Whoopi Goldberg have to apologize for the language that she used Again? on the view the other day? But she didn't oh, apologize she... for... Was she anti-Semitic? Denying Again. the Holocaust? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> she was anti gypsy i guess because she was talking about donald trump she's like if this guy feels like he got gypped out of something and apparently <laughs> you can't say apparently no. you can't say gypped now what because it's, it's romany to you have to say romany oh really no, I, no, how do they know i could totally i could totally believe if that term got created for somebody getting ripped off by gypsies and that's how <laughs> the term was created and invented that sounds but like it sounds good the fuck, come the fuck on whoopee yeah. whoopee just start calling them beppos a Beppo is slang for a gypsy's dog. Jeez. Here they go. I'm giving it to you. Right. Gee, I, everything that woman says these days is so astronomically dumb. I'd almost say get her off the view, but it makes that show just look as dog crap as it really is. So, yes, keep her on. You keep take one retard off the view. You still have, like, four that, other that, that retards. That is true. That's true. Mm. Like the last thing I heard from her was her response of the new footage of a certain incident during January and her response. And it was basically, I don't care about categorical proof. We know what happened. And that is just paraphrasing. Because the state told us. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Can, you know, I can, just, can somebody explain to me, is there some type of like lobbyist group for gypsies now? Like, are they an oppressed people? Do they make phone calls? When maybe the they had a, they break they into it places and steal your shit. Wasn't there a re- wait wait? Wasn't yeah. there a reality show like a gypsy reality show like gypsies in America? Or- yeah, they all look like yeah. fucking whores. Like, all the women look like whores in that. <laughs> Isn't that Jersey Shore? <laughs> Much gypsy tamer Shore. episode than last <laughs> week. <laughs> Milf Manor. Gypsy Shore. Oh. I, I, I don't know. Uh, Snatch I don't really... man. Snatch was a great movie. Snatch was that's great. The, that's the only great. thing I know about gypsies. I watched Snatch. And I was like, geez, these yeah. are hikers. No, like, there's, a, a, there's a gypsy a, in uh, 1883. My big Brad Pitt American deserves a wedding. Academy Award for Snatch. Yes. Yes. 100%. Abso- yeah. That's a phenomenal Hell performance. Yeah. Agreed. Love that movie. I mean, he had to learn a different language. He, yeah. well, I mean, English. It's not. Proper English. Dags. That's a Brit joke. The Dags. <laughs> I give it to you, as I give it to you, <laughs> even though you're a Kiwi. Uh, Rum Brave for fifty dollars on the Streamlab side, circumventing whoever the hell runs this company now. Oh yeah, Google. Uh, hell. Y'all gave me a great examples a few weeks back for Captain America and Superman at their best for my grad thesis. Any more suggestions? Also, which runs stories or writers showed them at their SJW intersectional uh, worst? God bless and Semper Fi. Well, recent examples, they uh, sent Superman off to have a gay son, and then they did uh, this yeah, anniversary who, who the for... One? There's a did the anniversary for Captain America where each town had a Captain America and they had like a hobo gay mm-hmm. <laughs> Captain America with a, like a freaking trash can. Sh- <laughs> That's what I had yeah. when I was a kid when I played Captain America and he had a trash can shield like a metal one. They don't even make those it's anymore. Like rainbow. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, am, I, am, I getting, wrote- am I getting psyoped with this new like uh, they're gonna make Superman the American way again and return? Ma- him yeah. To- mm. Am I getting psyoped? Psy-op. I don't know. I kind of mm. think so. I like uh, it's. All the things that they're yeah. saying 
are the right things, which is a good thing. Black Superman, you know, the fact that we're Ta-Nehisi Coates still coming though. Yeah, that's that's still coming. I'm just, we'll, we'll see if that happens or not. Who knows? But uh, yeah, James Gunn and Peter Safran saying we want to bring back truth, justice in the American way. Blah blah blah. That's all saying the right shit. But I don't think any of us trust that we're going to see that on screen. You to know me, what I mean? It sounds just as authentic as the next series, Discovery, being like real Star Trek. Exactly. Like, yeah, next series is going to be yeah, like real Benny, Star that's Trek. a good question. He also said that Ben Affleck was really down to do something with DC, and then Ben Affleck gets asked about it. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, you can't get me to do something with the gun DC. Nothing against him. I'm sure he'll do great, but you couldn't get me oh, to direct the way they're doing that. Did you see my tweet last night from that? Did you read the most important line in that article? I'm in Flash for five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's in Flash it's really for five great. minutes. Wow, it's it's, it's he's, he's in a bad, bad way. It's a lame well, duck franchise. This, so, Did you Gary, know James he, Gunn's wife watch... has been in more shit in the last ten years than Henry Cavill? Yeah, she's in freaking mm. Shazam at the end, which is a terrible movie, but it's better than Ant Man. Uh, Gary, what, what, or, and this Jackson. was a this would be a panel question, but like for the next two to three years, who's in worse shape, Star Wars, Marvel, or D- or DC? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the reverse Sophie's uh, Okay, choice. okay. Um, I... <laughs> it's a tough one to answer. Star Wars. But I think by Star the Wars. Marvel wins. Wins. I'm going to say, no, no. Marvel. I'm going to say Star content. Wars because at least when Superman comes out, people will go see that. That will that will yeah, move DC's the needle. Yeah, DC's in the best position. Any Star Wars I movie that Marvel comes out. in the best position. Um, no. With MCU and it, it, okay. Five with Kang? By default, by default. Because no, they Michael, they just, re, they just re-upped Michael Waldron. Who wrote freaking Loki? It's another Rick and Morty light writer. No, so no, no. I think I'm not arguing that I'm not arguing it's any good. I'm just saying out of the. Well, you're asking the what the best chance. So out of the in the future, it, like it, it, of the, the next question three. Wasn't in the future. The question yeah, the that Jeremy years. is referring to is the next, next three, three years. years. The next yeah. three years. Oh, what's well, still I the said, future? The next three but, years. What is that? The present? <laughs> no, but no. What that means though is like if you look at the next three years, Disney's not even going to have a Star Wars movie out by then. Yeah. No. Uh, James Gunn's Superman movie isn't projected to be out until what is it, July of 2025? Which, which probably will not happen until the winter. Let's just be honest. So, like, uh, they're not. So, who's be worse anything. off? Fine, uh, Star Wars, because they can't release a movie. Absolutely. At least Superman yeah, will have a like. They'll ha- it'll have eyes on it, and Marvel has Deadpool, you know, and they can whip out Spider Man again yeah, or something they, like that. Got, Star Wars doesn't have shit because what Disney forgot when they bought Star Wars is and uh, apologies to the prequel fans and the EU fans. Star Wars is Han, Luke and Leia and Chewbacca and Darth Vader. That's it. That's that's in the zeitgeist. That's what it is. You know what? I'll throw a bone to the prequel fans. Anakin, too. We'll just say Anakin out there just to be nice. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't dead name him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, that is sorry. Darth Vader. I'm so, so sorry. Darth Vader transition. Come on. I... We've also been dead naming. It's Disney Star Wars now. Star uh, yeah. Wars is dead. I got Star Wars, I got, I got, Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. There correct. actually might be an argument that Darth Vader is trans because he went from. Uh, oh, they can use the trans, no Alex. Well, he went to non binary. He's non binary. Ryan, Ryan, whatever happened to the what was the, the account that used to like chat? Uh, like Dar- uh, Anakin Skywalker's charred phallus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's so good. <laughs> Need to bring that back. Classic. Need to so bring when, it back. Um, when, when, when the, the famous no scene, right? From, uh, you know, from Revenge of the Sith. Like when he walks for the first time in his robot. Yeah, it ain't about Padme. That is not about Padme. I see that. I see that every single day in my job because that's exactly how Joe Biden walks everywhere. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Joe Biden walks like like if you watch, it's always like. Well, because he's an automaton. Picture the the one where he's doing the jig. He walks like he's forgetting how to walk, like in real time. Yes. Yeah. He he walks like a T one thousand. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, what was uh, like Rick Flair doing a strut? Well, uh, the, the bit, se- uh, most of uh, 99% of Hollywood uh, backed him, and mm. now thanks to him, they're out of money. Uh, and them Dang. too. They they have themselves to blame on, on yes. this one. Uh, the Is he running the CW? No, but. Um, <laughs> He has a little sway on these things called banks, and that's where the money is, and that's where the uh, you know, and, and Wall Street and the investment and all the uh, you know, all, all the 
all the investment money that's been in Hollywood based on streaming. Like it, it had, they really loved the fact that we bailed out the movie theaters to buy them time so Hollywood could spend more time on their streaming services and their woke shit. And wow. they went all in and it was a giant disaster. Like streaming was l- what it is to every industry that has been digitized since it started with music, with publishing. Uh, there, there's no, there's no, Hollywood thought they, it would be, things would be different for us. We'll stop licensing. Li, by the way, licensing is billions of dollars that they just took away on their own, on their own. That's why you saw a couple of companies like Sony and Warner Brothers go, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We'll still license stuff. It's totally cool. Well, we'll, we'll uh, that, that means something. But now all that investor cash is gone, is gone. And, and that, that one bank started affecting it. And as I said before, you are going to see so many things canceled. It, it will it will rock your world how many things are going to get canceled and pushed off that are going to be finished Aww. projects. We've already started how to dare see you it. Cancel this. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see. I already had my tickets purchased for this film. Uh, dude, I'd buy, I would. I would watch the fuck out of this movie if this was a real thing. I don't. I would. I would uh, go see this mermaid. multiple times and <laughs> see it. I told someone the other day. If when they if when Baby Yoda it. eventually starts talking, if they just have Samuel L. Jackson as the voice, I'll be back in. I'll be back I in. And I can't Disney's swim. You got a fucking problem with that? that see, I'd watch it, but give me some motherfucking food, bitch. Benny, have you suffered through the Mandalorian at all recently? Does that say anything uh, you I watched? watched? The first, I watched the first season, and then you all told me not to watch the second. Yeah, the first season is probably the best. The, the third is is terrible it's objectively terrible i didn't mind the fr- i mean am i wrong i didn't mind the first season i was it's like, okay wow. i mean i, I like the first, first is fine it's I fine like first yeah. Episodes. yeah i like the I first, first and the second season gina carano obviously but i haven't like, watched the thir- third at all i haven't even watched it and i won't watch it the third fuck them I, I think the first season is fine i think that they I, I think that even in the first season they they really handicapped themselves and they set it up the wrong way they had an opportunity to tell this eight to 10 episode story of a bounty hunter actually doing bounty hunting shit of instead of just, hey, look at him. He wants to piece together this whole suit of armor, right? And instead of going through that and watching him like put together each piece of armor and maybe discovering something about, uh, about his heritage or his history or whatever as he did that, they're like, okay, first episode done. You just found this little baby Yoda creature. You got enough fucking... Thing to have a whole set of armor you're good to go and now you're going to be a surrogate dad if we could have seen like the decision to become like to take responsibility for that child at the end of the first season after we kind of already seen him really doing that bounty hunter shit i think it would have ended up a lot better and i think it would have maybe delayed getting into the cameo 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 jangling keys by the way i'm the mandalorian and i run into every single person who's ever been important in star wars history in a, in a course of two months yep. and also not important because he ran into the r2 unit which we had to see again that 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 weird r2 guy or the red one r that's R5D4. r5 d4 yeah. okay r5. every r5 d4 yeah. Everybody my age knows who that is because they made an action figure of him when he was in. I don't know. I just uh, it changed my life seeing him again, Gary. It's just- <laughs> Didn't it though? I mean, I right- remember that saves lives. Mm-hmm. Right after mm-hmm. Filoni said it's a big galaxy, and that's why we're not seeing Gina Carano. They run into a random droid from the <laughs> first <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, Dave Filoni gonna- did once again confirm for the. 50th time that they are leading directly into the sequel trilogy, ladies and gentlemen. No sorry. way. Yeah, there's I, no I'm way sorry that's to say. Possible. I'm sorry to say they he once Man. again confirmed. This is Disney's attempt to actually pull that back. redo and save Star yeah. Wars for the sequel trilogy because their day for Lone is the best. Well, best. You know, I'm going to have to. Your boyfriend, fucking to, Jeremy. I'm going to have to uh, check you guys because you guys mm. keep talking about Star Wars being in a negative place and all of that. But they just hired an intimacy coordinator for Leslie Headland's show. And you might ask yourself, who's Leslie Headland, Jeremy? Who's Leslie Headland? That would be yeah, Harvey yeah. Weinstein's former personal assistant mm-hmm. who is working on a Star Wars show. So they hired an intimacy coordinator because every Star Wars show needs an intimacy coordinator. So yeah, Star Wars the, the intimacy show coordinator adults? is called a pimp. Or is it yes. a wizard show for kids? I don't know. What Star Wars is? Anymore. It's an LGBTQ plus ally. It's a platform. Okay. It's a platform. So speaking, okay, That's speaking all that int- matters now. Speaking of intimacy, can you 
can, can you answer a question for me? And I, I love I love going on this program because I finally have knowledgeable people to ask about this. Uh -oh. did, Luke, did Luke Skywalker, like, did, so he made out with his sister, right? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, yeah. Yeah. make out is a is, is a strong term. I she think. kissed him. Yeah, she kissed, she him, kissed to make him, him to make Han jealous. jealous. <laughs> okay, so was that like written be like was that written with them both being brother and sister? Did they make that up later? George no. figured made it up. George kissing? made it up George later. Made it out later. Yeah, George yeah. made the first film with not really having it. He didn't think it was going to become what it became. That was so, the second so, film, though. Yeah. So yes, but what I'm saying is when he started this whole thing. He he figured it out as he went, so he evolved it. That's why he changed shit. Even well, after Empire, it came out, he went back and changed. Empire shit. So, didn't originally have, uh, you know, Darth Vader being Luke's father in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That was that was yeah, something so, that came so later. George just he was gonna yeah, be he just kind of lover. He figured he changed so, a lot. He changed a lot so even when after Disney it came purchased out. Star Wars. They thought, hey, we're also and actually better than George. We're not going to plan at all. Just like George did. <laughs> and we'll see how that went. Hey, and, and we're going to disrespect the prequels with our first line in our first movie. This now begins... we'll be begin to set things right. Oh, this yeah, will begin I mean, to make things right. Yeah, all, so, so Mandalorian. All Luke would have to do is... All Luke would have to do is shower with his daughter, and then he'd be in the Biden family. Yeah, he would. <laughs> well, he'd fit right in with Hollywood, that's for sure. Yes, yes, absolutely. You're right for Hollywood. Uh, as, I, I as, heard, as long I as his daughter... Kylo Ren was found with some uh, death sticks and an underage prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> put, on, put on a data pad. Left his data pad. In a, well, left in a then, motel room on Coruscant. Well, that, they, see, no, that's yeah. what... That's, 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 oh, oh, Ryan, 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 that's what led to the Disney trilogy, because what Luke was really mad about in that... That tent was that he didn't have an abortion with her, so. Oh. <laughs> it turns out that they put Kylo Ren in charge of negotiations with the Trade Federation, and he got a big payout and everything. Yeah. The yeah. best, the best the thing, big guy. Big guy. The, the best thing to come from the disastrous Disney purchase of Lucasfilm is that we finally can all recognize that Mark Hamill, while being a great fictional character as Luke and the Joker, is a horrible human being, a fucking terrible human being and i think for the longest even someone like me maybe i didn't realize it you know prior to trump but mark hamill's a bad person and and it wasn't trump that made him a bad person like a lot of people got broken mark hamill's just a bad person just the irony is, is mark hamill's real life mimics anakin skywalker <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was one of the great jedi Killing and then he fell to the seduced yeah. and fell to the dark side yeah yeah and he is a really well, except anakin person. was trying to like save like save uh his children or his family whereas you know luke skywalker is trying to is. trying to pay for his son to have his <laughs> unborn grandchild killed yeah you know? yes like but you I could guess actually they both did try to kill younglings. That though. makes yeah, Christmas what, really awkward, you know. Yeah, Disney, yeah. Star Wars. If you really, really like, if you want to get Star Wars, in. if you want to get Star Wars back on track, just make a real life movie about Mark Hamill trying to kill children. <laughs> uh, you know, what did you, you get totally, for Christmas? You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yikes! Thank God William Shatner's Space cool. Space. Yeah, I love William Shatner. Got one more. He's great. <laughs> Still good. Do you think there was ever a plan to make? I'm sorry to ask these like basic big no, no, questions. No, no, no. I, I, I love having knowledgeable people. Do, th this was this is there was clearly never a plan to make Jar Jar Binks a Sith, right? No, <laughs> no, no, no. They that should have. Theory. There was a phenomenal John, theory. You're talking it's about a great, John, it's a great John Jar here. Yeah. Mm. It, would theory. it would explain how inept he was. Uh, yeah. but no. <laughs> no, but no. like if you even like Jar Jar, like he dialed back Jar. Like Jar Jar was obnoxious in the in the in episode one, and then you could you could actively see how Jar Jar was actually dialed back in episode two and three. But then if you go into the Clone Wars, there's just random episodes where you could feel like George is like, fuck, fuck it, make it a make it a Jar Jar centric episode just to annoy the fuck out <laughs> of him. Yeah, look at his incompetence. <laughs> this one. Very his yeah. incompetence is very easily explained. He was a senator. <laughs> yeah. oh, and, well, and like representative representative binks uh -huh. and actually so. like when when padme goes away and he gets put in charge he is the reason yes why why yes. uh the chancellor gets some of those powers emergency yes. powers it'd be he awfully actually, like, shame if we don't get those emotional powers isn't it jaja -Ja? misa can't pass the bill and read oh, it at the same time I, <laughs> I, I was someone here if 
if Senator Amidala was here, she would have the courage to do this. And Jar Jar's like, mm? Misa okay. fucking wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, seeing, I'm, seeing a, I'm seeing a subtext Aos here. I, 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 think, I think the movie is saying only astronomical retards would give the government so much power like that. <laughs> that's right. that's yes, absolutely. That's that's what <laughs> we're saying. The Th these are Jar Jar Binks is like a perfect corollary to AOC in our present day times. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. Well, guys, I, I gotta, I gotta they disagree with that. They even Chad. talk the same way. Have they kind of do. Speech, like the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Jar Jar's yeah. a little listen, smarter, listen, but, you know. I'll yeah. say this. AOC's listen, got a, listen, AOC's listen, got a better listen, ass. Listen, right? listen, 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 listen. He's a little Okay, listen. listen. Dude, if you took if you took AOC's mannerisms and Kamala's cackling, like that is Jar Jar right there. Yeah. <laughs> Misa, Misa, AOC. <laughs> hey, listen, Misa go from broke to twenty nine million in three years. <laughs> if if AOC has got a tongue like Jar Jar, that might make me vote for her, right? <laughs> Shad, what you were saying earlier, I totally disagree about the the dangers of emergency power. I mean, what could possibly go wrong when what you give your power? government emergency powers? Hi, Canada. How you doing? <laughs> California. Hi, California. Hi. Hi. Australia. Send help. <laughs> Australia has a, an ad for their military. And instead oh, of showing, no, like, no. in the war, fighting villains, they're fighting their own people in the ad to recruit Okay, can we bring up that they can, can once again? The US one. Can we bring up? My <laughs> the same army that couldn't beat a bird. Yes, we're going to yes. bring it up again. The very same. The very same. <laughs> the very same. Hey, we're still fighting, Gary. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> the, the comments are melting down on Jar Jar quotes about <laughs> AOC. <laughs> Misa, Misa never seen a garbage disposal. <laughs> Misa got a big booty Latina. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, who you for blocking me on Twitter? <laughs> Shout out you know to what Alex she Stein. Says, you, know, you know what AOC says when she sees uh, Alex Stein, right? Misa, so horny. Yeah, she oh. loves her some Alex Stein. Somebody take that Me clip. Me love you long time. Of, take, take that from 40-year-old virgin uh, and then take that audio mm -hmm. of AOC talking and then listen to Alex Stein. Oh, that would be great because he's suing her for the uh, audience that doesn't know. He's suing her for blocking him. And this is a thing that a lot of the leftists tried to sue Trump over because of the political uh, rules that you can't actually uh, block people. So now uh, yeah. it all comes full circle. There you go. <laughs> AOC's eyes are crazier than Jar Jar's. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. The hey, I, I don't say does shit. Make one I, intelligent. I'd also say it's an insult to um, Jar Jar's <laughs> intelligence as well by comparing. Yeah, to absolutely. AOC. Very true. If, a if AOC had Jar Jar's tongue, Elon would finally date her. <laughs> Can you stop being nasty about AOC? She died two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I don't, I don't like people speaking ill of the dead. <laughs> she was in a separate she, building. She told us she died. Okay. <laughs> uh, Master Austin is gifted ten. Sorry, you're angry, Josie. Is that so? I just want to apologize for triggering you uh, for making a little joke about your girlfriend. I apologize. <laughs> he got he got big mad at me for me for saying I, AOC is dead. She told us so on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I can't believe you said that. I thought you were one of the good ones. <laughs> one of the good ones. What? <laughs> when did we When did we ever say we were one of the good ones? When I said something, please find that clip. I can't believe you said that tweet. I thought you were like one of the good ones, but I can't believe we said that. Keep enjoying Star Trek Discovery. Uh, Master <laughs> Austin has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. <laughs> and Tricky. Tricky says, today is my 41st birthday. Couldn't think of a better birthday present than watching one of my favorite groups of people and woke Hollywood fail falling apart. Hail to the fellowship. We will not be defeated. No, we're winning. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We're not singing. At least never that. Yeah, we can't just throw happy birthday songs out there like that. We got to get paid for that. All right. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi, I hi. mean, uh, yeah, well, our singing is so good. Yeah, it's not something yeah, we can just throw around for free. I totally agree. Dan, <laughs> Dan Vasquez is gay, by the way. Uh, he's an all right singer, but he's super gay. Um, media's venture capital prospects dim in the post-SVB era. I love how it's oh, a no. post-SVB era 
when it just like went down like last week. Literally Are we in an happened. era? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know there was an SVB was there era. An era? So apparently, this bank. Correct me if I'm wrong, Benny, because you know way more about this shit than I do. Apparently, this bank uh, is where all the rich uh, fat cats from Silicon Valley kept their money. Uh, regular mom and pops weren't really oh. in there, and they're this, they were inventing uh, investing in their woke enterprises. Which uh, a lot of a lot of uh, hack sites came out and said wasn't true, so it convinces me it was true. So, mm. well, there there's SVB funded like a sixty thousand or eighty thousand venture capitalists. That's all, right? Like a, a shit ton. Yeah. Um, like it, some I saw some number that like nearly half of them like in the country SVB funds. Like that's like the their main type of banking, their main type of business, which is one of the reasons it was able to fail so spectacularly easy but hey, when you raise interest rates as much as they have in order to try to slow down crippling inflation um this is one of the things that can well happen. and and when you're and when you're a bank that's focused so much on giving loans mm -hmm. and giving these venture capitalist loans to people of color who are marginalized lgbtq all this fucking shit that, that they decided they were going to lend to uh they were going to make a priority to lend to weird how things like this so yeah it's strange. They're setting up to get a, a new deal a new new deal you, like you a, don't think oh, like depression why do you think uh, all these companies that are supposed to be competing are in lock stock mm. like like completely <clears throat> uh, like totally aligned on on business practices and more importantly activism and politics when mm. when you're, you're competing against somebody you want to beat them you want to be better and they're all risking billions and now it's falling apart and uh i love that, that you know it says it right here if cruel irony i i think i'm i'm enjoying the hell out of it uh could take a, f the form of a cloud it's looming ominously over austin texas uh -huh. well no before we something else it's a uh, bum piss and yeah starts. so i went to austin uh and actually walked through sixth street for the first time at south by southwest and uh how'd you make it through uh, well, it's because they cleared out the homeless for South by Southwest, but I mean, their version of clearing out the homeless was moving them a block, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it looked like San Francisco Junior. It definitely looked like San Francisco. Last Jr. time I was, was in bad. Austin, there was a homeless man that slit his arms and was bleeding in the streets, just walking down the streets. Jesus. Jesus. Last wow. time I was in Austin, I walked out of a barbecue place and I had really good barbecue. And there was a guy that was just pissing on the barbecue place outside mm. and it smelled really bad. Yeah. And it mm. just ruined the entire experience. Keep for Austin me. weird. Oh. <laughs> Keep it weird. Keep weird. That's, that's, yeah. just, that's disgusting. And, you know, if you did that in even a third world country, then you'd be put in prison, but not in Austin. That's what's really sad about Austin is like the Keep Austin Weird slogan. It was a fun place to be. It was like the little center of Texas because the rest of Texas kept it afloat. And they could be all like, yeah, let's live free yeah, and be like hippies and stuff. 20 years ago. Yeah. And then all that came to a head. <laughs> and it's just full of homeless people now. And it's run down. Right. And like the nice park in the middle of it. I don't know how it is now because I haven't been there in like a year and a half because I don't want to go back. It was run, overrun with homeless people and trash yeah. and all kinds of – it's sad because they're not taking care of people, and they're kind of perpetuating this whole scenario. Well, I had a choice between homeless people and hipsters. I chose mm -hmm. the homeless people. But um, <laughs> So uh, if cruel irony could take the form of a cloud, it's looming ominously over Austin, Texas this week at the annual South by Southwest Festival where the entrepreneurs in creative businesses of all sorts – uh, convened in search of inspiration at a time when the climate couldn't be any more discouraging for them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're discouraged. Oh, no. If it wasn't bad enough already that rising interest rates have deadened the capital markets necessary for frothy deal-making, going well frothy. back... Froth. Yeah. Ooh. Frothy. Frothy deal-making. Froth bite. Mm hmm Froth, froth you know what frothy means? You know what frothy means in the VC industry? Because I'm around a lot of these donors and a lot of these people, and it's been very interesting on the show to have a Vikram Swami. So, frothy means you have so much money because the government melted down their printing presses, printing off money, and they don't know what to do with it. That's what frothy wow. means in the industry. So this is just people throwing money around. That's what they're taught. They're trying to get sympathy. Empty bubbles, wow. like froth. Uh -huh. Like, like again, the median household income 
The median household income in East Palestine, Ohio, is $41,000. The average American family has less than $10,000 in cash reserves. And they are talking about, in, with SVB, bailing out the richest of the rich because 95% of the accounts were over the $250,000 federal insurance maximums. And so you're talking about the richest people in America. Now, it took a month for the federal government to lift their finger to help out East Palestine. Mm -hmm. And nobody wrote any articles like this. Nobody cried a tear for them at wherever this is being written. I don't know what this, you know, I don't know what this, uh, uh, what, what publication this is. These people didn't, you could probably go and search for East Palestine and you don't, you won't find a single article from these environmentalists about the largest man-made environmental disaster by our federal government, possibly in American history. But you'll find all them uh, muling and bitching about the richest of the rich elite Democrat liberal donors uh, when they lose like a percentage of their portfolio at wow. SVB. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is variety. So a big name in the in the entertainment space. <laughs> yeah. uh, Shame on these people. Yep. <clears throat> For frothy deal making going well back into 2022, the implosion of Silicon Valley Bank right before South by Southwest kicked off is sure to have a chilling effect on startups currently reeling from macroeconomic <laughs> woes. It's definitely going to have an impact on venture on the venture ecosystem, said Charlie Hudson, managing partner and founder of early stage venture capital firm uh, Precursor of Ventures in the South by Southwest panel discussion. What's driving digital media deals uh, Sunday, I worry it might cast a pall over just uh, people's willingness to engage in risky things. Uh, and that's that's the thing, right? When, when you fucking raise interest rates, that's inherently kind of what you're trying to do with the economy in general, right? Uh, you're, you're raising interest rates to make people not want to take loans, whether it's to buy a house, whether it's to buy a car, whether it's to do a fucking startup, whatever. Uh, in this case, they were forced to raise interest rates while being told that this could be the potential effect because they're desperate to stop the inflation that they themselves have caused. Now, okay. what Benny was talking about earlier is important because every every time you go to a bank here in America, it doesn't matter what fucking bank it is. If you have 10,000, 50,000, whatever, and the bank goes under, you are insured. The government is insuring you that up to a quarter million dollars, they'll give it back to you. After that, it's kind of at your own risk, right? Mm -hmm. But here, like Benny right. said, a lot of these people have millions and millions and millions of dollars, way above that level that the government guarantees you back. But what they have announced is that they are going to pay everyone back regardless. And they're they going to make it square. That they're going to bail out this bank. Basically. And they did government didn't, bank now. And it's they didn't go to Congress for this, right? They just said they're going to do it. Which makes it utterly they unconstitutional. It. Yeah. Because the way that our government is structured is Article 1. That's Congress. So it's structured correctly, right? It's structured as the most important to the least important when it comes to power, okay? So you get all the way down to the judiciary where the judiciary is really just interpreting the laws. They're not really making any laws, of course, unless it's Barack Obama, but they're not making... Uh oh, and we lost him. Uh oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! We got too real oh, here. Yeah, hey, hey, hey! Oh, no. yeah. no. I will they, kick you again, Benny. They, you told me yep. like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you could whip out a penis, and nobody's gonna get kicked. But this guy starts no. saying stuff about Obama. Yeah, he's out, well, of, out of there. While we're waiting for Benny to get back, he I got Arkansasized. I don't want to do this. I don't want to spoil you guys on the upcoming Little Mermaid, but. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I do have. I do have something. It's. It's going to spoil the end of the movie. So is everybody okay with that? Before I show this, spoilers oh, man, for the end so much, of the Little Mermaid. Here it is. Benny's back now. Sorry, so, guys. There's the spoilers okay. of, the, the of the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> the ending of the Little Mermaid Ow. has been spoiled. I, I'm sorry, you guys. Find them. I, at their I didn't peers. mean. I didn't mean to spoil it. I, I'm houses. sorry. But, Damn it, you know, Jeremy. Yeah. So, you know, this is like one of the greatest applications of AI art memes, <laughs> the memes, baby. Look memes. at, look at the horrors that you can create. <laughs> Someone needs to get a Maxine Waters, little mermaid with Nancy Pelosi's titties on it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, well, that last, just, happened. anyway, I was buying us some time. Well, we, 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 we thought they got you. We thought they got you, Benny. We thought, sorry guys. You. Sorry so, guys. Got bumped okay. off. <laughs> 
It was it's okay. the Chinese. I will, I will continue. <laughs> Chinese. We only got a Ex-Fake couple paragraphs girl, to go fuck? because it starts getting into like how they invest in, um, I, I'm not good at math, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I, I just know that they're sad and I'm happy. Uh, schadenfreude. Uh, if venture capital, uh, where was I? Southwest was uh, willingness to risk. He thinks if venture capital support is going to soften in other number in another in another number of industries, it will be doubly felt in the media business. In the wake mm. of the flame out of such dis- digital media ventures, such as BuzzFeed and Vice, uh, that were right. the darlings of the VC world not too long ago. That's right, BuzzFeed and wow. Vice. Yep. Is anybody sad that they're going to be gone? I think uh, overall, is humanity no. would be better if they were gone. Okay. Yeah. I love BuzzFeed. I watched that man spread video where I the woman videos, went on to the thing and spread it. And it turned out that she couldn't even be obnoxious enough to get anyone to give a shit. <laughs> my balls, so my balls are sticking she, to she my legs. She decided that man spreading would now just be lying over all the seats uh, and stuff like that. Oh, my God. Uh, never change. No one is beating down the door of anyone in the media sector to begin with. Oh, no. Uh, no e- shit, Sherlock. The exits are small. Good luck getting to one billion, a figure top VCs sneeze at, and the number of willing businesses even smaller. Uh, most of the media companies we invent in... Uh, we invest in or invent same thing. Uh, it's like the same three or four seed stage investors, says Hudson on the panel, moderated by the Wall Street Journal's Jessica Tunkel. Uh, I text them. Did you just and call me? I called you a Tunkel. <laughs> a Tunkel. <laughs> You're a dirty a tunkel. little Tunkel. Uh, I text them and we're like, and we're like, are we gonna do this uh, together? Yes or no? And. Uh, it's not like there's hundreds of VCs for these companies. Now we scroll down and I think they, we get this little graph here. And the only thing I know about this graph is the number from previous years is much bigger than the number from this year. <laughs> I don't know what that number, I don't know if it's in millions, wow. uh, but you can see this year isn't over. It's, it's not over, but it's not tracking. Like it's going to be 10, yeah. you know, whatever. The, the, the 10,000 number there or 12,000 from two years ago oh. when they were all investing in the digital media because they were all Holy happy God. that we were in our fucking houses uh, wow. and they thought we would just lap up. You know, it turns out even when people are trapped in their houses, they still want to watch and enjoy good content and uh, wow. be told the truth. Yeah, but Crazy. actual actual creators who have actual audiences don't need VC investment. Nope. Nope. Like when you yeah. actually are, when you are the media. So this is what's happened here is that they are starting. This is the this is the singularity. They're starting to realize that the corporate press and that model is eternally broken. Look and at me! Look at me! I am the media now. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. We're the like we are the media because we have actual audiences that tune in. And as you at, you know, as you said, there's nearly twenty thousand people watching this stream right now. If CNN started streaming right now live on YouTube, how many people would actually watch it? Mm. They get front page too. Sh- don't count the bots. It, 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 yeah, well, no, no, like <laughs> seriously, unless there was like some tr- anti-Trump sentiment to it or some talking about Trump, that nobody would watch them because that's, that's right. That's, they live less, and breathe off of that. Less they, than whoever watches Don Lemon right now. They yeah. don't Don have any, They don't have any real audiences. And what's incredible about this moment is that you watch guys like Jim Acosta who thinks he has a real audience, right? And they, they think that they have like something that is tangible, but the way you determine whether you have a real audience is if you can convert like the number of people who are watching you or your pseudo, your like pseudo fans online that your publicist tells you you have into real human beings, right? So who shows up to see you at a live event? Mm. Who shows up to your book signing, for instance? And there are a treasure trove of deleted tweets that we have that we use in regular uh, pieces where you can see Jake Tapper, Jim Acosta, like standing there at Barnes and Noble by themselves. And this is in like mm-hmm. Northern Virginia where pr- supposedly all their fans are mm-hmm. like right outside of Washington, DC and no one's showing up to see them. And they're tweeting out desperately about it, like begging people to come see them and get wow. a free signed book. It's not it's real. It's facade. fake. It's all yep. fake. Wow. It's, it's, it's all, and it's crumbling. It's cr- like soon you're going to see it, it's going to start with the, the buzz feeds and which is already happening, but these giant, uh, news programs with giant studios, uh, uh, uh who was talking about this? 
he was on Viva Foray, Gerald, the trends guy. He used to be on InfoWars. Gerald, you know, he's he's fucking funny as hell. But he was talking about the um the uh the 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 basically the the business rental uh bubble has popped, right? Which we all could figure out when it, when everybody was going home to work from home. Now they're having people come back and all these buildings are at 50% occupancy now. That used to be at 70, at 80. And when the businesses come back, they don't need to rent 10 floors. They need two. So you have these giant buildings that cost millions of dollars. These studios that have hundreds of people working out of millions of dollars. We're not going to need that shit anymore. Nobody needs that shit. Nobody no. nobody expects the truth from that at all. I don't. I, I haven't watched a second of that crap for years. Geeks and Gamers hosts a meetup in Orlando, and there are 500 people that show up, right? Yep. Yeah. And, I was, you know, passion, enthusiasm, yeah. and, you know, everybody just having fun. And that's part of it. Look at look at whenever we do this stuff in Dallas, whenever we, you know, <sighs> we did our panel. Uh, and by the way, we'll be, in our, we'll be at Megacon uh, in a couple of weeks. Geeks and Gamers panel at Megacon in Orlando. So make Saturday, sure April 1st, 2.30. Orlando, oh. Megacon. Be there. Yeah. Ryan will be there. And be he gay. will be as angry as always. But most yeah. of the crew will be there. But yeah, go ahead, Chris. You're about to say something. Well, I, I was going to jump that? in. Somebody, yeah, oh, well, that, it, Chad, it was me. Chad, Chad's selling the famine and then. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> his accent wow. oh lord glory to jeremy gosh i'm not always back. punching down Bloody to hell. australia yeah dude. <laughs> now, i was actually thinking about this concept that's related to what betty was saying is that the old model of media basically had these networks that would prop up people and and programs that a lot of people didn't like like a lot of like a lot of creators or or hosts that Honestly, if they had to survive on their own merit to build their own audiences, would yes. die. Yes. No one would be interested yes. in it, but they get artificially boosted because they had those platforms, those media platforms yes. and stuff like that. But now because the, the, the gatekeeping doors have opened up because of the internet, when anyone who has a camera and a microphone can start sharing their thoughts, suddenly merit has really come back into the, the battle of people's attentions. Yes. And... Uh, and the media companies that can't compete because they find actually interesting people with authentic voices on the internet and they're the ones that they want to listen to. And then you have those artificially boosted people like, I don't know, Rachel Maddow or some, some weird person on CNN. And they, they got no personalities. They're soulless. They're just us that were artificially pushed in front of people's eyeballs. And, and they have they can't compete at all on their own. They're nothing because you have people who actually can say well, something. That's why. Yeah. That's why we tune hey, in guys, to, to Benny how's, uh, every how's ten, every Larson's, morning. How's Brie Larson's YouTube channel doing? Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> she, she's not uploading consistently. It's her uh, fault. I remember when she said I'm it, back, so. and then I, she went away straight yeah. afterwards. All I remember yeah. is she liked my tweet. That's all I care about, as. <laughs> yeah, but no, that we have alternatives now. You know, Crowder is going to mm -hmm. come back. There's other shows. I watch Benny every morning. I watch Benny because uh, you have a personality, dude. You're funny. Uh, that that's part of it. You know, it's, you're not just reading off a teleprompter. You're just going, and uh, that's what people want now because it's real, authenticity. They're not authenticity real people. Is the currency of tomorrow. yes. Yes. Per, uh, adult pretenders. Am I wrong, mm -hmm. Gary? They're not real. It's the same in my business as it is in Hollywood. Adult pretenders, and the rug has been pulled out, and there's no more superstars anymore. The only superstar in Hollywood is Tom Cruise. If you go walk down the street and be like, hey, name a famous actor under the age of 40. Yeah. Mm. Can you? Uh, anyone? Joe I Biden. Mean, Jennifer Pete Lawrence. Davidson. <laughs> Joe, no, I, I, well, the, Future uh, Superman, Pratt, Timothy, Pratt's probably Timothy the only Chalamet. Only. Chris, Timothy Chris Chalamet. Pratt's probably the only Superman. other one that, that people, but uh, Tom Cruise is on another Cavill. level. Yeah, but, yeah. Nah, but see, I don't mm -hmm. even think Cavill, Cavill doesn't, like, Cavill's not going to make a movie. You can't just cast Henry Cavill in a random movie right now and it make $500, yeah, yeah, million he's dollars off close the same. Same. He's gonna, he's going to be in a Guy no, Ritchie no. movie that looks pretty good so, that's coming out next yeah. year. Yeah. So. But, but like Chris making, Pratt uh, is... Man from, uh, Man from Uncle number two. They are? Yes, but they, they are really bringing are. back no, Army Army candle, Hammer, right? but without Army Hammer, right? Not the well, Army Hammer said he won't eat anyone. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Man from Uncle, that. great. And, and, and all the women are sad now. Uh, well, gr yeah, great movie. One of them said, oh, I'm really excited. Army Hammer said he was going to eat me out, and she didn't oh. realize what that actually meant. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. no. 
Yeah, and uh, well, well, you guys are referencing something I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, dude, look it up. Look it up. Look it up, look it up Barbie Hammer. He's yeah, there's stuff out there about him being a cannibal. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 pretty, he's pretty crazy. But that being but said, that being said, uh, Man from Uncle's fucking awesome movie, dude. Yeah, I, a great movie. Yeah. Ryan brought it up, and I know we had a super chat from Hayden talking about it earlier, but uh, since Ryan brought up Jennifer Lawrence, I think we should all just acknowledge that she created this show. She created banking in order for it to fail. Um, she created <laughs> all of this. Thank you. And so we just need to make sure we thank honor you. the greatness of Jennifer Lawrence. And thank mm. you, Jennifer, allow, allowing us to be here. And congratulations to you and Harvey on your wonderful, beautiful children. Uh. Um, you know something? I love Boom, allegiance. I, am, <laughs> I love more at Jennifer Lawrence's trailer for a new movie than I have at any Marvel movie in phase four and five. And I only laughed twice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, th this is why I had to give Shazam a bit more props because I yeah. got a genuine laugh out of me in the film. Like I haven't, I haven't had a genuine laugh in a superhero f film in ages. Yeah. I chuckled a couple laugh. times. I saw, oh, so you saw Shazam too. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Did. I saw oh, Shazam. Was there more laughs than groans? Well, I've already um, forgotten about the movie, but I remember that it's better than Ant Man Three. Okay, okay, interesting that you say that because it's actually a complete balance. It got a genuine laugh out of me, and it got a groan, cringe, absolute laugh groan. Yeah, Gro okay, how about when uh, Mary Marvel's like reading uh, organic chemistry? And all I could think of was, oh, because we need women in STEM. Women and then in when STEM. there's the two cops fighting the dragon, of course, it's two women <laughs> with women machine in STEM. guns. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, God. And then, um, but yeah, most of it was just like, oh, and the two female, well, two of the three female villains are understandable female villains by the end that turn into good guys. <laughs> like, we're sorry. Color? Are they people Did of color? They no, no. The, they're, they're, you know what? This film has Asian hate, Ryan. It has Asian hate because Lucy Lou's the big Sign bad. Sign me up. <laughs> X-ray girl was awful in that movie. By the way, she was terrible. She was killing people, riding a wooden dragon. Wow! I don't know where you find this the time is, to do that stuff. Better than my performance in Shang Chi. Is that why you've been so tired? Uh, yeah, yeah. I per, well, I prefer you as Lucy Liu over Mar uh, Marvel's Katie. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you want to call Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. I hope you sand that thing down so you don't get splinters. <laughs> oh. oh man. Uh yo, Brie uh, Bri Larson's YouTube channel is pathetic. It is uh oh. it's it's dead. Yeah. Oh, Ryan's I, right. You have to put out I've never actually content. been here. I've never actually looked at it. This is like yeah. really sad. It's you cringe. have to she has to post workout yeah. pictures with her tits out to get people to watch. Yep. I mean, hey, as does the same thing. So I mean, I mean yeah. And she's the most artificial fake person. One of one of the most. I, can I got a photo of. of the of the AI would be right an improve AI would be an improvement on her. No! Oh. Oh! Stop! No! Hey! No! 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 Oh, no! Get it no! down! Get it, oh, down. Get it down! Just get a it photo oh of God. her channel. Oh, pictures of her boobs, man. Come on. I'm. But she she is so desperate for attention, and that's why she I reckon she, all that work stuff that she was doing, you know, I don't want some white guy. It was just for attention. She doesn't believe oh, in this crap. It's not made and for you. She, she's she's such a feminist against the male gaze and all that stuff. And then she'll pose with herself trying to show off certain things, all for attention. She's just uh, and apparently she's character. the problem on the set, Benny. So Marvel's is uh, was supposed to be Captain Marvel two, the sequel to the very successful billion dollar film that every Everybody loved and then completely Greatest forgot. Greatest movie of all time. Greatest movie of all time. Most protected movie of all time. Rotten Tomatoes, do not forget, changed their entire site algorithm for that movie. Yes. That's, wow. They've never been the same. And then uh, it was delayed. Well, They've announced release dates, I believe. I lost count at four. But it's been delayed multiple times, Benny. So now it's coming out in November because they need to do reshoots. But there's also rumors that Brie is a bit of a diva. And making mm -hmm. it very hard. And we also saw that interview. Could you find that clip again, Garrett? Where she's asked, they're like, are you oh, going to be a more uh, Captain Marvel? Yeah, from Variety. Does anybody want to see me back? Yeah. 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 Can we, can oh, we have good. a... Can, yeah. Listen, I think the audience is going to agree with me 100%. Can we have a new rule in this show where we never show her feet again? I am. Oh, okay, 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 so we'll have two rules now. We'll have two rules. 
Right. No Brie Larson feet, no whipping out your dick. Okay. Aww. Those are the two rules. <laughs> now, wait a minute. The problem, is, I don't, I, the problem is, is I can see Brie Larson's feet. Okay. okay? But I, I, yeah, I have to put problem. in the, I have to put an I amendment. That little I, I have to put an amendment in wow, when it comes okay, to weird. boobs, case by case basis. Case yeah, yeah. Case. Okay. That, that's what I mean. Okay. So I Let's not go crazy. would like to put forth an amendment that we only ever show pictures of Brie Larson from her Jimmy Kimmel appearance. I'm okay with that. that. I'm okay. I think with that. that that should be the standard. I, I right okay, okay, okay. Except for this right? clip, if we can, fi- if you can find it, Gary. Go. Oh, you- <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here we go. How long will you play Captain Marvel for? Ah. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do oh. it again? No. Crazy eyes. <laughs> crazy eyes. <laughs> crazy. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have the answer She's to that. So angry. <laughs> <laughs> when we, when we first saw this, we kind of thought that she was responding <laughs> to the criticism. I don't think that anymore. No. Not with what's been coming out. I think this is her talking to the studio. Studio. Yep. Studio. Absolutely. Puts a whole new light on it. I think it's a little of everything. Yeah. She wants to murder him for asking her. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Let me smell know. your dick. Well, I don't know, that's, but I'm know, getting that's, that's that as a thumbnail. Right that's that's going to be a Jeremy, thumbnail right there. Yeah. Jeremy, this that's thing a is a face. thumbnail feast. You should be putting yes, that on every single <laughs> one of your thumbnails. I'm a little disappointed that you haven't. <laughs> oh, Good one there, hey. too. I've it. got Breeze back. I want her back as Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah that's it. Great right in the Marvel. <laughs> that's a good one, too. That is, <laughs> I am going to kill you in your sleep and then set yeah. your bed on fire. Yeah. <laughs> but also, this is like such NPC. Oh, no, I do not have a script to follow. What do I say? It's, it's like, it's the most genuine reaction from her. And you see how vacant and hollow her brain is. This is amazing. I, I, I love that Perry found the clip in one of my videos. <laughs> <laughs> you could a gold put, mine, a, you man. Could put a cog, a rotating cog, and like an error 101 in a four head. Four not a, found. Four oh four. It's just explaining. Oh my god. Brie Larson dot exe has crashed. <laughs> so she got called. She got called out on Lost the red carpet the uh, by the, the 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 girl who played uh, Miss Marvel. Was it, it's in one of my videos. Perry found the clip where she goes, uh, yeah, like uh, the girl, the little girl who played Miss Marvel, who actually knows comics. By the way, she's. I'm going to give her credit. She called out Kevin Feige for naming the MCU the 616. She's all, no, no. Yeah. That's the comics. So credit to her for that. And she called out Bree. She's like, yeah, Bree, in the middle of one scene, came up to me and asked, wait a minute, am I an Avenger? <laughs> so Bree didn't even know she was an Avenger or going to be an Avenger at all. Uh, during the filming you of Marvels. You mean Miss Marvel. She but, didn't know that. She didn't know that Miss Marvel was. No, be- no. Brie asked the the actress playing Miss Marvel if Brie, if Captain Marvel was an Avenger. She goes, "Wait a minute, am I a am I an Avenger?" She asked her that. I have the clip of it. Okay. It's somewhere. Oh. She had no idea. She ruined Endgame. Yeah, uh, and she, and she I, was cut down. I fully I, believe they cut her out of a could lot have been, of that. Yeah, it could have been way worse. Like, it, you're, and the little part. bit that she was in, it was. Not good. No, it wasn't but, good at all. I don't know. All. Hello, like, Peter my favorite Parker. Part of Endgame, my, my favorite part of Endgame did involve her. It was when she was like... She got bitch slapped by Thanos. Ooh, but the problem, by Thanos. I was like, yes. the problem is that Thanos needed an Infinity Stone in order to do that. That's what pissed yeah. me off about it, is that he couldn't do it himself, even though this is a guy who beat up Hulk. Right, who who beat the fuck out of Hulk with no use of the Infinity Stones, but he needed an Infinity Stone to bitch slap Captain Marvel. Yeah, and recently, Michael Waldron has come out, and uh, he was talking about, I forgot who got, sorry, I forgot who got the clip of audio for this, but Waldron came out and said, yeah, we needed something to establish that Thanos and uh, the Infinity Stones are kind of bullshit compared to the TVA. He was talking about TVA from Loki. That was his quote. That's why they did the paperweights. That's why they did the uh, Infinity Gauntlet as paperweights, just to to show that Thanos is bullshit now. Great writing, man. The, the Marvel has, and they just re up that guy. They just they, they just re up that guy to write more Marvel films. So we have more Rick and Morty writers. I'm so excited. It's in a, such a good place. It's, it's right worked now. out awesome. so well. It's so far. going great. Marvel, just keep doing what you're doing. But honestly, I think I'm starting to get on board with the conspiracy theory of Marvel buying out cinema tickets and stuff like that to prop up the first Captain Marvel film because uh, oh, they, the did, they, they did they did they did for Black Panther. They were very open about it. They bought up tickets and uh, yeah. oh, donated them to the schools. I didn't know they were open on, yeah. on that one. 
Ah, uh, because all those empty cinemas and the and the artificial kind of res- like viewing figures, <laughs> Captain Marvel, because it was a crap movie, and I think they were just so desperate to protect the Endgame coming up. And the fact that they have no confidence in that property or Brie Larson to do Captain Marvel 2 and just do the Marvels now, I think I'm just on board with the theories. It's like, yeah, this, that's all bull crap. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, that? I mean, reality's about to hit. So, I, 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 I mean, maybe some of that's true. It was parked in between two of the biggest sequels of all time, which honestly didn't and, help Ant-Man. And they Ant-Man. told you. They told you that this was important. Yes, they, they lied did. to you. The end fucking credit scene of Infinity War is, like, teasing Captain exactly. Marvel. Exactly. Like, yep. And these are the same mm-hmm. people. That's why Captain it did Marvel well. Uh, these are the same people. This is the same person, Kevin Feige, who said Quantum Mania was as important as Civil War and the Marvels is, <laughs> is as important as the Avengers. <laughs> So <laughs> starting to think he's a little full of shit. <laughs> a little full of shit. Marvels is going to crash and burn and it is going to be glorious. I, I am counting the days. I'm so pissed. They delayed that movie. I know, but we'll have content. Uh, I can't November. wait for FNT. No, well, I, I'm actually quite happy because based on what's been going on with the Marvel movies, I can now move their movies into quarters. You know, so the financial quarter for this Marvel fucking roast is going to be this, and then we can go to the <laughs> you Q4 some pre- for the Marvel roasting, which has now got Ms. Marvel. Well, right. you do know that they... Uh, so th- Disney has announced, uh, surprisingly enough, a lot of delays after losing uh, billions on streaming, losing uh, st- subscribers for the first time, uh, firing their CEO in the middle of the night on a Sunday. And then an article came out. Uh, talking about Bob Iger saying he was in charge since 2005, saying the quiet part out loud, which yeah, we all know he was still in charge. He just backed out because of COVID because he's a fucking coward. But now I love that he's back because he gets to face all the consequences of his own actions. Uh, they're di- they, they, He's like, we're being very careful with Star Wars. We're being very careful with Star Wars. So And, and Lucasfilm. And uh, we had, of course, Willow. Uh, recently get canceled, which should uh, <laughs> surprise <laughs> no one. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I couldn't hold that one in. Poor Warwick Davis. Oh. All right. Hey, yeah, looks, looks like, hey, looks like ratings came up a little short, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> out, out of all the panelists, who watched all of Willow? Like, like, cause I suffered I through you. that. I forgot that it even existed. Oh. I that didn't show... watch one episode. <sighs> Wow. Not a single I watched, one. Not I watched one every single episode and reviewed it, each one on Night's Watch, and wow, it was astronomically bad. <laughs> so you get canceled, it's like, yeah. I don't know how you made it past the first episode. I mean, like, oh. that and Blood Origin came out right around the same time. The same and time. She-Hulk. They did it, they. Uh, so it was yes. like, yep. it was like, and, and then, you know, that was off the heels of Rings of Power. So we had Rings of Power, She-Hulk, Blood Origin, and Willow. That is Gosh. that was a rough time. Yeah. Uh, it was the like, darkest of times. You know, revenue. Willow unironically made me bigoted against wagons. And so <laughs> Yeah, that was a little insane. That was a little insane, but that's why we love you, Shad. I'm so Willow Willow is canceled over. after one season on Disney. See, this is almost a uh, a return to the normal times because shit would get canceled back in the day, right? So that's the big difference, Benny, that that you know, in pop culture over the last five or six years, stuff like Star Trek Discovery, you know, making it to five seasons uh, when this garbage would have normally been canceled. Because prior to that, like good shows were getting canceled after one or two seasons. Well, Counterpart being one of them. Uh, Taboo. Arrested never- Development being one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot of good shows were not getting set, but all this garbage just keeps getting pumped out. And it's because of in- it's it's uh, venture capitalist money, venture capitalist money. Uh, there will be no second season of Willow. Sorry. That's like, in the chat. To, to like go back on that a little, Gary, it's the streaming template, the streaming yep. model. When, you're, when your business plan and you've told everybody your business plan is not to be profitable for like four or five years as you build this up and you somehow tricked people into believing that was an okay thing to do, then you're not you're not forced to make some of those decisions. Some of these things that are continuing to fail just gets lumped in with the rest of the yep. money that you're losing constantly. So that's why a lot of this shit kept going, I think. Absolutely. Well, it w- it was being funded, subsidized, all kinds of, you know, tax taxpayer, you know, th- they were getting tax breaks, they're still getting tax breaks, and they were able to focus on streaming uh, streaming while the theaters were kept alive that they needed for a little while what they felt they needed the theaters for a little while longer. 
to help carry them through the streaming, and then they would abandon the theaters completely. Trust me. Uh, but it turned out they need the theaters after all, the ones we bailed out. And then they focused so much on content that when COVID was finally over, uh, some states much faster than others, uh, they had <laughs> no content to put out. They delayed mm-hmm. it all. They stopped making it. And they and people were out of the habit. So, you know, outside of anomalies like uh, Avatar, Maverick, uh, they're, they're going to have to try hard to make movies again. And but gonna- even in those cases, even in those cases, because the numbers just released an article talking about how basically normally, so not the same NATO that we're thinking of when I say NATO, but it's the <laughs> National Alliance of Theaters, basically. They come out every year with a, here's the average ticket price. So they haven't done that since 2020 because of COVID. So the numbers just crunch some things and basically have figured out that the average ticket price is actually like for the last couple of years has been closer to like $10 and 50 cents plus. And that is changing a lot. So if you compare Avatar 1 to Avatar 2, you're looking at a difference between of like almost 40 plus million tickets. Tickets sold. So they yes. lost a huge portion of their audience between Avatar 1 and Avatar 2. Yep. They stopped reporting. And that's just domestically. And they could report tickets sold. That's something you could actually track. And they don't yeah. report it anymore. I wonder why. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder why. So Willow's canceled D-plus live action original series based on the 1988 fantasy uh, film directed by Ron Howard. The news comes two months after the eight-episode first season of the show, which served as a sequel to the classic movie, ended its run on the streaming platform. Uh, Willow, 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 Willow. Stop moving. It's pretty it. much just right. describing. It's pretty much just describing. Hey, yeah. you know, it uh, it was carrying off this 1988 film. Blah blah blah. However, there is an update to this story, Gary. There is. Just, oh, yeah. Grab there. that article. Grab yes. that article. D- despite, despite that, uh, you know, all the sources say it's canceled, despite the fact they released all their actors from contracts, despite the fact that season two is not in pre-production, John Kasdan, the same John Kasdan who had another failure at Lucasfilm called Solo, A Star Wars Story, mm-hmm. who's the one that turned uh, Lando into a pansexual, that same John Kasdan is saying, hey, it's not canceled, guys. We're just taking a break <laughs> oh, Christ, man <laughs> indefinitely i'm gonna read some of this shit. Yeah, break read up. it read it as, as a lifelong dev- devotee of deadline hollywood i also appreciate that punchy headlines drive clicks so i understand how willow canceled after one season is fun and juicy however as i'm nearly certain i've had more conversations about this in the last couple weeks than the author i feel fairly confident that I, if asked neither i nor the folks at lucasfilm would or have actually characterized it that way it's weird how she got that story then. The truth is less splashy, but here it is. A decision was made last week to release our main cast for other series opportunities that may arise for them in the coming year. With all the TV and movies in production, it seems unfair to limit an actor's availability without a clear sense of when you're going to need them again. It's further trivialized by the simple reality that scripts we've been working on require just as many actors from our first season with whom no such contracts exist. But you better believe that those people appear in every single volume two chapter. If you're asking what this means, due to forces much larger and more intricate than I would ever pretend to fully understand, production of streaming shows is slowing down across the entire industry. (gasps) What? And Willow won't resume filming in the next 12 months. But here's what's equally true. With the enthusiastic and unwavering support of Lucasfilm and Disney, we've developed and written what we hope is a brain-meltingly fun, richer, darker, and better volume two, which builds on the characters and story of our first eight chapters. I'm confident that I speak to everyone involved when I say we all like nothing more than deliver volume two on a scale expected. Are we going into pre-production? Not right now. Does that mean we're never going to make it? Absolutely not. And then he goes and lists. He's like, look at all these. Absolutely not. We're not going to make it. So we're not going to make our garbage show Wow. Fast. We're going to make it slow. Whoa, I did not read so, that. It's Holy like the crap. Ryan Johnson Star that Wars is, movies. That was yeah. a the industry. Cope. That, that, yeah, that's what the kids that's call the cope. That is a massive cope. I liked Ryan's dramatic reading. It was pretty good. It was pretty Remember good. the Batman oh, writers begged not to have their show canceled? Yep. Jeez. So, oh, well. I really... I really want to read those scripts for uh, season two because, in case you guys forgot, season one ended off on the plot being unironically trying to get the main cast to drink worm jizz. So, so yeah. <laughs> oh, kidding. 
<laughs> Can't imagine why it failed and got canceled. Weird. <laughs> so strange. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Kasdan is a fucking clown. Yeah, we he don't is. clown yep. him yep. enough. Like after what he did with Solo and all the nonsense with that, and then this. That dude is you, a clown. You are writing your father's name, sir. Yep. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that yeah, you are, you are, this is this is nepotism. This is unfortunately a downside of uh, well, most nepotism is downside. Uh, but this is this is just nepotism and full flow. The guy is fucking talentless, uh, and he's just riding his dad's dick. I remember, I remember when um, when he was involved, and that was the big talking point. Oh, this is Lawrence Kasdan's son. He's mm. involved. This is going to be wonderful, everyone. Just calm down. This is going to be great. Like, okay, yeah, talk shit. okay. Hashtag Solo lost money. <laughs> hey, solo he lost wrote one money. episode of Freaks and Geeks, everybody. So lost and, money. and five episodes of Dawson's Creek. So you give him some respect. Okay. <laughs> Solo lost money. Ant Man lost money. And Reva lost money. There we go. Reva. For those of you at home who don't know, uh, Lawrence Kasdan, his father, uh, wrote things like Raiders of the Lost Ark. So obviously that mm. Apple. Well, he that wrote in the land of shit. women. <laughs> uh, he that, wrote in the land of women from 2007. That apple fell off a completely different tree and then rolled down <laughs> into the gutter. Rolled down the hill. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Us. The apple tree was at the and top of the hill and not just rolled. <laughs> this is what Benny wanted. Oh, yeah. Speaking of rolling. <laughs> hey, man, you know I got hairy legs. I like it. <laughs> 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 Good. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Couldn't happen to a nicer company. Then Bob Iger in uh, an article that came out about a week ago that I meant to get to last Friday. Wonder why we didn't. Uh, mention <laughs> mentioned Solo again, Jeremy. Like he specifically mentions Solo, and says, "Well, due to Solo, uh, we have been." He just repeated what he said. You know, how yeah. long has it been? Three, four years now. Four years ago, and that's why he used Solo as an excuse why they're not coming out with any more Disney Star Wars films. Not not a mention of the Disney trilogy. No. Uh, but yeah, Solo, uh, the other loan film, meant less than $400 million globally. Uh, maybe the cadence was a little too aggressive, said Iger on Solo, while discussing the care Disney needs to exercise in its content spend. Now, this was from a, a, a conference he was at like a couple of weeks ago. This wasn't from three years ago. So he's bringing friggin' yeah, Solo back up again. And he's ignoring the ballooned budget because it got, you know, you know, basically canned when it was like 75% of the way plus through shooting. And then they reshot most of it. Yep. Uh, this is when he that. was talking talk about, about how we need to be careful. We wanted to be careful with Star Wars theatrical releases. And that's one of the things that made them want to be careful. Yes. And as we talk, we've talked about this many times. Rippo says it a lot, but it's like it's Star Wars, it's Marvel, it's DC. These are layups. These are the easiest things you can actually do to make money and make the audience happy. This is not complicated, but you bring these freaks involved and put these freaks involved that want to bring identity politics and representation and all this bullshit into it. And and what do we see? It's just like uh, there's a TikTok video of some guy crying over the the Aragorn being black, and he's a black guy, and he's like, "This is the first time I've felt represented." Uh-huh. Lord of the Rings has always been my favorite. And they're like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! How can Lord of the Rings always have been your favorite?" I know it's if I know it's, now, it's a contradiction. Yeah, it, it, they contradict themselves. They yep. call themselves out. I've been a massive fan of this franchise. Yes, yes. finally, I see yep. myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. You've just proven with your first statement yes. that you don't need to be represented to attach yourself or see or connect with these characters. So you then just going on to say, finally, I see myself represented is the lie. It's like yeah. inclusion and or, diversity. Or in fact, these you were never were, were a fan. A lie. It's always existed. Or in fact, currency. you were never Gary's a fan. You were never That's a fan right. before, and you were you're a fucking mm-hmm. activist. Here we go. And, yeah. I got you know, it. At the same time, the same time, like in 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 my prof- like. In, oh. In my prof- oh no. Oh. I'll let you go. Like go these, ahead, Benny. Go ahead. These people. <laughs> it's the same. It's the game I mean, that gets played. In, it's these the game people. that gets played in political media every single effing second of the day, which is yep. everyone decides to forget that America elected a black guy and a black family into the White House mm-hmm. twice. A gay yep, black and he guy. brought everyone. <laughs> and this back. was this was more than a decade and a half ago, and we act as though that shit never happened. Yep. 
We act yep. as though like that that, that didn't that exist. It doesn't exist on the timeline of America. No. Okay. And, yeah. And it is like once again, like it, it is absolutely wild. And they're passing reparations in San Francisco right now. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, thank, thanks a lot, Gary, uh, no. to your fellow neighbors <laughs> who allegedly voted for this. A place that never had slaves, California, <laughs> in a city that did not exist when slaves did exist hey. in America. <laughs> and if there's going to be reparations, they need to go to the Chinese to be real, like in San Francisco. <laughs> oh, well, oh listen, no, uh, uh, listen, if you it, just, I'm, I'm warning the audience, this is going to be the ultimate cringe. Okay, what you're about to witness is ultimate cringe. Well, but it's remember, TikTok for one. Been a big fan. Been a big fan his whole life. Here we go. I promise that wouldn't break down today. I, I'm trying not to, but I, the one thing I didn't get to say about this is um, we, we've seen Baronor in the Shadow of War video games, but he was a, a, a made up character for the Lord of the Rings. And um, I've never seen myself represented in the Lord of the Rings before. So, oh God. <laughs> Bro. Man. This is this is. I'm sorry, but this is actually fucking this pathetic. Awesome, because I've never seen myself. That's not you. That's Aragorn. Hey, apparently, hey, I mean, hey, it does hey, look spoiler like him, alert! Though. Spoiler alert! He still hasn't seen himself because clearly Aragorn's not gay. He's still married to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh boy. I, you still got a ways to go, buddy. Sorry. Uh, the, vo the volume's as high as I can get it, guys. We're gonna keep yeah. going. As one of the main characters before, like actually seen myself represented in some form of a. Of like official Lord of the Rings media, so that's 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 blackface, dude. You are you are actually <laughs> complimenting blackface. Congrats. For the no. So what listen, is he going to do? What is he going to stare? Listen, what? Listen, okay. Listen. For the longest. No. I don't think they understand how important this is. He had said, I've been a Lord of the Rings. Okay. I think he said, I've been the Lord of the Rings. Okay, the Rings. Is, so, yeah. okay that, is this so okay. important? Okay, wait. That's Why that's a deep seated so personal issue. He needs some validation within himself, obviously. If you need to look at a. You're like. You're staring at a magic card, man. That's all you're yeah. going to get representation. Yeah. Uh, you're staring at one here. single he's magic card. I've ever seen. That's all. It's weird I can been, he's been convinced and deluded to see the world in such a racial lens to not be able to connect with other human beings unless they have the same skin color. But he yeah. has. Which That's is just the thing. He yeah. has. Supposedly, he's connected to it. He's the best fully connected about it. to it. And now he's saying, look, look, I'm so happy they put blackface on Aragorn. And in fantasy well, too, I, like Gary, you're a wizard. So, have you ever experienced any connection with Bilbo Baggins before? Uh, no. Uh, more with um, Gollum. With Gollum? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> are you are you so a part drinker. of? Are you a river folk? Are you a, a relative? No. Of but speaking of river folk, we have because one right they're here. Not real. We have a Hobbit so, right. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, we have even somebody even who can yeah, identify yeah, with the yeah, Hobbit. Yeah, What's yeah, up, yeah, Comics yeah, Division? Oh uh, wait, there he is. Never mind. <laughs> You just disproved my entire argument. Okay. I didn't know. No, no sorry, you're right. Sorry, you're Tom, right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 no, I don't see myself in a hobbit. I don't see myself. I've never had pointy ears. Uh, I've never been short and dug tunnels. Uh, you know, yeah, it, it's. Um... Now but you can connect with the, the struggle. There's a, there's a human struggle in my Frodo struggle? and. Mein Kampf? <laughs> no, not that. But. Also, I want to call this guy out for being a fan. This is a tamer oh, episode than last week, like, remember? What I, like to do in a what I like to do in a situation like this, uh, what I like to do in a situation like this is reverse it. Because you want to know the number one way to destroy your life on the internet. I mean, I don't care where you work, but to destroy your life on the internet is if a white dude uh, muled and bitched about Black Panther and that he's never felt represented by Black Panther. Like, if you released that video... Uh, you would go viral in so many different ways. Uh, Ryan, that would, Ryan. Like, cause you, you would have to you'd have to close up shop. You have to leave the country. <laughs> yeah, you'd be I right. feel a TikTok <laughs> video coming on, here, right. everybody. Uh, so reverse it to uh, see, reverse it to see if it's racist, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's the game you have to exactly. play. You have exactly. You reverse it to see if it's racist, and if it's wrong that way, then it's wrong this way too. It's yes. just as stupid. Yep. I want to know what because he I, says he said in that clip they don't understand how much this is important to me. Why? 
Can well, you explain so, and, to me why that's so important to you that but you also, can't connect to Aragorn unless he has black skin? Well, I'm sharing now, something right Garrett, now. I, I, Share can it. I jump on that? Yeah, I'll let you go. Just, I just say, people are asking if it's a troll. It's not a troll. He he responded to Ripa, so that's the guy. So it's not a troll. This is really him. Go ahead, Chad. I can nice. give consent from my content yes. to yes. be used by incels for the yes. record. Small <laughs> PP syndrome all up in the comments. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, hey, 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 to be fair, just now. to be fair, because of last week, the small PP thing might stick for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, though, Chad. Jumping on what Garrett was saying, right, that it means so much to him, okay, then the thing, though, is, like, why should his feelings about, you know, being represented matter anything to anyone else? Because it, it shouldn't. I, I, if that's your thing, sure, I disagree. I think you're actually disrespecting the source material, and you're obviously being deluded in something to care about it so much. But there's, like, an expectation that we should then care about his feelings on the matter when, no, he's being an overly dramatic like deluded guy who's seeing everything through race it's like no we don't need to care about that like, he i don't up, expect Chad, i well, think the way you're looking for is over dramatic bitch well he brought yeah, up I... a black character that was created in the tolkien universe that was a captain of the gondorian guard in war in shadow of war a bad character but somehow that's not valid but now because they switched aragorn now it's valid what, he what said, he it, said. I didn't see anything in the in the official released. That was that was official. So, that so what good do, enough, what does that say? Everything he said was an uh, an oxymoron. That's what it was. It was just yeah, it was just a, it was just contri but, uh, contradicting but, itself. He said one thing. He said another thing. They didn't. They what didn't marry what it what it says on a subconscious level is what Eric July brings up all the time. That the only mm -hmm. valid, uh, the only thing that's valid, the only validity comes from the established white character, right? So if yeah, you see exactly. the bigotry, the soft bigotry of low expectations in this is Wizards of the Coast used this to create this controversy. And if they really wanted to go in, make Arwen black too. Show a black couple, you know? like Make them all black. Why, like, why stop yeah. at one? You know? Why stop at one? Why did they do the black hmm. male, the white female? It's to get a reaction. It wasn't yeah. really for progressivism. Uh, and and there, you're being used. You're being effing yes. used. And and if it's happening in entertainment, it's happening everywhere else. That's yep. the whole point yep. of this. That's the culture war. That's why pop culture is part of the culture war. Uh, real what? quick, I'll, I'll change subject for just a minute because Zachary Levi just responded to somebody on Twitter about uh, Shazam not leading to anything. And he just says this, not going to lead to anything, Um, says who? That uh, literally says, happened eight minutes ago. Uh, says James Gunn when he cancels yeah. absolutely everything when <laughs> Superman yes. Legacy comes out. When Superman Legacy comes out, all this shit's done. They're all gone. They're all gone. They're just playing nice right now because they have this lame duck franchise with all these shit well, movies that are going to fail. Flash has to make a billion dollars. It's the most one of the yeah, most. It's it probably is. Warner Brothers' most expensive movie ever made, and that comes from people in the know, and because it's been reshot to hell. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna cancel everything. What was in the the post credit scene? What was that? It was, lead? Oh yeah, it was a connection. To uh, James to James Peace Gunn's wife. James Gunn's and, uh, wife. Justice Society. So not not a Shazam continuation. But it was on, Shazam listen, connected I, to I, Peacemaker and Justice Society. Ryan Ryan's okay. got something. So it it's true that they haven't made any absolute declaration of hey. This isn't going to happen, right? Shazam is done in the DC. They haven't come out and said anything. I think that's kind of what Zachary well, Levi is saying. It's like it's not out of the question. But I will show you this. This is pretty, uh, pretty straight up from David Sandberg, the director. This was back in February. Someone asked, "Hey, David, I don't feel like watching the movie because the drama happened at DC. It's just killing the vibe of the film. There's a lot of uncertainty about DC's future. Just give us an answer whether Shazam will have a role in the future of the DCU." This is the director saying he definitely won't if people don't go see the movie. What wow. I've been told is there's nothing in Shazam films that contradict future plans. So the best possibility, uh, if you want more Shazam, is to go see the film. Unfortunately for them, with the Thursday <laughs> previews and the Oof. numbers that are projected, Oof. this movie probably won't make $300 million worldwide. Wow. That's what we're looking at. Right? Like it, Again, it's just the first Gross, Thursday of the first weekend, but... If it pans out that way and they don't even hit that $35 million mark, they're looking at a $30 million opening weekend. 
yeah, you're looking at something that globally might not even touch 300 million. And you're right. Well, and these are also these are also the same million. guys. These are the same guys who said Ben were really interested in Ben Affleck. We're, we talked about it earlier before you got here, Odin. Uh, ben Affleck's really interested in probably we can we'll get him in to direct a project, and he comes out yesterday and says, nope, not interested, and I'm in Flash for five minutes. Yeah. So, so yep. what this is well, is also really Shazam, Shazam two. Off. It's Thursday, three million dollars is two million less than what the original one was, and that's before you even adjust the numbers for inflation. Yep. So, what that tells us is that that's why we can have a lot of confidence that this film is probably going to be thirty to thirty-five million dollars domestically, and then you expand that out a little bit further, and that's how you get to that three hundred million dollar number, which is just again not a a good look for this film. And that to me says a director who's just trying to sell tickets. Because ultimately they're like, hey, I can get some money if if the movie makes X amount of dollars, not because he's actually trying to save the franchise or anything. No, I think he's being honest. I, I think he's saying, look, like we That's don't know what the future dude. we don't know what the future is, but there's no way that you're gonna see it if this movie flops. If this movie yeah. flops and no one goes see it, of course you're not gonna have any chance to see the Shazam in the future. You know, um, it's just I didn't consider the movie great. I considered it was meh but yeah. parts were enjoyable but i do think it's better than black adam um oh, uh, yeah. quantum mania yep. 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 Of Man. Like, like it's probably the, the better superhero film of the, like the last oh, year or two and, 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 like that's the the question, and that's the reality if if this if this thing made fucking 750 million dollars you know damn well that they would include shazam in the future of the, of the reboot of dc if black adam made a billion dollars you know damn well they'd find a way to fucking mm. make that shit work yep but it didn't. It was a financial failure. But when have, we, when have we Shazam. when have we started to? Uh, I don't know if this is a slight shot, but when have we started to to kind of big up meh? I know, right? I, yeah, I get no. a low buy. I, yeah. When when you're saying a movie's gotta, meh, that's that that says to me in in reality, I don't want to see more. It's it's you know, it's and, that, right. and, and it's and it's and, right. and it's playing out like a meh movie. I mean, yeah, it's just going to be yeah, forgotten. And look, it's actually really office. sad that a meh movie is the best superhero film we've gotten recently. Yeah, that's that's just where like, we are now. Can I ask this? Can I ask this returns. team of experts? Sure. Can I ask this team of experts what? And I, I legitimately do not know the answer, and I don't know how I feel about this. What does Michael Keaton's appearance as Batman mean for the DC? Yeah, well, nothing really, anymore because right he's nothing. not going <laughs> forward by the sounds of it. Well, it, it, yeah. it's 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 a one off. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a member berry. It's nostalgia bait. It's to make yeah, you watch a movie with it's a two, bigger opening weekend. It's a That's what it is. It's no. It's to make yeah, agreed, but it's also That's to a, it's make a big it's, opening weekend. But it's gonna have the massive drop off. It's to make you watch a film. It's to make you watch a film with two Ezra Millers. They needed yeah. something to balance out two effing Ezra Millers because they know he's not that popular. They know if it was just two Ezra Millers without Michael Keaton, nobody would go see this goddamn movie. But technically, three Ezra Millers. Well, okay, Supergirl. Supergirl does look like Ezra Miller too, uh, yeah, but right. it's gonna have. But a thousand Batman's will not make up for two Ezra Millers. It'll have a good opening weekend, uh, and no matter how good it is, I, I I am convinced James Gunn is just bullshitting everybody though, because we've already he's already been proven to be bullshit with the Ben Affleck statement. He's lying. They want so you to see these Cal movies. The Henry Cavill. So there was something yeah. interesting that came out today. Ironically, I think they waited to leak this story until the bad Shazam news came out. But back <laughs> in February, Tom Cruise was invited to a private screening of The Flash, and he thought it was incredible. David Zaslav said that he called up Annie Machete to rave about it and said that we need more movies like this. Sure he did. This happened no, we, in February, we, 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 right. and we don't... Uh, to be fair, uh, you've heard as well, Gary, you've heard from some people that they think Flash is, was actually yes. pretty good, right? Yeah, it's testing really like, good. Yeah. We have, have actually well, heard some legitimate information that a lot of people do enjoy what they're seeing. But with as expensive as it is, it probably does need to hit a billion dollars to need, break even. And to, to wait to leak yeah. this until the fucking the Friday of this terrible, disastrous Shazam news is definitely intentional. Yeah, I mean, and, and they said that Tom Cruise actually, when he walked out of the uh, cinema, he looked at the police officer and just said, Freedom. Uh, <laughs> that total, that story <laughs> really happened. That's really, it, I mean, I'm sure it happened, but it's just happened the way 100%. that they've released this is so clearly yeah. strategic. Like, dude, this is Kamala Harris, <laughs> Kamala Harris is my Brie Larson. Okay. <laughs> what you guys do to Brie Larson every day, I do to Kamala Harris. She's my Brie Larson. They're the same people. You want to talk about multiverses? I have a multiverse. Every single per Jerry Nadler is my Warwick Davis. 
<laughs> you ever seen only, that guy? Only he's, he... incon- only he's incontinent, you know? <laughs> AOC is my Jar Jar. It's incredible. We have our own cast of characters in politics. This is Danny, insane. AOC is a gem. Come on, she's the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, yes. We got Absolutely. breaking news on the, uh, uh, the casting of Superman. Uh, Timothy Dylan Chalamet. Mulvaney. <laughs> See? Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Oh man. Honestly. Well, I mean, you know things are bad, uh, Jeremy. <laughs> you made it political. <laughs> so, why in the hell would James Gunn? Uh... <laughs> Uh, I didn't see that was Garrett Corey there. Meme, that will always be my favorite one. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. James Gunn makes his big Superman announcement like two days before Shazam comes out. Doesn't even let it breathe, right? Oh, here's my yeah. thing. That should tell, again, I yeah. repeat, he's going to cancel everything except for his mm-hmm. wife. His wife yep. will, will have yeah. all her all her stuff. She's appeared in more uh, DC stuff than I think anybody. Oh, yeah. Is it is it okay that I ask these basic B questions? Because I, I no, love, please love do talking about like yeah, of Hen- course. Like like, he- like, can you please explain to me Henry Cavill? Can does somebody have some type of explanation that actually rings true with reality? He's a ripped in, in nerd. What, in what context? Can he, you some context? Why, why would they? I thought it, everyone seemed to Superman? think he was a, a fine ass Superman. Am I wrong? Like yes, not, yes. yeah, no, yes. Well, yeah, he's, he's a right. good he's... casting in a bad film, but good yes. casting, but a very popular so even, actor. Even the people that didn't like the movies he was in loved him in the yeah. role. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm one of the people that hated those movies but loved him in the role. Yeah. So he seemed phenomenal. to respect the character. Am I wrong? Like he really, no, he, he does. Yeah, he he, he, he like he's a nerd and is a true he, nerd. Yeah. He loves these characters, and as a result, the people who want to bastardize these characters hate him because he's on set trying to get them to remain true to The yes. Witcher and other things like that, and they they hate him for that. And, and so and, he's yeah, and the showrunner, the showrunner of The Witcher, Lauren Histrich, who's an absolute fucking sh- absolute dumpster fire. Uh, she recently said that she was annoyed with Henry Cavill because of his. Uh, enthusiasm to play Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher, which he was cast to do as a massive fan because he kept on he tried to push them towards the source material, and she just wanted to make an intersectional, uh, intersectional feminist piece yep. of shit. Mm-hmm. And so he, after clearly his contract was like, you've got an out of your contract in season three. As soon as he'd filmed season three, he went, I'm done. Yeah. Bye. I'm out he, because he, they they just wanted to do their own intersectional garbage. He was literally a co-star in his own show. Well, and, well Henry Cavill's biggest character. problem is that he's uh, a straight white man. Straight white that, male. Uh, That's that it. Women love and With dudes, muscles, that, you know, ma- really think is cool. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. no victim narrative to be built around uh-huh. Henry Cavill. No. I think the no biggest problem is that he actually cares about this shit. Yes. Yep. 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 It, yep. You, you yes. can be straight. You can be white. You can be a man as long as you fucking do all the right things and say all the right things and don't protest when they you trample all over everything, when they bastardize the source material on the sake of identity politics. Yeah, when you like, push back, yeah. you get labeled toxic. Yeah. He's li- he's literally perfection, what you want. If you actually, if you came in as a showrunner and you really love the source material, you're like, I'm a massive Witcher fan. I get to do the Witcher. I've got Henry Cavill as as Geralt. Uh, he's a big fan of the franchise. Let's talk. Let's let's you know hash things out. He was the he's the dream that you want for your franchise. He will go around, he will talk it up. He will talk nerd to nerds. He will he will literally call out uh, fake ass uh, mainstream media because he actually has knowledge. He's the yep. perfect guy that you want. He's charming, he's charismatic. He's not a, an internet meme. He's not a problematic person in terms of he doesn't do bad things. He, he's not a misbehavior. And he's there and they have this golden goose. And then you have this intersectional twat waffle that comes in and goes, I want to make a show about a fucking see you next Tuesday. Instead of actually focusing on Henry Cavill and Geralt, no, let's make it the Yennefer show, and she's just going to be horrible, and she's just going to have intersectional values, and every man is going to be demeaned and baited and turned into a cock, and Geralt's going to get cucked in his own fucking show. 
And yeah, he's going to so, have barely any screen so time. Benny, one of the most important things. Oh, yeah, this is the thing I was about this to mention. Great, yeah, Benny, like, this is the Benny, best thing. To hang on, hang on, hang on. Why we love him. Uh, before we start this, Henry Cavill should be the biggest star in Hollywood. We've all yes, said this should. before. Yeah, he, and he was be. born in the wrong he's time. Been. He was wow. just born in the wrong he's got time. The wrong and this is more proof yeah. that wow. they have they have yeah. usurped all yeah. of these franchises to be platforms because they give you the bare minimum of what the source material is, or in Rings of Power case, none at all. Yeah. And then they start making what they want to make because they can't make it originally on their own. So this has been the systematic destruction of all. Everything we love, it's our mythology. That's why it's important. Sorry, you can go ahead. Now, so, so this clip right here is where um, basically every most of these Hollywood actors get baited into this stuff by uh, these uh, you know reporters. Henry Cavill just destroys this guy. Mm. Time and they rag on, despite the fact that he has great intentions. I'm curious if that's comparable to this sort of world, this culture of toxic fandom, where like if you make a movie, especially if you make a superhero movie. Like you have great intentions, but there are always going to be a small yet vocal group of people there can kind of just be toxic. I understand your saying, but when it comes to fans, it is a fan's right mm -hmm. to have whatever opinion they want to have. And people are going to be upset because, especially when it, we're talking about books or games, because you're never going to be the exact person who they had in their head or who they played on Witcher 3, for example. I don't necessarily consider that toxic. I just consider that passionate. Boom. This Boom. man Legend. is a Superman. Legend. 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 To be Superman. That's why he is Superman. He's a goat. Jeez. Yep. I don't mean... Yeah. He's, I think a big Henry, problem come on is the show, he, has, he has yeah. the wrong manager. He, he's managed by the uh, ex-wife of The Rock, who also manages The Rock. And so who do you think they're going to be pushing for these, these roles? Yeah. The Rock. So so, so oh. why wouldn't you want that yeah. man if you're going to bring Superman back to the basics? And the, I understand Superman's a hard casting, and I I get it. Like nobody envies this job, but Dylan Mulvaney. You, somebody said somebody said that this is the golden goose. If you're going to bring Superman back to the you know truth, justice, and the American way, this is a ringer. Am I wrong? Yes. It, no, you're not. No, and this you're is not what's wrong. Been so not confusing to so many people. I mean, because I don't think you're going to find a more a, a more unifying casting is that and Superman yeah. is the most is the most difficult casting of any superhero because as I've said, you know, there's no mask involved with this. It's it's that guy's face, whether he's Clark Kent or he's Superman. That guy, that's the most difficult casting. Plus he's the icon of comics. And Henry Cavill, like you can change up whatever the previous iteration was with that guy. And the fact that they've decided to move away from him, I think it's almost like I've made this comparison. I know half the audience is not going to understand it or care, but it's like it's like Phil Jackson going into the Chicago Bulls and saying, I don't need that Michael Jordan guy. I'm going to build mm. my own thing. That's what James Gunn just did. You just yeah. got rid of Michael Jordan. You, yeah. That is Michael Jordan. But he you keeps just got everybody rid of else on the team. Yes. <laughs> Including his wife. Well, well, kind of, the import, you don't know who's the They're going to replace sure it with a C player. Still employed. You know, that was yeah. the important thing. It's the equivalent. They're going to replace it with a C player from the WNBA. That would be the equivalency <laughs> yeah. in that one. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, they're, so the reason they've given is that they want to cast a younger Superman. Um, they they want to cast a younger Superman, probably, I would guess, like late 20s, 30. Um, but. It, the, the one thing that always gets asked, will the audience be confused? If we keep oh. Henry Cavill and we reboot everything, will that be too confusing to the audience? And I think maybe for a couple of people it will be, but I don't think it really matters in the long run. I think we, we overestimate sometimes how much the audience might be confused about something where most people are just like, is that the new Batman that's out? Like they don't. If they're know. confused <laughs> at that level, they don't care about the connectivity between films. Mm. Right, right. At all. Just so, so that's why matter. you need a perfect casting in Henry Cavill. If you want to go truth, trust us in the American way, you could do a reboot uh, of sorts. Just bring him into it. Yeah. The audience will pick up on it. How many times has the yeah. X-Men universe been rebooted within the X-Men universe? And we still have yeah. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine all dude, of these years dude, later. Dude, they, they actually told, they, they, they fixed it within that franchise and then fucked it up again. And that's, how, that's how long oh, yeah, they've been doing it. We've been told this is a reboot. And Patrick Stewart, right? Patrick Stewart's Professor X, like, forever right yep yes. yep until, until he got his neck broken long. by a uh, scarlet witch because he couldn't see it coming i'm so sorry i'm white um, <laughs> but we, we got told that you know this is a reboot of the dc universe okay this is superman legacy that's coming out this is going to pick up after he's left smallville and he's he's arrived in metropolis to start at the daily planet 
okay, we, we, we're kind of starting from that again, whatever. Uh, and then here's Batman. Yeah, we're going to start him with the fifth, sixth Robin when he's at the end of his, you know, when he's like... His, yeah. It, it's Batman's kind of like what we've... He's like mid-40s. You Superman's mean he's going to be the be... age of Ben Affleck when yes, like Superman was starting? <laughs> yeah. Ben yeah. yeah. And they're supposed to be contemporaries mm -hmm. as far yeah. as... Uh, it, 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 they they look the same age, basically. Red flags all over I've give, this. I've given Cavalos... We're going to pass over Dick Grayson. Uh, we're going to pass over Jason Todd. We're going to pass over Tim Drake. We're going to uh, pass That's over... That's a lot Duke of Robins, Thomas. Benny. We're going to pass over Stephanie Brown. Then we're going to get to uh, Damian Wayne. Sixth fucking Robin. Uh, I've given Henry Cavill a lot of love, and he deserves it. But Christopher Reeve is still the single best casting in the yeah. history of Without superheroes, doubt. That's and That's it's default. not even close. Without just a doubt, they, they never had to CGI off his nope. mustache, right? No. You, know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze is pretty good, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, yeah. remember Bane? Yeah. I mean, come on, Reeve. come on, Bane. Uh, I, Bane. No one, no one um, has done Clark Kent better than Christopher Reeve. No. But I actually think Henry Cavill, he had the Superman, like, uh, Henry Cavill's the better Superman. He looks me. like Christopher Superman. Reeve is he's the better. The, he looks like him. It, it, he's got the physique. He's got the, it, it, I think he's the better the thing, actor. The thing that Chris, who? Henry Cavill. No. Fuck then Christopher no. Reeve? As over, no. overall actor? Yeah, absolutely. God, no, bro. That's why, that's why <laughs> Reeve was so good, because he, he was magic. When he went from Superman to Clark Kent, it was a completely different person. It was. Him he, 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 Superman, he, there's a, a childlike. This will be uh, in Odin's his, uh, no, farewell I won't, I won't show, deny, everyone. I won't deny the transition part, but I'm just saying, like overall, as an actor, oh, I think no, that no, Cavill no. has more range. No. I, I think no. I think that it's tough to compare people between fifty fucking years, uh, yeah, like how we yeah. how we perceive Style. movies then versus how we perceive them now. Like, nah, Re Reeve was I'm just saying based on roles actor. played. I just you know. Have Reeve you seen Somewhere in Time, Odin? Say that one more time. Have you seen Somewhere in Time? Somewhere in Time, I have not seen. Oh Somewhere God, that's a great movie. Great movie with Christopher oh, yeah. Reeve. Yeah, Reeve's amazing. Yeah, but that was the thing with his Superman, and like he just, he just gave you this hope and inspiration without having to really say anything. It's little gestures, little nods, you know, well, um, little moments his, where he respected law enforcement. You know, well that's so. there, there was a yeah. like I said earlier. It's like there's a childlike purity to the way he played superman which i feel superman needs when you play him all dark and evil but he's he's got this like happiness to him this uh i don't know what is it called um optimism optimism, optimism. <laughs> what's that <laughs> what's it? optimism you know, like I don't know what opti this essence. optimism you speak of you guys, of. You guys Henry may have that, that but Henry, they never let Henry, him do it Henry Cavill was directed to be dark Yes. And oh, yeah. yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that, was wasn't, that wasn't his sure. take on the character. No. He no, never got a Snyder. chance to play that Superman. Yeah. I mean, and ultimately, like, Cavill proved to be a team player by doing what Snyder wanted him to do. So I, it doesn't sound like he's that much of a pain in the ass to me. No. Maybe Lauren and Hisrich. doing what Joss Whedon wanted him to do. Exactly. Exactly. Sounds yeah. like he's Lauren not the Hisrich. Only guy who hasn't fucking bitched and moaned about the whole. Yeah. Process, exactly. To be Sounds like Lauren now, Hisrich Ray is just the wrong person to be adapting. <laughs> fantasy uh, uh ever like i would she would be the last person i call even if she was remaking a fucking cw fantasy show <laughs> she, she's, she's probably jealous that she wanted to make a joke out of uh the a death of a certain horse and cavill put his yeah. foot down and ad-libbed a scene that ended up being the most important powerful scene <clears throat> of that season and he made he did it on the fly and her talent that she everything that she could muster couldn't even she's been attached to, to other things, things. all all of the I, all the credit she got she was attached to other things including daredevil season three and she thought she was going to have the next game of thrones she got a bunch of love for the first season and it went to her head and she's like well we need to double down nobody wants to you know what we'll we'll give you less Geralt uh in season two and we'll move further away from the book and give you more intersectional feminism including Yennefer not practicing magic the entire second season so she can science at the amazing. end because we need women ever. in stem and every we person she came across kept, kept, telling, kept telling her she's amazing you're amazing you're the best you're amazing but I, I despise season two. I thought it was absolute dog shit. And the irony is, the one bit of season two that I liked was the speech about Roach. And I was like, that was a really good speech. Then Lauren History is like, I've got a story. I made this joke about the death of Roach. And then Henry is just like, no, this is not how it goes down. So I was like, oh, just do what you want, Henry. 
And now uh, he actually produced the best bit of the whole of season two with this really heartfelt speech. And she was just going to make a joke about, well, he calls every horse roach, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. Oh, she's a oh, fucking that's flat awful. waffle, man. That's the showrunner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. I appreciate the fact Benny. Benny throws us a, a question, just sits back and enjoys the conversation. He's giving us <laughs> yeah. great this is what content. I'm, He's guys, so this good is what at I'm, it. Yes. This is what I'm here for. I'm here. Yes. I'm here for the comment section. I'm here yeah. for the comment section. I am the comment section. Like, and I'll <laughs> gladly. I love reading the comments. Say you're. I was reading, watching. Except like, you're not face. calling us smiling. gay, like, which I appreciate. <laughs> But I also no. like, that's what you do with nerds. You throw one question out there, and the nerds just like don't pile on it. Like, yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. Because I'm my perspective. I'm sitting here in my political. You know, I'm sitting here as a political commentator, and I'm like, my favorite Superman is Dean Kane because he's based. <laughs> Dean Kane is based. There's no, nothing. Dean Kane's an respect awesome Superman. Respect to Dean Kane. Respect, respect to Dean Kane. That is a I, good I, show. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Amy told me that's his the, favorite. Dude, I love I love the adventures of Lois and Clark. I I yep. love that movie. It's got so much heart. Terry Hatcher, fucking hot is so show. hot. Show, I'm just Hello. saying. Um, mm -hmm. but that show always captured the overall essence of what I wanted to see with Metropolis, Superman, Lois. I, I love that show. I love it. So, no but hate on that. Apart from season four, let's not talk season four. Okay. Well, you know well, when when when, when Terry like Hatcher changed her haircut, of. it all went downhill. Okay, we all know that. Yeah. yeah. So are they rebooting Batman too? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. They're, yes. they're going to be doing. They're going to be doing Batman: Brave and the Bold. So it's going to be a new Batman, and he's already going to have Damian Wayne, his son, as his Robin, which means you're bypassing a lot of other characters uh, that could a lot be Robin. Of continuity and story. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's an interesting, yeah. and that's the thing. Like the craziest part to me is. What did we just see in the DCEU? We just saw Henry Cavill as a younger Superman who's just getting his start, who's just starting as Superman versus an old, what is it, 20 years I've been in Gotham, like an old grizzled Batman who's like set in his ways. They're, hey guys, we need it new and fresh. We're going to restart. It. We're going to have <laughs> a younger Superman and an old grizzled Batman. It's like, it's totally <laughs> different this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. So it'll be Dude, Dunvers. is it gonna be like Frank Miller Batman? Is it gonna be like the Dark Knight? Like what? No, it's, no, it's Grant Mor Morrison. Grant Morrison, Grant which Morrison, is uh, another darker version of the yeah. Dark Knight. Apart from <laughs> it's like Dark Batman, but when you're absolutely pumping psychedelic drugs inside of you for twenty years, <laughs> that's Grant Morrison. That's Grant Morrison. Oh, no. <laughs> Again, I, I I appreciate the explanation. I mean, I sincerely do because I ca I care about American culture, and this is at the truly like at the beating nexus of american culture it's why these characters mm -hmm. can exist longer than any characters in american in, in the oh, american yeah. war right, right yes okay. and and so they, they matter actually and they're a reflection of all of us actually oh. and so they're Incredibly. ours and they don't yeah. these people have no right to defile them yeah, these people are mm -hmm. cultural necrophiliacs and it makes me very <laughs> upset it's like very yeah, stop, I, stop I, desecrating no, that's a Stop great desecrating yeah. this stuff that matter that matters to us and that actually matters from a political commentator's perspective to the American story because Superman is how we project ourselves to the world and yes. Batman oh. is also like a, a bit of the American id right <laughs> like yeah. a, a grizzled yes. like beat up old city filled mm -hmm. with iron and criminals and that's kind of the American story too and the the mix of them is is an important way to tell our story and so when you guys fuck with those things then you are actually messing with the american story and how we are representing ourselves and so story, it, I, it stories matters. The, man the whole the whole story of mankind is the way we tell our stories yep. from from paintings in caves as, as stone men through to other forms of media performance media and now that we have certain technologies that media has gone onto the small screen the big screen uh you know bypassing sort of like comics uh, that we have and this is this is the story of mankind and and what we see now is i i said a, a thing today on the video that i did i said we're, we're no longer doing reviews we're doing autopsies hmm. that's what we're doing so when you say they're cultural necrophiliacs you, you're, you're absolutely right because they are defiling what they've just killed they've yes. killed it and they're and they're defiling it and they're pissing and on I, it you know i'm in the uk new zealand for all you fucking memers out there i'm in the uk <laughs> and i've been collecting american culture in terms of comic books in terms of gi joe in terms yes. of all these things for 30 plus fucking years wow. because it means so fucking much and then you wow. get sorry a twat waffle like gavin fucking cunt face mcginnis 
who comes on and says he leans to the fucking right and then displays absolute fucking no shit about uh, culture and geek culture and how important it is and fucking ridicules the audience and fucking mocks them and berates them and then fucking wonders why the fucking left dominates everything. Because yes. the apathy that you mm. display is fucking... You don't deserve culture. You are the fucking person who destroys culture as much as the people you allow in to fucking destroy it. Your apathy has led to this. Apathy and, and black like, This bills. is why we exist. This is why we fucking are vocal. This is why we're happy to show our geek side, our nerd side. This is why we fight for our franchises. This is why we want to get fucking stuck into this culture world. And as you mentioned at the beginning of the stream, fucking give it to Disney. This massive billion dollar corporation, which has taken such beautiful stories that people have been able to share as a family, and now they're trying to destroy family. It's, 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 it is cultural necrophilia. It is no longer review. It is autopsy. The, the corpse is there on the table. And we're desperately trying hard to find a way to bring back Frankenstein's monster. And if we can't do that, then we'll do something that Eric July is doing. And we'll create our new culture. We'll create our own new characters. Shad here, uh, Razor Fist, uh, uh, even uh, shout out to uh, Drunk 3PO, you knobhead. You know, yes. all these people <laughs> are now bringing out their own material, their own culture, their own books, their own comics, whatever, their own toys, whatever it may be. And this is, these are the people that we have to rely on. These are the people that we have to support massively because without people producing new material, without producing uh, new characters to invest in, new culture to invest in, without people being able to tell another story and the stuff that we have today, it's over. It's buried. It's six feet under. We're done. Exactly. Well said. Well said. And Dylan Mulvaney for Superman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that's why that's that's why I think that that's why I'm so happy that someone like Benny is really mm. taking off and, and he's having because he understands the bigger picture of what's going on. He's heavily <laughs> entrenched in politics, but you know he talks he to me and Ryan all it. the time. He's a great guy. He's always looking out because he sees what we're doing with Friday Night Tights and everything. And we're we're growing and th it's massively important. And right now, it's we don't have time to fuck around. No, we don't have time to you know pull our dicks out that nobody can see on camera. We've got more important <laughs> things you know to to fight for right now. And that's what we're doing here. So it's and, and things and are and turning around. That. Things are absolutely no, turning no. around. Because we spoke up, uh, as you said on a stream earlier this week, Jeremy, uh, I, I, we were told that if we talked about this stuff, we only helped it. But then Willow got yeah. canceled. I mean, Shad, mm -hmm. you oh. didn't help Willow enough by not talking about <laughs> it. You got it canceled, <laughs> damn you. I, I, I can uh, promise you, my reviews of Willow encourage more people not to support that. Piece exactly. Of crap. Exactly. The, the one additional view it required me to, you know, give it to review it and so and that's why we have to be here that's why we have to be in this space you know yeah. you know watching the crap so that way people can know about it and then people can avoid it i mean that, ultimately that's right. what it comes down to <laughs> otherwise and you'd have to go watch it to find that out I'm, exactly I, like, seriously if bad reviews like helped out these programs why is hollywood always saying ah oh, that's just from racists and bigots they're all yeah, bad yeah, people yeah. listen mm -hmm. to the no, they they hate us they hate yeah. that we're calling them out they, on their crap and I can promise. Yes. I can promise you that Disney Star Wars was in much better shape when we cared enough to roast it. We are at a point mm. where we don't even care. Apathy enough to has roast set it in. And nobody's and we'll, talking about we'll, it. We'll yep, talk nobody. about apathy, but we got to let Benny. I don't know if he's going to come back. We're going to let him get out of here. Yeah, yeah, B Benny's gonna be back. So you guys make sure you go subscribe to Benny on YouTube. He does a daily show every day. He's crushing it over there. Uh, obviously, Central. follow him on Twitter. Uh, mm. It's a great, and, dude. He was crushing it, it. It was a perfect follow up guest because, like we said, we love Benny because he actually gets it. He realizes how much yeah. all this shit matters, and a not a lot of people mm. in his space do. Oh, he's look at that. Look at that. He's not an infant either. He's not an infant. <laughs> the reason why in my studio I have these original, the original <laughs> yeah. Star Wars characters. The Hell yeah. Blade Those are old school. I, are we full screen? They're all <laughs> yeah. over the they're all over the studio. Mm -hmm. And you have the original Star Wars characters from the 70s. One, mm -hmm. because it was a it was a gift to me when I was a little kid. And even when I was a little kid, I, I understood how powerful these stories were. And I wasn't around in the 70s, of course, to see the original Star Wars. Not all of us are Gary, but uh, <laughs> I <laughs> but I'm sitting here. 
I'm sitting here looking at the power of these stories and the hopefulness of it and what American cinema could do for an entire generation of geeks, nerds, everyone. How many people have seen Star Wars and what that really means to understand the hero arc and what that hero arc means to millions and billions of people around the globe and how awful it is to desecrate that and watch the guy drink blue milk titty titty milk like it's so it's it's so it is cultural necrophilia but i'll say this you know in conclusion to this that that really beautiful speech there about what they've done to culture that's politics right like it's, it happens in this in my profession all the time that the the sort of lofty um uh, rhetoric that even like Ronald Reagan or Barack Obama would use to describe America. And I'm not saying Obama's like a good guy here, but that's almost gone entirely. And mm. all you hear about America is we're like this racist piece of shit country. And that's going to actually have an effect after a while. That's gonna have a real world effect. People will start burning their cities down. People will start behaving horribly like to they each have other. Been. They already are. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Shouldn't and that's exactly like, what, the, there's an genuinely. effect to the story we tell ourselves mm -hmm. Right. either whether it's from a political stage or whether it's from a cultural stage and they are the same now and so that really matters and what you guys do really matters and so it is two sides of the same coin yep. and if we're going to even have a country or a cinema worth saving uh that's the way to do it is to change this rhetoric and to retell good stories and to tell good new stories and so that's what that's the that's why on my political show i have little star wars characters all over my set hell yeah good man benny good man benny and, and benny benny actually was uh, crazy enough to bring ryan kennel out to his studio for some <laughs> crazy reason so that's right ryan, everyone's invited all the time we have great studio he, he needed some bigot cred right here in hell tampa yeah. Right. Uh, hey, Benny, is there, uh, before you go, is there any, uh, you want to tell the fine people where to find you, anything you got coming up? So we just went to the Department of Transportation and handed out bottles of East Palestine water to the workers there, and that was really fun. <laughs> oh. Uh, Pete Buttigieg, <laughs> Pete Buttigieg <laughs> kicked, us off his, kicked us off his property, so we'll have a really fun video. We'll have a really fun video from, uh, from that. I can't wait for that. Uh <laughs> Oh, we have a, we'll have a fun video from that. I'm I'm gonna review it as soon as as soon as we're uh, as soon as we're off, and I appreciate it uh, so very very much being on this program. I just view, again I view us all. It's like the meme where everyone's putting their sword in. Like we're we all are mm -hmm. fighting for the same thing, and we all see the same problem, and it's this army of orcs. Uh, that are fighting sitting the here. same bees from different angles. That's yeah. What, that's what I always mm -hmm. say. And we're yeah. all in Helm's Deep, and we're like, we got to defeat yeah. you know, the orcs. And the best part about it. Helm's Deep, mate. That's <laughs> yeah, what we are. <laughs> Have you ever seen an SJW? They look just like an orc, and so it's very, very easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very the same. Same, no, no. same like body type. Looking orcs. Yeah. So I just want to say, like, I deeply appreciate nerd culture. I love you guys, and I am fighting, like, maybe, you know, maybe I'm not doing a nerdrotic or geeks and gamers style video but we're sort of fighting for the same thing and we're all in helms deep together so let's go kill some orcs man hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, nice yeah. nice Vinny, thumbnails Vinny. by the way yeah <laughs> yeah those thumbnails <laughs> nice thumbnails <laughs> dude benny's benny's the best when i when we met benny uh ryan actually met him first it was at the after party for uh gina carano's uh when we went to nashville for gina's Chair on movie the yeah we went to the after party and where drunk 3po had to be reminded who matt walsh was like five times but <laughs> ryan yeah. Ryan uh, told me he's like, "Hey, Benny Johnson's over there." I'm like, "Benny's up, dude. I gotta go. I gotta go roast him over a tweet, man." And I'd never met him. I walked over there. Ten minutes in, we're just laughing and joking with each other. And he's like, "I, I love you guys, man. I want to talk more. We gotta get to know each other." I'm like, "Benny's awesome." So yeah, it was good stuff, man. So we let, appreciate let, you, man. Let me go rip Gary's thumbnail style and make it for politics. <laughs> yes, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Just make it for politics. Hell yeah, is baby. It like, is it like Nerdrotic? My entire team is so sick of hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I, I, it's a sign of respect, guys. I, yes, it's a sign it of is. Respect. It's a sign of respect. Thank I you. love y'all. I love being on the program. Love you too. If you want, if you want uh, culture, politics with a little bit of culture thrown in and somebody who respects uh, nerd, uh, nerddom, fandom, and, and asks these questions, please head on over to my YouTube channel. Uh, toss me a sub. Uh, I promise you we'll keep you entertained. 
do a lot of work. We're hustling and grinding all the time. We're going to be in all weekend working on a, a number of big documentaries and fun programs. Uh, and it'll, you know, I, th I think it'll, it, it'll, it'll make sense. The way that we present politics, I think will make sense. If you like these st the style of presentation and understanding of the lens to view the world, I think it'll make sense to you. So I'd appreciate it if you guys would head on over there and give me a sub. Uh, yep. We're rolling. Hell yeah. You, uh, hey, good to have you, brother. Take it easy, Benny. Thank you, Benny. You Love you, man. We'll have you back you soon. Man. Great job, Glock, dude. Glock's not cocks. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 See you guys. How you doing, man? Yeah, have yeah, a good yeah. Later, have Benny. Good later. Ah, you also, killed it. Adult, killed it. adult versus last week's child. So yeah, yeah. no, I was, I was, I was going to say, what a refreshing, you know, kind yeah. of contrast is, when between he went, that when, Benny and a, <laughs> when he went when he went off camera before his, uh, I saw the chat. They're like, shut it down. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the kill switch. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was gr that was so, great. Anything, great. Uh, interesting happened last yeah. week, guys. <laughs> uh, no. No, no, really, no. Really. Dude, did I you mean, guys see the Seinfeld clip that the Legion of Memers put together? Yes, with yes. You as oh my god! Yes, yes, so yes. Holy shit! You yes. guys saw that? Was good. Really that was good. Oh <laughs> my god! And then Mahler comes walking in, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once the head starts so spinning, good. it's just like, oh, yeah. too good. <laughs> like, the as faces were so good. You know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny, Jeremy? Is uh, Mahler and I had a conversation like that after the show. <laughs> we did. Yeah. It's yeah. also... How'd it go? <laughs> How'd it go? I'm like, well... I saw, I, saw, I saw so many, like, not so many, but it was just a few people like, oh, it's fine. It's Friday Night Tights is destroyed. Fine. It's like... What? what the, yeah, what the fuck? What, what are y'all talking about? Like, we're just, if Settle anything, down. it helped us more than anything. I mean, it obviously sucked, but Thanks, it's Gavin. like, yeah, but it's only helped. And we're just going to laugh at ourselves. I mean, it was a fucking shit show. It was a disaster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I tell you what, like, afterwards, you know, it's like, oh, I say, how did the stream go? Well, uh, <laughs> I told yeah. so why many have people. A, uh, why have a story for you, yeah. dude? I call. I called a few people in my family. I'm like, yeah. So uh, we had a guy on the show pull his dick out. Like yeah. what? Wait, what? <laughs> They're like yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Seriously, like no, seriously. He pulled his dick out. No one saw it because it was that small, but it it happened. And <laughs> yeah, like explaining that to people that really aren't plugged into the internet at all or weren't watching this is like, wait, what? <laughs> you know? yep. Yeah, it's Why? really annoying because that whole the ending of that really kind of overshadowed the conversation that we had earlier in the show. That I thought yeah, I thought was really good. Mm -hmm. I thought it was yeah. really it was from a person that I think it was a saw, good conversation to have. Yes, yeah. 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 A absolutely. That sees all of this annoying, is just though. child like liking superheroes is so stupid and childlike and you should be you should move on and to have everyone here be able to come up with arguments and say no that doesn't that's not how it is here's what here's what we are about and explaining mm -hmm. that in a way that even the audience can see we're not faking this like this is how we live our life we have productive lives and we also love this stuff and we think it's very important so i think it is very important very important to have those conversations. Well, the, yeah, the frustrating thing for me is the fact that the right just has no clue. Not everybody, obviously. There's people like Betty. Uh, there's people like Brandon Morris who, who get it. But yeah. the culture is very important. Nerd culture, all this stuff. It, it influences what is going on. And because the right has abandoned it is the reason why we're in the state that we are now. And they're just like, well, what's going on? Why, why is the left winning so much? It's like, dude, look in the fucking mirror. Mm. Ask some questions. Well, also, he's a terrible... Happen? Because you ban yeah. it. Well, he's a terrible person to use as a representative of the right because he just proved himself to be completely childish. Like he called everyone out. Uh, yeah, no, very childish, I, I, and then he does what he does. Half, it's just like, yeah, yeah. He's making some really bad arguments. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then the worst argument of them all is the fact that he can't even back up his own position by you know being a stand-up person. But. Yeah. Well, yeah, but um, it's part of the troll. It's part of the shtick. Yeah. But yeah. there's yeah. a point where I mean, like, you can drop the shtick and have a conversation yeah. with us. Right. That, that's mm -hmm. that's where I would come out. It's like I get your shtick, uh, dude. I've been but, watching you for yeah, years. Yeah. But I, drop I, that shit. I don't even like. I don't even care. Like, stay in the shtick, whatever. To me. And I know part of his shtick is, you know, doing retarded shit for attention. But, yeah. uh, like, that's the point to do that on somebody else's show. Yeah. can say he didn't know we were live all he want. He's either a liar or he's a fucking retard or both. He knew it was live. He knew it was and, live. Like, yeah. to, to do something like that and put someone else's platform and channel in jeopardy, that's bitch made. 
and it will always be. Oh, bitch it's a total dick move. Yep. Yes. I should have yes. checked and made sure it was on YouTube or where exactly well, we were streaming to. I fucking or... told. I told. The stream, I told him. He fucking too. knew. Yeah, he, he knew. knew. We, we well, told him. Well, and yeah. that's the serious part of it is like Gary's YouTube channel is becoming one of the most important channels in this entire situation with what Hollywood is doing. I mean, Gary is crushing it right now. Mm -hmm. Gary, critical drinker, you know, these guys are like hitting another level. And to potentially put Gary's channel at risk, it's far bigger than anything that maybe he comprehended. But that's the biggest mm -hmm. issue here. And no, it didn't. It didn't hurt gary at all but the potential for that to hurt gary was there and that's the yeah. biggest problem yeah. that's why i will not have any more conversations with this person i'm not interested in that you ruin that opportunity you can be a dick you can be dismissive i knew that's who he was i've, I've, I've watched Gavin for a long time like not yeah. like you know religiously but i've always been a fan of his antics and the way he his sarcasm and his shtick that's where it goes over the line. And yes, you knew it was live. Don't act like you didn't. You did. That is a fact. You knew it yeah. was live. Yeah. Dick move, yep. buddy. Dick hey. the fucking move. Uh -huh. On that Literally. note. Yeah, nothing wrong with disagreeing or not agreeing with everything everybody else agrees with. But yeah, like don't do something that would put yeah. the channel in jeopardy. That's that's the that's my biggest problem. I didn't mind the disagreeing. I didn't mind that he didn't, yeah. you know, he was like yeah. lockstep with everyone on every issue. Yeah, that's um, fine. 100%. Well, yeah, I absolutely. actually like that we got to defend it and push back against yep. it and mm -hmm. point out how just like I, I just I found it so funny. He he was literally stuck in the mindset where he thought nerds were afraid of girls and afraid mm -hmm. of strong, muscly <laughs> men. And I'm just think, like thinking, do you believe oh. that Big Bang Theory is real life? Because this is right. insane. It's like it's never been the case. That's nerd you know what face. I did to my bullies in high school. I beat the absolute freaking crap out of them, and yeah. I had to pay a five hundred dollar medical bill to re to pay for. Holy right. shit! Sad. Yeah. Wow. On on that Sad. note, I think it's time to talk about geek grind. Because <coughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's After a that's we're our getting... fun loving our fun loving Mormon friend. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, uh, you know, people like. Sometimes, yeah, 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 dark yeah, periods. Yeah, like, <laughs> no. like, if you're looking for something no. darker, if you're looking for something yeah, warfare and for a reason, tables, yeah. okay. All right, he said, Excuse I have not come, to, I did, well, I did not come to bring um, peace but the sword. Uh, it's like, yeah. you need to stand up to evil. If you're, the only thing evil needs to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Okay. Yep. Turn yeah. the other yeah. cheek is a, is a taunt. It's not, I turn the other cheek so you can okay. smack me. turn the other cheek. All right. so it means if you it, whip one side yeah. of that ass, you whip the other. That's what it means. All right, so oh, now I'm going to talk about Geek Grind Coffee, like I was trying to do. Geek Grind. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, Geek Grind. It's coffee from the Cruz Family Farm in Colombia. So links are in the description. Uh, Nerdrotic on Instagram for upcoming. Uh, it's going to be on Nerdrotic, uh, our swag Sunday. So if you follow us on Instagram, you could win free stuff. So again, uh, we'll have samples at Vegas, by the way. We're going to have samples. <gasps> We're going to be giving away some stuff. Nice. So thanks, Geek Ryan, for, for backing us, even after last week's show. Really appreciate it. You <laughs> guys. And that Vegas uh, thing you just mentioned. What is that? That Vegas event. When, that's, when is that? That's when, a, when is April. That? That's a, a little over a month away. April 26th. It's a Wednesday. It's at the Millennium Fandom Bar. Yeah. Uh, it's free. Yeah. You get tacos. You get a, a couple of uh, rounds of drinks on us, even though I don't even partake. But you can. You can. And the place is ours uh, for the entire night. And then the following night, Chrissy Ooh. Mayer. So excited. Oh, my God. Comedy at the space on the 27th, uh, seven o'clock show. If it sells out, there'll be a link, you know. <sighs> it's gonna be fun. Lila Hart will be uh, doing a spot as well. I gotta figure out the rest of the lineup, but yeah. it'll be really, really fun. And we should have some uh, friends stopping by. CinemaCon is that week, so uh, Ooh. we could probably have some other friends stopping by. You never know. Who it might be? A beautiful that poster. Look at that. Look I love at that, that poster. That's gorgeous. Yes. That is Vector that Visual uh, is a genius. Yeah. It gets better every year. Yeah. So good. So damn good. Made us all look amazing good. stuff, Brazil. Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you, Vector. I want, uh, you miss out on the, that IRL ass. What is that? Oh, that's a duck. My God. <laughs> oh, I can't that's notice really that. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought there was like. A dick in the shadow or something. <laughs> 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 so, okay, we just feed it. We just feed it. <laughs>
Like, wouldn't it be funny if one of those shadows was a monster fucking dick? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be such a Disney move. Would be. Oh, that'd be great. That'd RSVP be great. in the description below. Go yep. RSVP. It looks like there's a dick above the E if you zoom in on the shadow. Well, you would know. Right there. Or don't. It's, it's oh, a, you've I do what you've it. never I seen. Can't. You can't. Scary. What is that? I've never seen a penis, Gary. I think we all have. <laughs> no, I just like Chris. Well, Chris is always looking for oh dicks. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. yeah. you hiding, Chrissy? <laughs> looks, it looks more like a traffic cone than a dick. Going out of that top. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone looks good. Yep. We're ready great. to go on our heist. Look at my uh, midsection. There we go. Nice. <laughs> 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 Gotta love it, man. Hell yeah. Can't wait. It's going to be a Gotta lot of fun. Lots of and plans. There'll be other stuff, too. We'll just yep. plan it and last minute like we usually do. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Megacon. Geeks and Gamers is going to be at Megacon uh, in Orlando. <laughs> April 1st, Saturday, 2.30 panel. The whole crew is going to be there. So if you're at Megacon, stop by. Come hang out. Questions and meet us. Whatever you're going to want to do. Uh, take pictures uh not charging for anything so uh just come hang out gonna be awesome looking forward to it hell yeah okay uh i'm gonna read some soups but real quick uh last episode of star trek was fucking awesome i loved it, it. oh i love some it's good, so good shit porn in it very good. Uh, uh, God. very good very but good. Th that's another thing you know what what as was talking about earlier like there's so much destruction when we get something good People aren't going to be willing to watch it, which I totally understand. It'll be too little too late. You're only mm -hmm. going to get a fraction of your audience back. And e even when they come out, when they come, well, it's not coming to their senses. It was the owners of Star Trek didn't give a fuck anymore. And they yeah. fucked off. Yeah. And they just go, here, here's, here's the, here's, make a series for the cheapest amount possible. And they just happen to luckily have a guy who, Worked on Star Trek before and loved it, and just and, tried, and and then went back to basics like you talked about yeah. earlier. As just didn't reinvent the wheel. This isn't going to be the greatest Star Trek series ever made. It's just the best one in almost twenty years. <laughs> I'm That's loving it. Sad. Like, and the writing, the writing is genuinely good. I, I, it, is, it, it requires talent to make what they're making, and mm -hmm. the way that they like foreshadowed things and had have things play out, and the payoff in episode five. That's talent. That was like, mm. and it's I'm only it's it only it's if only you get talented people. It's mm -hmm. when you get talented you people. Uh, Jeremy brings it up. We all bring it up. Uh, mm -hmm. There is no fatigue for any. There is no good story fatigue. There is no good story fatigue. It's it doesn't exist. Fatigue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bad story fatigue uh, that mm -hmm. we have. So we hear Star Star Wars fatigue. We're hearing Marvel fatigue. We're hearing all the fatigues, but there wasn't Avatar fatigue. Uh, there wasn't Maverick fatigue. <laughs> the, the, Spider Man oh. No Way Home they had three fucking Spider Mans. That should fatigue everybody, right? Oh, no, it didn't. It made them really fucking happy. This is the third movie in the mm -hmm. third franchise of Spider Man, and everybody went to go see it. Yeah, I don't think I anybody. Those, honestly, all those reports of terminal list fatigue. No, wait, that's right. Oh, wait, no, no right. terminal list fatigue. To it. That's right. You're House of the Dragon man. fatigue. Don't think there's Spider -Man. House of the Dragon fatigue. Nope. Yeah. Like I've said this my whole like every time it comes up, I've never had medieval fantasy fatigue or superhero fatigue or anything. I love this crap. Give me good stuff, and I will love it. Dude, you know, I never had life. Star Trek fatigue when that like mm -hmm. that's it. Like in the '90s, it was all Star Trek, wall to wall exactly. Star Trek, all the mm -hmm. freaking time. And I'm There's like, no yes. Yellowstone, next gen uh, DS9, you know, no, nope. we're watching it all. And those seasons had a lot more episodes than the current. Yeah, season. they did. They did. And you're right, Odin. Uh, you know, I, I haven't seen Yellowstone yet because I only watched the prequels. Yeah, I finally watched it and loved it, and then I jumped into watch 1883, which was phenomenal, and now I'm in 1923. So, and so it's like the Jeremy, entire Yellowstone universe so is fantastic. Uh, okay, what's better, Jeremy? Uh, 1923 uh, or 1883? I haven't seen uh, 1923. I've only seen 1883. So, 1883 is pretty fucking good. I like good. Yellowstone. I like Yellowstone more than 1883, yeah. but not not by. I mean, they're still both good. You know what I mean? Because 1883 oh. is a self-contained story, I I like that one so far better than 1923. But they're still great. It's like saying one's better than the other is not. I really like 1923. Much, that ending, fuck off. It's so cliffhanger. Oh, <laughs> it felt like a bit of yeah. I was like oh, so yeah. I like 1883 is 
I think, slightly better. But uh, Harrison Ford's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. and Helen Mirren. She's yeah. pretty damn good when she's not being a supervillain beating up Shazam. God. <laughs> <laughs> and then turning a good at the end. Atlas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I like Helen Mirren, River, fucking Excalibur. Oh yeah, I love. Te- again, River, I've been on. T- I've Taylor been with Taylor Sheridan, Taylor Sheridan since yeah. back when he did Sicario. When Sicario. With Jeremy Renner is so good. It's so damn good. Yeah, uh, he's just great, man. He's excellent. Dude, this guy Sheridan just craps out scripts, and George fucking R. R. Martin can't write a fucking page in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like, man, I, I love his story too. Like, like Taylor Sheridan was. Uh, he was kind of like a second or third dairy character of, uh, you know, Sons of Anarchy. He was fine on the show, but tertiary, huh? Tertiary character. I say third dairy. It's a joke from uh, a <laughs> long time ago with sports. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but uh, I can't tell the joke here. It's kind of racist. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but uh, okay. Anyway. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. If it's only kind of racist, I think it'll be tell fine. It. <laughs> go, go on, just whip it out. Just whip it go, out. Go on. I mean, go we've on. had Ryan on for a while, so yeah. I think we'll be okay. No, no, no. But like, it's just a. It's, it's, it's about this, this, when I say third dairy, it's a. It's kind of a joke about sports because uh, there was this uh, announcer. Yes, was, I, like, I, I. Yeah, secondary uh-huh. Uh-huh. In, the, in, in football, he's like he's in secondary. He's in the third dairy. <laughs> it's no third dairy. It's no third dairy. Uh, but the but my family in Alabama, it, Jeremy. What would you call Your it? Your family in uh, Alabama <laughs> thinks there's a third dairy. Okay, and. That's that's okay. <laughs> That's they okay. Do. We love them. Uh, but anyway, Taylor Sheridan was on Sons of Anarchy, one of my favorite shows of all time. He eventually left the show because he didn't feel that they were doing enough with his character and there were some creative differences. So he goes on and makes fucking just bangers after that. Like he's just become yeah. a he's become a juggernaut within film and TV right now. And I love I love that he just said, No, fuck you. All right. If you can't find something for me to do, I'll I'll go do it myself. And uh, he certainly has done that. He's certainly mm-hmm. done that. So, so you finally saw Tulsa King, Jeremy. Yes, I did. And what'd you think? It's fucking phenomenal. Great um, show. It's so good. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't, I mean, because it's hard to compare woke, him, like, it? directly, but oh, well, it's according so to Jack Basobic, it's, it's it's so it literally woke. has just it, it, trans cock flopping everywhere, apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, that. That's, that was dumb. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, Mike's turn to the origin story. Oh, <laughs> Jeremy, uh, what was that? Uh, did you see that clip that a fan made? It was you reviewing something that you really liked, and then, but then they subbed in the Little Mermaid trailer. That's probably yeah, that's, Steph. Steph, Steph, yeah. Steph, Steph. Okay. So, uh, Steph so has done funny. that, uh, and uh, that's gonna get mean forever. Uh, but yeah, that one's really funny. That one's but they've been doing. She's been doing that one for a while. Actually, Gary's the one that brought it back to life. What were um, you reviewing originally? Do you remember? <laughs> Uh, Kwame Brown video. Kwame Brown. Yeah, video. yeah, it was, was Kwame Brown. A Kwame Brown video on D Day Cobra. Well, Kwame Brown was basically just, you know, he's a former, he's former uh, NBA player, and um, he was basically just dropping bombs on ESPN and all this stuff. So I was reacting to that. It's been meme to hell. Uh, as far as the Tulsa King, yeah, I think the Tulsa King's a solid, solid show. Um, it's really good. Sylvester Stallone is fantastic in it. Uh, there's literally no wokeness in it at all. So any of that nonsense can just be squashed. It's not woke. Uh, Stallone's a badass. The storytelling is great. It's got, and it, and it left me hanging uh, for wanting to see what happens in the next season, which mm-hmm. is what a great show is supposed to do. And so I can't wait. I can't wait for more. Yeah, it's only so, woke if you like cut it off at one point and don't see the conclusion where it's like something is said and then immediately it's thrown right well, back at them. Also, it's the like, the clip he pointed out was it's fucking stupid. By the we've t- we talked about it on a previous live yeah. stream. I worked in dealerships forever. If you come in to a dealership with a big wad of fucking cash, they have to report it. If it's anything over ten thousand dollars, they have to report it. And they're they're yes, they're going to think you're a drug dealer. Black, Mexican, white, they're all going to think you're drug dealers. If you're going in, some dealerships won't have a problem with it. A lot of them would, though, uh, because of tax reasons and certain things. You, you, like having, Especially if, you, if you, I go in dressed with like just basic bare clothing versus going in with a suit. Guess what? Anyone's going to look at me differently, no matter what skin my color, you know, whatever, whatever color my skin is. Yeah. Whatever, whatever skin, skin my color, color whatever skin my color is. But, yes. but you know, but you know what? Wait, wait, that maybe. that kid, that that black kid has a good father in a show. Yes. Yep. An excellent father. Yeah. 
So well, I'm on the farther shit. side. Uh, like, I haven't finished the season. But I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, hang on. Sign me up. I think Sign that's AI art again as well. AI yeah. is just making the memes incredible. This is, ah, I love it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, Babo Yogi. Instead of Baba Yaga, it's Babo Yogi. I'm He's looking forward. I'm looking forward to John Wick Four. By the way, yes. I've heard so many good oh. things about it. Oh, and oh, then uh, hey, Lance Reddick. Man. Lance Reddick, yeah, oh, yeah. dude. Lance he Reddick. he was yeah. he was supposed Rest to go to the premiere and he didn't. He took a selfie, mm-hmm. according to TMZ, with him and his dogs, and then he was just dead. And Sixty years old. Only, like he's a guy who seems like in like takes really good care of himself. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And he's been oh, solid in every single great, thing. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. Going he's back to the fringe days actor. too. I mean, gosh. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's a yes. great actor. Too bad he was so in that dog shit Resident Evil yeah. Netflix yeah. series. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Even good actors are in bad things on, sometimes. At least we'll have John Wick ever. 4. That'll kind of be like a celebration. Yeah. That'll be Absolutely. a better finale for him than Cocaine Bear was for Ray Liotta. Oh, God. <laughs> the fact that that was uh, Ray Liotta's. Like, is that his last or is it one of his last? It's his last, I think. I think it's, I think it's, oh, his, it's his last. Sad. And the way he goes out in that and the how bad that movie was is like... Yeah, mm. yeah this will be better. According to Chris Gore, it's a return to form. It's the second best one. Uh, it's long, but it doesn't feel long. And it's just pure just action and fun. Yeah, that's that what she sounds said? Cool. That's what people uh, yeah. want. Uh, hey, Black, I told you to never leave again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Baba Yogi for one hundred dollars. Hales, thanks for the last three years, Gary. You kept me sane during the coof and now during the zombie apocalypse. That's hit my hometown. Here's a token of appreciation, courtesy of Norfolk Southern Railroad. Oh, he's from, uh, he's from East Palestine. Oh shit. Oh mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I love you guys and gals and whatever yeah. Ryan is today. Whatever Ryan. Thank you. And I'm sorry what happened. <laughs> I hope you have clean water. Yes. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Oh, water. Water. Right. I'll you. send him some Trump. I'll send you some Trump. It's what everyone wants. Well, I couldn't tell if that was Dylan Mulvaney or Anita Sarkeesian for a second. I know, right? <laughs> they do kind of look alike. So what they, they should do, do is do this for alike. Superman, and then for Batman, you know how normally people say it's kind of like Chicago. Here's what you do. You make the mayor Kanye. of Gotham City. Oh. No, Lori Lightfoot. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Commissioner day Gordon. One of, day one of Superhood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so bad. So bad. Uh, uh, as far as Garrett leaving, that's the worst part from last week is when he came back. <laughs> And he's just like, hey, what happened? What's going on, guys? <laughs> and we're just like, what did I miss? And no one was like, no one's going to say, he's just, and, and quarterback's just sitting there. Like, what? did something happen? Somebody say something. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> no. oh, 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 this is the worst sorry. thing ever. I'm sorry. Oh, no. uh, Lori Lightfoot. The, but the best part is when Gavin actually did it, quarterback's pictures got his, he's like looking, he got his, his glasses down, like he's, Hey, what are we <laughs> what's going on over there? Will, like, when you look at the panel of reactions from us, it was pretty good. Yeah. I, like, I almost didn't react. <laughs> Extra girl I don't know Chrissy. how. How did you not react, Ryan? I Nothing really moves me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, that, that's, that's very on point. That kind of thing. Like, you know, like, I think cool. when you're in the army too, right? Uh, I was in the navy. Uh, but yeah, the navy. Yeah, um, you see dicks all the time there. Yeah, exactly. So it wasn't a big deal. Um, but yeah, Chrissy and Extra Girl had very like girlish cover their faces like reactions. Pretty much everybody else was either like going to their head in their hand or like busting out laughing. And I was just kind of <laughs> like. I had that uncomfortable laughter. Like I was like, "Oh gosh, I can't believe." No, that. I laugh because I, I, if if I saw that in somebody else's show, I'd probably fucking laugh. That's what I would <laughs> yeah. do. So I laughed. Yeah. I laughed, oh, and then I went, really good. "Oh, this I is my show." Really <laughs> so, oh, one of those, like, I'm like, so uncomfortable. So like, that's my natural reaction. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, no, 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 no. So somebody would have made just a super racist joke. Dude, the jokes they were telling at the mothership. Holy shit! Like, really, really oh, good man. dark stuff that that would just annihilate us on YouTube. Annihilate, us. yeah. You know, like him doing that struck me as the type of humor guys would do in the locker room, and you know, just to mess with each other and and everything. Yeah, jock shit is kind. Yeah, and but 
you would know there's a time and place then if you're going to do that type of crap yeah. and not in the locker on, room. On, yeah. 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 Behind the door. Yeah. Not live uh, on it was YouTube. just locker room talk. Yeah. And Rumble. <laughs> yeah. I felt bad for Rumble. Too. I'm like, you yeah. know. the pussy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not another dime gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. Not another dime. It's a lot of dimes. How you doing, Az? A personal question? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> how, Just please tell no, me no, you no, went so, to the bathroom has, at some point. Has, That's what I need. How to know. are you doing? Well, I want to take you back to 1986. <laughs> 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 Tell me about your mother. Kind of cuts off. I thought it was better to just cut it off, or he'd yeah. start singing the whole damn song. Quick, quickly, put it down. That's Gary saying. Is that a tear in my back? It's like Last of Us Two. <laughs> it's like Last of Us Two. It's like Abby Smash. As is still going. <laughs> Gary, 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 I have one question. Yes. <laughs> Can I is, mute as? Yes? <laughs> based on based on based on the reaction, your yes. facial reaction, I think I already know the answer, but is Breeze bigger than Gavin's? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Bree, Bree smash. <laughs> Bree oh smash. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Abby casting <laughs> confirmed. Oh, man. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> oh, God. Oh. You know, I deserve that. All the all the all the screenshots I got of Jody Whitaker's face over the years. I've got an entire fan a file of her bad uh, facial expressions. I had it coming. I did. Uh, he had it coming. Butter biscuit. Now, were you just singing Chicago? Was Damn Chicago? right. I saw a reference and I decided to to, to use it. Yeah. That's pretty gay. Yeah, I still don't even understand that. Right uh, I don't know. Singing your your show tunes there. Uh, Butter biscuit ninety. I don't, I don't, I'm not judging. I don't know if I should share this meme or not. Not judging. Show so, tunes so can I'm be shared. To. So I'm going to. So yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Netflix version. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> good. I'm the captain. Oh, oh, oh shit. Hello. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Twitter. <laughs> Hi, Twitter. How you doing? Hi, Twitter. You just oh. taste ass off. <laughs> 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 Ass is dead. <laughs> you killed him. I just love how his head just kind of popped up and went right back down. <laughs> <laughs> now the camera's. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that is a. Who's retarded now? That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's an all timer, man. <laughs> that is an all timer. <laughs> Whoever made that. That know, needs like, to go into the meme Louvre. If there's a meme yeah. Louvre, that needs to be Behind in there. Behind the glass. Behind the glass. The protesters can't get to it. There like a meme documentary, like just the making of. Well, yeah, you know how they were doing street art, you know, exit through the oh. gift shop, Banksy yeah. and all that stuff? We need we need it for memers. We do. They're artists. They're, they're genius. They're artists. We love you. Legion of memers, we love you. Butter Who said this? Who said this? Uh, somebody in the chat. They said, that's awful. Lee funny. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. uh, Butter Biscuit 92 for $50. I better hit the right one. That's yeah, right. Butter What's up, Butter Biscuit? Butter Biscuit. Thank you for uh, donating on the Streamlab side, circumventing whoever our Lord and Master is now. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Susan. Hail Ryan, Jeremy, and Exude Agul for helping me get through the day. 
My last two weeks have been exhausting because people don't come to work and I have to clean up after them. This stream will help me through to almost done. Thanks for the boost every day. All right. Thank you. So, yeah, people aren't showing up to work anymore. I can't imagine you shut down an economy for a year and a half, two years, and uh, shocking. I know it's fucking I don't shocking. About that. Wow. Money's not worth anything. Hey, you know what? You know what's sad? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that series Jeez. of memes are hilarious. <laughs> Dude, I knew falling asleep around you motherfuckers, I'd be getting yeah. that idea. Yeah. So. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, well, yeah, so funny. you guys didn't draw a dick on his face though. That's a little disappointing. <laughs> Never fall asleep around friends. Yeah, yeah that fucking Betterman meme. That was good <laughs> stuff. That, shit, man. that was Can't good recover. stuff. God, you know, you know, what's sad is when we finally figure out this reparations thing and get ready to pay them out, money will be worthless. So, yeah, I think yeah. that's probably the plan. Yeah, we're yep. gonna give them Zimbabwe. That's money. that's when you know the dollar's <laughs> almost done when oh the government's like. <laughs> That's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what people will never die. The cat every no, time see, brought up, you know what? Dumb. I don't even I get it. So stupid. <laughs> that's what makes Thanks, it good. Is Ryan's reaction to it. Uh, that's what makes yeah. it even better. Yeah, I, I, like I didn't the even one know Drew didn't... Barrymore was doing a talk show or something. I didn't it's either. It didn't either. Been doing it for years. years. Okay, you yeah. know how I know because it's on my at my fucking gym. <laughs> and it's like, oh fuck! Uh, now, okay, now wow. I wow. Business is picking up. Business yeah. is picking up. Okay. So. Wow. Oh, X-ray girl, we got. Uh, I got my Rivendell and my Hogwarts castle oh. Legos. The boxes are huge. I yeah. know. That's so exciting. I mean, just on the whole, Drew Barrymore kneeling. My wife thing, will help like, you, by I the way. I, I wonder why people, you know, might do it to get attention or something like that. When you see crap like that. You where, think? Mm. Nah. Yeah. No. The amount of, well, the l amount of lack of self-respect you must have for yourself. Oh, my mm. goodness. So much. Uh, Drew Barrymore has been passed around Hollywood more than fucking Well, Ezra God, have you, you've, uh, I don't know if, well, you probably didn't listen to Howard Stern back in the day. Her mom used to go on Howard Stern and talk about taking her to Coke parties and shit. Oh, yeah. And pass she used around. to, she so used cool. to yeah. like at 12 years old and give her to guys. Her mom was a piece of shit. Uh, yep. Yeah. Crap. That's, yep. Disgusting. Oh, yeah. She'd be on 12 years old with adult males and drugs. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's a picture of a little. Friggin <laughs> Man, Hollywood <laughs> is the modern Sodom and Gomorrah. It's There's a picture of little like, Drew Barrymore <laughs> with a cigarette, like smoking a cigarette when she's like 10. Uh, where the yeah. fuck do they cut your belly out? Like, I, I, it's, it's weird. I mean, <laughs> half I man. Illusion. He's a half man. Uh, Ryan, I I'm feeling... just half the man he used to be. Ryan... I, I have a feeling that oh, image wow. was photoshopped. We've no. We've never no. seen Adam. Yeah. No. That's a yet. real image. Um, <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now this is the kind of thing I can get down with, all right? <laughs> 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 uh, it does make you look very short. It does make I you look think very so. short. It does. It does, yeah. I don't know, Ryan. I think someone else is getting down there. It's like I'm photo bombing and Jeremy's there modeling or there. something. Yeah. <laughs> He's, you know, he's there like that's, Jeremy's that's my boy. revising. Jeremy's, secu Jeremy's security. Gary's just company. Yeah, dude, she's gonna blow you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Uh, Ryan, Ryan for fifty British pounds for now. That's proper money. I I don't know. I think everything's on its way to being a peso. Uh, since yeah. since uh, since Iger is making his rounds, culling the weakest shows in the herd. Any rumors? What's next on the chopping block? Um, Blade. Blade if it ever comes out. Yeah, that's gonna get canceled. Yeah, I, 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 I'm willing to put money on that. Anything that's potentially not gonna turn a profit at this point. Well, that's a lot, but yeah. Uh, Blades and Ali, Ali wants out, doesn't uh, he? The, the, uh, Marshall, uh, like he's locked Marshall, into a contract, Marshall, but they have Ali. to be, they have to be in production probably within a reasonable amount of time. That would be my guess. Uh, but what happens is Marvel, uh, Disney, and Marvel were the big dog. Now, now you're only as good as your latest movie. There's blood in the water. 
and Marshall Marshall Ali does not need Marvel. They need him. No. He does yeah, not need him. He's, he's a, a really very good, good actor. Really good actor. Really in the water. Actor. He's um, in the sharks so, will come. Yeah, you your Ninja Turtles. I found out how they're going to make money. Product placement. Right here. There it is. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. Um, oh, so, oh, my God. That is fantastic. <laughs> And, and you know what's even worse? It reminds me of see myself. You know what's worse? Fried is chicken. Is I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry that about that that, ho- that looks fucking good. I'm so hungry that looks good. All that does is remind me of Shazam, which has so much product placement. Sailing on the same boat right now. We are. We are. Yeah. I'd blow a hobo for a piece of that potato. The Skittles in Shazam. That was my audible groan. I couldn't believe. Oh, I was just like. That oh, right. I was like, there's product placement, and then there's product placement. Uh, they, they, they made it part of. Oh, the sh- plot. Shazam! That, yep. The fucking yeah. Skittles. Says, Taste yeah. The rainbow. Oh, oh, twice. No, like, no. Like, no. no, no it I is part that. of the story. It is part yeah, of the yeah. story. They, they, yes, I, and it was forced. They ha- they actively had to go out of their way. They to they compared it to Ambrosia. Yep. I That's know, what I, they're I, like. The closest thing we have to Ambrosia, which is like the elixir of the gods. Is Skittles. Yeah. Remember when World War Taste Z the rainbow, stopped though. for a Pepsi commercial near the end? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was, was just a... like, what am I watching? I have not How seen Shazam 2, but I, I think that, that oh, probably a lot, but I think oh. that I, I think that it was a mistake to create these random new fucking villains. You you have so many characters that you right. can pull from and, and you decide to The Daughters create... of Kronos? Yeah, create these fucking characters, especially when you had already set up stuff from the first Shazam. You know, there's possibilities well, out there, but I think to have something that no one has any f- fucking attachment to, just so well, you could probably. Well, and there were also in. sisters I, who were. You could probably blame The Rock because the first movie was setting up um, Black Adam as the villain. Well, for the exactly. Next film. If you've got two Shazam movies now and you haven't got Black Adam in either, right. what, like, the what the fuck the is going on? And you have a completely separate it Black Adam yeah. film yeah. that was also asked. And, and, it, it was no mention at all. Like Black Adam, he is ruling a country on the other side and is wearing the same uniform and everything. Yes. And what? No one's gonna ask a question. Dude, about dude, the previous uh, Warner Brothers was the dumbest company on earth. They they had the Lord of the Rings. They they could have made and distributed an animated Lord of the Rings. They could have just re released the Lord of the Rings in theaters every five fucking years. They had Harry Potter. The best they could come up with is the fucking Wizarding World. They couldn't get their shit together. They've owned DC for decades. They own fucking Looney Tunes. They don't know what the fuck to do with. They are the dumbest fucking company on earth, and that's the reason they're on. They're billions in debt. They have all this great shit. That is again as the easiest for fucking layups, and they don't know what to do. Hey, let's make five peripheral Batman shows where Batman's <laughs> dead or missing. That's a great idea. Let's make Fantastic Beasts. That'll turn out. That'll turn um, them well, out. Batman, he's nice. toxic Excellent. masculinity. Here. Yes, he is, and he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So they're okay. fucking stupid. They're they, they're just fucking stupid, and they should have gone out of business. By now, but they own so much stuff, and they've been passed around like a freaking dollar whore so much that like Leave nobody Drew knows Barry what to do. This. <laughs> <Or Drew Barry. laughs> I I apologize. I apologize. She's a victim of circumstance. She is a uh, Link fan. She is, in, she is indeed Link fan for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Here's a little tip for this week's FNT. Here's a little tip for okay. uh, because did there. <laughs> of how well you handled last week's little tip. Thank you, Link fan. Thank you for doing that on the Streamlabs side, circumventing Papa the Susan, formerly known as Mama Susan. Is she gone? Owner, okay, so isn't it weird? Isn't it weird that um, the Twitch CEO resigns, the YouTube CEO resigns, uh, some others resigned right after Elon kind of showed that social media companies are in league with our federal government and completely mm-hmm. full of shit. Totally unrelated. Totally unrelated, I'm sure. Yeah. You, you, sir, are QAnon conspiracy. I must be. Yeah. <laughs> Shazam. Now, the, I'd watch that fucking Shazam. Hell yeah. This <laughs> looks so skills. weird. I know. I'm buff as fuck, though, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy looks like a woman. Are you the gay one? Yeah. <laughs> must be. We got to have some talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Which what? one is that? I can't oh, tell. Oh, also you. that. Right. I hope so. I hope yeah. so. That's all I can say. 
I no, mean, no, the blue listen. one is the guy with the um with the crutch. So I'm uh, just the lovely glad Sherry. That thank you. Guys- you. I asked yeah. if if I was the gay one because it just shows me that the Gary's makeup looks normal on that character that he had because he had makeup too. But they're yeah. like, that's oh, normal. Gary looks gay in real life. So, uh. <laughs> hey, one of Shazam's I'm so hot. Powers. Women and dudes want me, especially when <laughs> I've got. Well, how many dick pic offers have you been asked for? I mean, I was on a show last night Offers. where a guy just offered it up. Uh, no, I, sh- I shared it in Discord. That guy was like, hey, I re- uh, he was really nice about it. He's like, hey, I really love your channel. Really Can I get a picture of your dick? dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Gary's making it clear. Send all of your dick pics to him. Oh, no. my, my wife will see him. He sent me a picture of and she, my rifle, my wife will roast the shit out of your dicks. Okay, so. send a, just send a picture of Dick Grayson. That's just gonna motivate him even more. Don't that's why. I did, that's simply what I do is Dick Grayson. Uh, Dick Grayson. It'll it'll Tracy. it'll drown out all the bigot shit. I don't know. <laughs> so. Great little joke in uh, no, don't the say sun that. when they did uh, uh, Nightwing versus Winter Soldier. And uh, Nightwing's talking oh, to yeah. Barbara Gordon, and uh, he he texts her, and she picks up a phone. It's got a picture of him like working out, and he, underneath it, he's got dick pic. Dick pic. Yeah. <laughs> Batman and the Sun. Like, those are pretty good. The Sun, yeah, they are great. Yeah, Batman and the Sun did great superpower beatdowns, and they haven't done one in years, man. My favorite oh, part. Um, well, they did. Well, they did that great Batman short. They were, which yeah, we, they were which the one we that made that. Yeah, Batman with, short. Uh, Kevin Kevin Porter's Batman. Kevin Porter's great. I Batman, did like yeah, reviewing yeah. Titans because. Uh, <laughs> There was a lot of dick jokes we could make during those reviews. Wow. Well, you just say, well, because Dick Grayson's in it, so you got Dick got his ass kicked, and Dick got beaten down, but Dick rose to the occasion uh, when the time came out. I will beat your dick into the ground. (laughs) (laughs) Tim Drake like sucking dick. Grayson. Beat your dick in the ground all night. Theophilus. isn't it? Forty nine ninety nine. A man sucking dick is gay. What are you? Oh, is that, that that's right? Okay, like it took me a minute, right, Ryan? I got there. I got there with the cl- yeah. I got I got there. I got there. I finally got there at some point. It took me a little while, but I did it. It was like I the, the, the memory was loading. Uh, Theophilus for forty nine ninety nine. Memory. I'm gonna be doing this stuff. Until I can't talk anymore. Okay, the mini strokes are kind of ramping up a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> all right, we <laughs> we'll give some land to the. Oh wow! I c- can I read this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, all right. Uh, Theophilus, this is on a super chat, by the way. Forty nine ninety nine says, "All right, we'll give some land to the N's and the CHs." But we won't, not to the Irish. St. Patrick Day, pray for us all. Hail Friday Night Tights. That is from Blazing Saddles, by the way. (laughs) Not the Irish. Not the Irish. Okay, bring them (laughs) to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee McGovern has gifted 10 nerdrotic memberships for $50. (laughs) Drunken Finn, and thank you. Drunken Finn for 50 British pounds says, Hail Friday Night Tights. As. How many FF7 remake Tifa statues, three different variants, have you bought from Square Enix Shop? The uh, the compliment to compliment the life size Tifa doll that you most certainly have uh, with penis attachment. Also, freely use <laughs> feedback phobic snowflakes. Feedback phobic snowflakes. As in, all of them. All of them. I've got one right there as well. I yep. got her in the purple dress right there. All three. Although two have been released, the other one is still on pre-order. Uh, it's still pre. It's not released yet. So I've got two out of the three already. There you go. And I've got the TV with a cock in my bedroom. Uh, <laughs> I was just reading a book where uh, uh, oh god, a Chinese emperor's wife had. I don't know what year it was. Long time ago. Because it was talking about ancient automatons, and she had a, uh, a, a she had a, a, oh. a, a no, she had a thing with a dick that she could ride all the time, and it was uh, it was made of metal. Uh, but then when the king found out, it had it destroyed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! To be a fly yeah, on the wall. While the king, yeah. while the while the Big emperor was that. gone, she was uh, riding her uh, dick robot. Basically, it's, <laughs> it's like damn. 
Uh, they were inventive back based. then. Those, hey, based. They, they, she knows what she wanted. Yeah. What was well, it? The it, it, was, it? It was okay. His. It was a Chinese emperor. The emperor's new pose. <laughs> George Romero said in 1978 interview with Rolling Stone while making Dawn of the Dead, he made it in mind as a comic book. You can tell he put a lot of effort into uh, with the dialogue and camera angles, specifically with cinematography. Thank you, Cinema Buff 2000, for $49.99. Well, yeah, a lot of uh, storyboards are comic books. Have you have you seen? There's a brilliant book, a brilliant book out there. It's out of print. It's thick. It's it's thick. It's beautiful. Oh, girthy, girthy. Oh, it's it's uh it's the art of the Matrix. It's got Jeff Darrow oh, art. Nice. It's got manga art, and they mapped it out completely. Like they drew a comic book for that movie, uh, and the art in it is freaking spectacular. It's so good. And they, Raiders of the Lost Ark has a, a... I was about good, to bring that up. That good luck finding art. it. It's a couple hundred bucks on eBay last time I checked, maybe more. Uh, but yeah. it's the the script with the storyboards. Uh, been out of print Fucking forever. amazing storyboards. Amazing storyboards. Uh, bad Rememory RR for $50. <laughs> 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 Benny. Let's give it up one more time for Benny Johnson. We're covering East Palestine. Uh, I know it's a small town in the USA, but I grew up there and I still live close. It was crazy and scary to watch go down. All hail. Go tit. Go tit. Go tit. It was... Uh, yeah, we, we have some viewers there that appreciate us talking about it, so it was pretty awesome. It was man. shameful that the media didn't talk about it, that the people who are actually in office had to be f- embarrassed there by Donald Trump. Yep. yep. And that that's that was his whole the the reason he did it. It was gonna make him look good and force action. So yeah. uh love him or hate him, he did the right thing. Mm. He did the right yeah. thing. And I, Benny did the right thing. Yeah, I, f- I fucking hate Bo- Pete Buttigieg. It's not because he's uh, gay, he's but because he fucking person. sucks. Yeah, he's, he just he's sucks. Fucking <laughs> completely retarded. useless. Yeah. He's the worst, man. He really is. He just so happens to be sons. gay. Some Ben's not that far. It would really be homophobic if I didn't hate him. Uh, right. But <laughs> South Bend is not very far away from like where I live in Northwest Indiana. So like I saw all about this stupid fuck when he was trying to run for president. Annoying as shit. Glad he's embarrassed. Well, the reports are they're arresting Trump next week. So oh, that's what they say from the what? New York DA. Oh, hey, no, for, 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 uh, no I, 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 this one has no, a little more no, balls this is, to it. This is actually like I think it's going to happen. I that would be a, actually, I think oh, that's going to be a huge mistake, dude. Yeah, this is so. we we are sitting on a powder keg of a country. I mean, yes. arrested I'm gonna for, use a t- I'm arrested use a for what? Civil war. Arrested. Oh, money, uh, arrested for what? Hush money. On oh for Stormy. Yeah. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Stormy Daniels. <clears throat> this Fuck that bitch. If well, the only do reason why they're doing is to try and prevent him from running. <clears throat> yes, yes. Uh, if they do it, it will be a massive backfire. So yeah. We'll see. Yeah. It's, oh. it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get bad. I'm here. Bashy oh. washy, one hundred dollars. Thank you, Bashy washy. <laughs> Says it's for mom. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I appreciate that. I told the story <clears throat> in the stream. I don't want to repeat it here. Not good, but uh, we can deal with it. We can deal with it. Mom's fine. Mom's fine. Uh, Gremlin and am I saying that right? Gremlin and I think so. Who? I don't want to. Has gifted 50 neurotic memberships for $250. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And Bashy Washy, thank you. Bashy Washy supports all our channels. We love Bashy. Bashy's Mench. awesome. Thank you, Bashy Washy. Uh, and thank you, Gremlin. Sorry for messing up your last name. Uh, sheep City and Sheep. Going to Vegas, right? <laughs> That'll be. Uh, find you. Uh, he says, what's up, my I German? I will find you. I will find him. I don't care how bad it looks uh, as a white guy kidnapping a black guy. I'll do it. Uh, what's up, my German chocolates? <laughs> I will kidnap. I mean, the, the optics might be bad, but who gives a fuck at this point? Uh, what's up, my German chocolates? Uh, Moist Critical bodies a guy by correcting him on gun knowledge, then gunned him, 
Karate Chops DSP. What a week! Also, no need to kidnap me. I'll be in Vegas. All right. Awesome, man. With the squid. No excuses. Meanwhile, I get back to drawing this manga. I recently picked up a bunch of tales, myths, and fable books for my long-form project, a tabletop RPG. I had, uh, I have... I had world building in the works for about 12 years now, but until the official announcement, I'll be hammering that anvil. Hail to the Iron Age. Hail to you, Sheep City. Good man. Yeah. Hail to the Iron Age. Uh, Razor Fist, speaking of Iron Age, will be back on this show in a, a little over a month, about a month, something like that. Monthish. Nice. Oh. Yeah, a month. We're working on others. Like Mr. Dave Cullen, that ginge. We're going to get that ginge. I, I did. We finally that got on a stream with him. Oh. I know, dude. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, can't wait for that to happen. And as will be happy, we'll start the show probably an hour early. Uh, just for, I won't do it for Az, but I'll do it for Dave yeah. Cullen. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, right now, it's technically an hour early for him. It It is. Actually, moving this show oh. to, to three central, one Pacific was for Az. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And and shame and, we never started on that time. No, but I mean it's <laughs> again right. progress, not perfection. Okay, I'm working my way yeah. there. You see what Doing we do better. for him, and he still doesn't. No appreciation, no, no. respect. Star Trekker fifty eight. Come on, Ed, show us your dick or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, Chrissy. Gosh. Yeah, like <laughs> too soon. You're, you're getting married, Chrissy. No, come on. Too soon. <laughs> Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> oh, that was actually me. Yes. Actually oh, me. Star man. Trekker 58 has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you. Uh, Robert McDonald for $50. Thank you. Says Lance Reddick just died from being forced to act on Resident Evil. Oh, too soon? Oh, <laughs> Ever too soon, but too soon. Oof. It's never too serious. Yeah. yeah. And that was a bad show. And he's not and he's around to be actor. offended. <laughs> so yeah, he's a great actor. He's a phenomenal actor. Go like, look up the really... sketch Toys Are Me. With him in it, he plays a toys toy store manager. Bro, have you seen the one where he's so pretending good. to be LeVar Burton? No. Yeah. Oh my god! That oh is, my uh, god! We, dude, can't, we can't one. play that on the show. I gotta find that one. He's like, oh my god! It's one of the funniest things. <laughs> like reading life. Rainbow, Lavar Burton, or no, no, not quite. Uh, Roots, no, like, Lavar Burton. So he, he has like the fucking oh, star he's Jordy, he's Jordy. Got the visor off. He's dressed in Kunta Kinte shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like with, with a song, Starfleet, with Starfleet badge, the Starfleet there. badge, and he's like dancing around doing a song about Lavar Burton. He's no one of the I've ever way. Seen in my life. I did yeah. not know that existed. Uh, that is beautiful. Uh, Buster Nut Smash for $50 on the Streamlab side. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Buster. Uh, Lance Reddick, the actor that plays the concierge. Concier concierge. Concierge. concierge uh, in John Wick movies, died this morning. I can't think of a better actor to replace <sighs> him going forward than Jennifer Lawrence. Am I wrong? BC Warrior. <laughs> Concierge. You know, it's just bad when you can I found say. The clip. Can we yeah, play yeah. it? Can yeah, we, we play it? We can't. We can't. We can't play. We can't play. This is a family show. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's watching. Uh, Texican Witcher. Texican Witcher. Right. For $50. Greetings from the School of Wolf. Dear gents, I see the redhead gesturing wench is here. My beauty is intoxicating. Uh, be my Tris, be my Tris Marigold. In regards wow. to Witcher, uh, B O, Blood Origins, Blood Origins, uh, no. is disgusting. <laughs> is disgusting wench and good for only mounting cock, not horses. Control your wenches. We try. Sometimes these wenches they just want to do their own stuff. They want to. Leave the house, put shoes on, vote, drive. <laughs> as long as, as, yeah, long as they're walking that? behind me at all times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, get out of their bonds in the basement, you know, stuff like that. 
There we go. <laughs> legend had it coming. The legend had it coming. That was a good movie, too. That was a great coming. movie. Has anybody seen Fantastic. The History of the World Part Two? Nope. No. I started no, I watching it. I've heard it's good, but the trailer There were a couple like of things that were ass. okay, but I'm only uh, like five minutes in, and so there have been a couple of jokes that were fun, but... Yeah. I just have a, a, a feeling it's complete crap. Uncle Squatch for $50. Thank you. Don't think I'll be able to make it to the Vegas this year. Aww. Aww. Sorry, guys. Gary, I could still ship those Elric books to your house if you want. By the way, do you ever receive that package I asked you to get to as? It is packed with the package I have not sent out yet, but yes, I received it. It's in with his two action figures, his birthday present from like two months ago, his Christmas present from two years ago. Uh, it would help a little bit if it didn't cost uh, a fortune because we have to send it FedEx because no other the, – the British so Post much. sucks balls. UPS sucks balls in the U.K., so we have to use FedEx. But it will Why get there. I have it. it. Yes. In September. As will love it. I could just hand deliver it at this point. Yes. Yeah. But then I'd have to bring it on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking plane. <laughs> Fucking birthdays and Christmas. What a twat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Camera's been on the whole time, huh? Camera's been mm, on the whole yeah. time. Uh, yes, we're going to the UK <laughs> in September. I, we actually have the dates, Ooh. right? We shot you the Ooh. dates. No, no, have we announced the dates yet? You can fucking go. I don't think they said the dates last uh, on the Nooner. Oh, I think we were supposed to. We were supposed to, but we forgot. Oh, we yeah, forgot. We were Sorry, <laughs> we were all tired. All of us collectively were yeah. tired. We'll we'll do it next week, but it's uh, it's early September, so uh, that that works for you, Shad. I've got I've got to shoot yep. Shad the dates first. That's what I have to do. That's why, but it's early September. <laughs> That so works for me. That, that, yeah, and that separates it so we can still make it to Orlando. It's not a quick turnaround and stuff. You're welcome to come. It's going to be fun. Come on. Jeremy. UK, baby. Come on. I'll drive. I'll we'll drive. You bad. <laughs> you take your Mustang across the pond? Fuck yeah. Hey, that's some good content. It It'd be like it's top. It's steamboat. like Geeks and Gamers. Yeah, Jeremy in the UK. Geeks and Gamers Top Gear Grand Tour. Driving That'd to the UK like from Florida. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Drive there. Florida man drives to the UK. Hell yeah. Uh, Wookie Be Bad has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Tenrax Hellion for $50. Thank you very much. Says, I have noticed something with three specific Netflix shows Altered Carbon, The Witcher, Love, Death, and Robots. Season one all came in at about 2018-19. We're all produced two years before that. Keep that in mind. Uh, all good or great seasons. Alter Carbon season one's the shit. It's weird. It's bonkers. I love that show. It's good, though, yeah. We can just really see, see that one. Too. You see that one chick naked like 80 times. Like all the time, right? And, it's and then just, the other chick who's hotter, you get to see naked, too. Not as many times. Not as many times. Too. Yeah. Right. And it's got like an AI Edgar Allan Poe running around. Yep. It's fucking cool. Book um, is dope. It's a good book. The book, yeah, the book is amazing. Yeah. So uh, all good or great seasons. Season two all came out after 2022 with reduced gore, nudity, and quality. Interesting. Oh, I'm sure it has nothing to do with intersectional feminism, uh, which I mean gets rolled into woke. As, you know, but they're oh, no, actually I two different love things. Love, Death, and Robot season two was actually pretty decent. R love, I've seen season three. Though. Dude, season one is amazing. Season one was really good. Yeah. Season two, I thought was pretty good too. But yeah, you're right. There was a lot less nudity in season two. Yeah, I mean, why did you know House of the Dragon at least broke out some boobs again? It's like, whoa, I remember those Bob's. Go, Chrissy. Let's go, Bob's and Vagana. Bob's and Vagana. <laughs> Bob's and Vagana. Milk right. truck just be, arrived. That'd be preferable to last week for the chat. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I got to bounce. All right. So uh, I'll see you guys uh, on Cobra Cast tonight uh, in a couple of hours. So I got to eat. This will be my so four streams today I've done. Like Whoa. every fucking wow. day. So that's wow. pretty much what my life is now. So Monday through Friday. That's it, though. So. Nice. And then the Jeremy, how do you feel about winning uh, a shill of the that's year hard. at the Ravens? Last week. Uh, anytime I get to beat John Campia, I'm happy. So fuck him. I will take my award. Uh, 
And uh, John Campia, he hunted. He hunted for Gavin McGinnis's dick, and he never found it. Oh and he never found that award <laughs> and no one either. Ever and will. I, took it. I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Toby Maguire's dick. <laughs> We're not gonna have to change that. Yeah, yeah. We, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin McGinnis. Uh, but I'll see you guys live. Have a good night. Later, Friday brother. Night the best. Bye. 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 Take care, man. Good I show. Love all the peeps here, even Bye. as, even as, even though he disappointed me when he didn't pull out his very, very small. <laughs> that is that is award winner Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Congratulations. There you go. Congratulations. Je Jeremy, Geeks and Gamers. I think he and Az are in a competition to see who can live stream more. I'm winning. Az is winning, clearly. <laughs> Speaking of that, Az, I left a present for you in your cupboard if you haven't been on recently. Did you? No, I, I, well, Ooh. last time sure. I was on, I was uh... didn't leave a present in my cupboard. Well, well if it's uh, a present from Shad, it's likely not very good. So, oh, oh, oh. Me. Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. A if cupboard, you mean like closet? Oh, maybe my it's it's the chest. He no, didn't no, leave no. it in, my... in the cupboard of his room. No, no, it's, he has a I've got a cupboard. I've got a cupboard. Is somebody's it somebody's chest yeah. or a chest? You guys, is this all no. like cupboard symbolic cupboard of something a like disgusting. different things completely? Mm, no. Oh, like, we've all well, been uh, we've all been playing Conan Exiles together, and as has been streaming it massively, it's that yes. we've been having crazy yeah. fun. <laughs> so um, much fun. The bad like, like, no, it's a surreal. Wow, if I ever get finished with the other two games I'm on, I'd play the shit out of that because I love Conan. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the it's bobs awesome, and the booty that you see, worth it. As, as never, as invi the as never invited, the you know why As didn't else. invite me? Because he Stick wants the game, game to be entertaining. No, Gary, you entertaining. are absolutely invited. Come on, man. You are I've very invited. I've, said, I said, even, I've said on the stream, we can have 40 people on this server. I thought there was a Conan game where you could actually like see your dick and like make it bigger. This one, oh, this, this, this game, this one. Can. That's yeah. this game. Ryan's all okay. I'll can, join. You can uh, control the size. <laughs> yeah, you can go like elephant all the way down to Gavin. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go. You can go on the for the ladies. You can go Chrissy Meyer, or you can go. Uh, the school Mulvaney. teacher from Canada. Yeah. Mulvaney, yeah. Oh. School, school teacher. <laughs> The school teacher from Canada. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Jay Schwalbach, uh, a Rumble rant for $39. Rumble. Thank you, Rumble. Thank you, Rumble. You want on, Gary? If you want on. Want to Rumble? Yeah, I, 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 I will. I have to do some Witcher first, but then the Conan, because I, I have Conan. Is this a different one? Is this like a remake Conan or something? Exiles. Conan Exiles. Exiles. This is a survival game. Gary's it's just probably gonna be got like a fucking to... CD or something. No, I've got a <laughs> like I've got a couple of Conan games in my Steam that I never intended to play, but I'm like, oh, Conan, I'll buy those. Maybe I'll play them <laughs> when I'm 90 and Steam is still around. I don't know. Oh, look a Conan. I'll look click a Conan. Buy. Oh, I another Conan. Conan. I'll click buy. I am a massive Conan. Conan fan. Okay, I am a massive Conan fan. Nothing wrong with that. And we're trying to organize a Conan the Barbarian watch party. Yes, I need to watch it for the first time. What? Yeah. It's extra. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? All right. So this weekend? Uh, is there is there two what? hours where Az isn't streaming? Because that's the only yeah, question. Saturday evening. We could. Well, tomorrow I'm on EFAP talking about fucking Shazam. So. Did you did you remember Sunday any of it? Evening. We could. Yeah, that's that's, that's not that's not a, a stab at EFAP. That's a stab at having to watch Shazam. No, we love EFAP. We love Mahler and EFAP. I you have should no, tune in I tomorrow. Have zero desire to see that film. Oh, I you haven't seen it yet, a... dude. It is the most forgettable, uh, just average meh uh, since the last one, Black Adam. <laughs> Except yeah. it's slightly better. Though I, I would say it's a slightly better than Black Adam. But dude, Black I mean, Black we're talking so a C old. hair, okay? A see you next Tuesday hair. That's how much better it is. Uh, Jay <laughs> Schwalbach uh, says, uh, Chato, Paul Chato, uh, call me Chato. Uh, can you please, please get him on? Yeah, I, I streamed with him on the Oscars with uh, with Az and Chris Gore. We had a great, that was a fun stream, man. Great stream. X-Ray Girl came on. I was she was a little different, uh, but, you know. Yeah. About no, I, I morphed to my role. You know, I was in Shang-Chi, everywhere, all, uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. 
You uh, didn't. You no. You don't, you don't. You know what we're talking about. You, you don't know because when we at the, the 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 young lady who was on Kira Lynn. Kira Lynn says there was a history of the world part one. <laughs> <laughs> she oh, didn't no. know. Oh. She is like me. When I was a, when I was a was part, young lad, part two. Oh, no. when I was a young lad, I, w I saw the French Connection too, which was like awesome to me at the time. And I and I actually went into the video game, the, vi the video store, and I said, uh, I just I saw this movie, and uh, I was wondering if you know the one that came before it. They said, "What's the name of the movie?" I said, "French Connection 2. And I said. So that'll be French Connection then. <laughs> <laughs> and I was still like, uh, oh. I was young. I, I was pretty yeah, young. I was young. Yeah. I was young and I saw Road Warrior. So we went to go. My friend's like, hey, let's go see this movie called Road Warrior. We're like, all right, cool. And I went in there. I'm like, oh, this is Mad Max. <laughs> I had no freaking idea it was a sequel to Mad Max. They changed the title yep. for the American yeah. audience. Because they think we're stupid. We can't follow. Well, Garrett. I mean, I was, I was 10, <laughs> so I was kind of dumb. Uh, Captain Garrett uh, on the Streamlabs side for three parts, $50. <laughs> Cheers, Captain Garrett. Let's talk about the very tiny elephant in the room, Gavin McGinnis. Let it never be said that the fellowship is an echo chamber. When he insulted oh. all of us to our faces, we uh, did we cry microaggression did we demand he de uh deplatforming <laughs> did we threaten self-deletion over the genocidal lack of affirmation for our geek identity no we engaged we debated we cried havoc and let slip the dogs of war salute to jeremy shad for throwing down the gauntlet and fighting a game verbing uh verbal duel uh, and how does this manly, mature, morally righteous, proud boy himself respond by rage quitting and proving he's white from the waist down? Shameless plug, <laughs> my channel, Shore, Swords and Starships, has 591 subs and 84,000 views on one vid. That, dude, that's outstanding. Wow, Thank you, good. Fellowship. Okay. See you in Vegas. God dang. <laughs> I was like, what was my first popular? Oh, the Expanse getting canceled. That was the first vid that quote unquote blew up for me. Was the Expanse getting canceled? Uh, How many did that get? I think like 30,000, 20 or 30,000. Then wow. I did a Doctor Who one like a year later that got 60. And I'm like, maybe I should make videos because I was just live streaming. <laughs> Maybe I should make live streaming thing without works. even looking at the chat. We, no, yeah. not even looking, knowing it was there. We were just recording podcasts. We had no idea there were people watching. <laughs> it's in YouTube and a podcast setting now. They do. Yeah, they do. I don't know what's different about it. I don't. It looks just like a fancy playlist. It's a fancy I've playlist had. that they're used that their AI is trying to figure out because I haven't put anything there. Yeah. And uh, and I do believe Spotify is doing video. So. Maybe they're know. gonna put the podcasts on YouTube Music because they don't have podcasts Maybe. there. Well, they they went really hard on this shorts thing, which is gonna have a shelf life. It's, right? it's screwing up the algorithm. It's jacking Watch. up the fucking algorithm, like that. And the clampdown after uh, Senator Kelly was accidentally heard saying the silent part out loud. Hey, can we censor people to keep them from running on the banks? Uh, anytime something like that, YouTube puts a like a clamp down on, uh, which you know lasts about a month. It's lame. Uh, Matt Grendel for fifty dollars. This is so uh, this is so stinking of cope. GM called you adult or Gavin McGinnis called you adult children, and you spent all week saying no. -uh, just let it drop. GM got invited, and GM showed up. Talking at length about how much you don't care is exactly the opposite. Of not caring. Well, we have to talk about it. We can't just like not talk about it. Uh, Who but said they didn't care. I, like, I'm confused yeah. about. Yeah, it. yeah. That, 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 that that's a good point because we do care. The whole point is we do care. Mm -hmm. We do care. One hundred percent. And I just would like to correct the record. He asked to be on the show. He did ask. I I don't have any problem. Like my problem with Gavin is not the discussion. Like it, no. that's, yeah, I like that's I like kind of like it. his fucking style or whatever. Like it or hate it. It is what it is. Um, I didn't have a problem having the discussion with him, and I think it was good, 
even though even though there's some people like there's a lot of people in the chat who hated this episode that episode fnt like you, you just can't deny it that's the reality there's a lot but of it was pretty some mixed people, up until that you know, finish. Some, some people also yeah. really did like it too yeah. they liked the fact yeah. that they heard something different um my real yeah. issue with gavin is what he did at the end although mm -hmm. i do think it's fucking funny and if he had done that on his platform i probably think it was pretty funny i don't think it's funny on someone else's platform and and i think that's fucking bullshit yeah, yeah. That's what I absolutely. Said. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. No. Well, it, we're right. allowed to disagree, right? I mean, yeah. he's allowed to have a different opinion than ours. He's allowed to call no, us. No, we, we need to be able to. Uh, whatnot, but it's his opinion. Dave Chappelle last night, at, towards the end of his act, talked about his haters, and he said, absolutely let them talk because they challenge my points of view. And when yeah. they do that, I either have to reassess or I am affirmed in my point of view. But that's for right. you to decide. Yeah. We need to have these conversations. And he's right. Uh, we, we, we were we yeah. were challenged and we will be challenged again. And if I, there's no sh as I told him on the show, there's no shame to my game. There's a lot more walls with this shit. I don't give a fuck what people think mm -hmm. about my and that, like, don't care. I, I almost. Apart from the ending, I actually count it as a win because we proved him wrong pretty Absolutely. clearly on multiple points. Yeah. And at one point, he said, he literally said, I agree. But then he forgot that he said that and just continued to uh, repeat the same thing. Yeah, yeah. But he literally, he said, like, when we when we explained to him that you need adults into this stuff so they can make it for the next generation. Mm. he uh, After we explained that to him, he literally said, I agree. And then he just forgot. And, you know, but, uh... Yeah. Mac, thank you for the super chat, though. I do appreciate it, and your your opinion is valid here too. You know, like, and that was that was why it was like I checked on Nerdrotic Live. It didn't get ratioed. I was expecting it to get ratioed, and it didn't. Uh, I I can't remember what the likes and dislikes were before I pulled it down. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, it's a conversation we had it, and we'll have it again someday. It and you'll have it again. Uh, but as I said at the time. The way Gavin thinks about it is the way most he thinks exactly like the bankers and the board directors of, of and Matt Walsh and Matt Walsh. Yeah. But at Disney, too, they're in lock stock agreement. They have no respect for any of us. Yeah. Or, or the shit we love doesn't basically think couldn't that. give a fuck. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, the more of us talk about it, the more they will have it, you know, because I, I, like it or not, a Hollywood big tech was built by nerds. Mm hmm. And the thing is, it's just Gavin doesn't have anybody in his life that has those opinions. And he was very impressed with everybody having multiple kids. Uh -huh. um, so that's what it takes to change somebody's opinion of uh, of like a stereotype. Yeah. How I don't more know, of those conversations. Have babies. About Gavin McGuinness's respect. Someone like that doesn't fucking garner. Yeah, you don't, you, we, we don't need right. it. We, we, that, that's the whole point is you don't need it. Uh, uh, have the conversation like if they don't want to respect him his approval the, the, for anything about my life exactly and it's his loss mm -hmm. it's absolutely his loss matt walsh's loss the rights loss who, loss who don't respect this they'll keep losing if they don't respect this because it's it's part of americana benny said it himself it's part of it is superman is as american as it gets mm. truth justice and the american way yep that is what it's been like for 80 fucking plus years. It's only been the last year that the fucking ideologues have tried to pull that down because they hate their own country. Or at least they fake hate their own country. A lot of it's fake hate. They like everything mm -hmm. that America affords and provides to them because it is, quote unquote, the land of the free. But my God, the land of the free affords them the right to shit all over their bed. And they're quite happy to do it. But if you pulled somebody like that out and you dumped them in the middle of fucking China, just you wait till they come crawling on their fucking, like Drew Barrymore to a fucking man in a dress, they'll come crawling fucking back, begging America to let them in. Just like maybe uh, an ISIS recruit or two. Or a basketball uh, player in Russia. Basketball player. Can I come back, yeah. please? No. No, you can't come back. You're actually, you're actually fucking banned from the country now. Because you went to an organization that wanted to kill people in that this country. did kill people from this country. And did, yeah, and has. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, it's the, they, they're happy to, to take all the, uh, the, the, the positives the, which America provides, the free speech, uh, and they couldn't exist in the world outside of that. They couldn't exist in a Russia and a China 
they couldn't list uh, exist in a in a communist world because their idea of communism and so is socialism and it's a fucking dream and it's a pipe dream which has led to the deaths of hundreds and hundreds of millions of people mm -hmm. they're fucking pathetic individuals pathetic yep now can i play conan exiles please soon <laughs> uh roll uh, uh, but you know who isn't pathetic rolling the wretched even though he waxes his yeah. balls <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, found that out at Chrissy's show for three parts for one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, since this probably never is going to go away, I am I am going to I am going to make lemonade out of lemons and revel in the fact that I have a panel that brings up my waxed balls weekly, and it will never be worse than someone admitting they love men with tits. Hi, as Gavin's. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin said my waxing might be the dumbest thing in the world coming from the guy uh, that live streamed on the live stream last week. I will I will take that at, with a grain of salt. If you need a reason to be in Vegas, I will be telling the full story there. Uh, there we go. We'll get the, the waxing of the balls story. Ooh. Look forward to it. Oh, wow. uh, Benny Johnson, what is your opinion on ball waxing and pineapple pizza? I got to ask him that, oh. especially pineapple oh. pizza. Uh, now, I, although I can't eat it right now, very sad. I feel about the same that. way, Gary. Now it is to, in Vegas. I'll be able to eat again in Vegas <coughs> when we're there. Are you fasting again? Yeah. Well, I'm fasting. You know, I'm dude, 53. Yes. Uh, now it is time once again to say, "Hail, Friday Night Tights!" The Fellowship, the Chat, Baby Thor, uh, PT. Pineapple Pizza and Long Live Boomer Gary Gaming, which needs to make an appearance soon. It will. It will. Agreed. Hail to you. I'm trying to exile. I'll try it. I mean, and thank you for the baby. We show. are having so much it's, fun. It's really good. It's. I want to see intuitive. Gary do the character creation. Yeah. <laughs> gonna get like a, a roided out Gary. Oh yeah. 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 Well, I'm I'm gonna Sorry. make my character look like Conan. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, since it's the uh, Conan game. I do want to jump on one thing that He's as mentioned, and uh, as has mentioned some great points throughout the whole stream. Uh, when you're talking about the things in pop culture that's important to you, that's coming from America, and you're you know in the UK, mm -hmm. same for me in Australia. Uh, I and it's it's great stuff that what Benny was saying about there is some very important underpinning kind of philosophy that America has always led the charge in, in regards. And I do think that, you know, constitution is an inspired document and, and being on the forefront of freedom and liberty and things. And the fact that that is ingrained in the culture, it does seep through to the rest of the world. I grew up on Superman and that's an American produced, you know, thing. Mm -hmm. And it had such a positive influence on me and uh, losing that, as Benny was saying, is, is such a shame because the world does follow a lot of examples that America sets. And if you start to do, you know, start to promote the other side of, you know, uh, things that aren't very good, we've been seeing other people pick it up. Like people picking up certain slogans that start in America, in Australia, where we do not have the same history or background or baggage and stuff, but they're still trying to pick it up because they're trying to emulate what they're seeing. And it just goes to show to reinforce the importance of the original you know, really important philosophies and freedoms that were ingrained in pop culture that we need to try and bring back and protect. The stuff that brought us together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Slade. Because fandom has always been inclusive. Always. Star Wars has always been inclusive. Rings of, uh, Lord of the Rings has always been inclusive. Star Trek has always been inclusive. Doctor Who has always been inclusive. Marvel Comics, DC Comics. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. bankers, go outside and look at uh, your own paying customer, the mm -hmm. the paying customer, their fan base. Go to Con. Con's always been inclusive. What, it hasn't always been a bunch of white guys running around as long as I've been going. And it's a, that's mm -hmm. a long fucking time, by the way. Because yeah, it's never at, been about race. It's never been exactly. about sex. It's never been about those yeah. things. Oh, it's I never about those things. It's yeah, about the demographic I, of where that con is at. I mean, I, I said this a lot with my, um, when I talk about comic books, it's like, the comic shop is diverse as the neighborhood that that comic shop is located at. Mm. And yep. I don't need to be an American to love this type of stuff because when this stuff has universal truths that speak to core things in the human experience, okay, like truth, justice, the American way, that is actually 
touching on universal truths that everyone, mm -hmm. no matter where you are, can not only appreciate, but gain really important, uplifting, yeah. ennobling things from. And, and it's the same with any type of media that has these universal truths in. I do not need them to look like me. I don't need to be mm -hmm. from the same country. Like my favorite anime is Roni Kenshin. It is this <laughs> phenomenal story of redemption, right? Yes. And it speaks to me on a human level. And I feel such a connection to the struggle that he's gone through. And I'm not, you know, a murderer, but the fact that he's struggling to bed himself and right. to redeem himself is just phenomenal. And when I see the live action remake, and of course, he's a Japanese guy. I don't need him to look like me no. to connect with that on an emotional level. And the idea that I, I would want to change that for it to look like him, that's an admission that I actually don't love the thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And and that's why I wanted to call out that crying guy because to me he's saying he's loved this property. It's like, do you really? Because if you're wanting to change it, right? That tells to me that you actually there's things you don't like in it. I I question your claim of fandom then because I would resent people changing Roni Kenshin from Japanese yeah. to white to right. look like me. Like that. Like no, 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 no. There is important cultural connection and and world building a story and everything that's important that he needs to be japanese and look that way and guess what lord of the rings that has a bit of a cultural kind of foundation doesn't it yeah. which mythology and region is that based on and the idea that they want to vandalize and it is cultural vandalism okay? yeah, it, is. it is um to change that is like no you don't respect the property you're not an actual fan because if you did you would love it as it is, what it was meant to be, and you don't need it to reflect it, your world view to connect yeah. with it. I would yeah, hate look at the number of people that complain about Death Note when they brace swapped uh, light. I mean, light. that was mm. just complete garbage. And anytime that somebody okay. goes and tries to make a manga or a anime and basically Americanize it, the fans complain about it. I would hate. Not those I would hate. 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 Remake, hate all white. I guys. would hate Doctor. Oh my God. Who. I would hate Doctor Who. If it was American, I'd fucking yes. hate it. Yeah. It'd be terrible. Because Doctor Who is British. What that story yep. is. Doctor well, Who the, is the um, Dragon Ball Z guy recently. Uh, he was asked about complaints about why Dragon Ball Z lacks black characters, and he was just answered based as fuck. Why? He said, "This is a Japanese property for Japanese people." Yeah, why? you know, we, we don't bend because of the West. Yeah, you know this is Good. this is Thanks. our stories, and I was just like, that's you know that's nothing yeah. wrong with that whatsoever. Nope. The, the the whole problem is because we are in the uh, era of identity, and identity is me, 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 and identity is now taken at this superficial level. When we have been part of fandoms and love fandoms and love different franchises for decades, when <coughs> how you look didn't matter; it was who you were. So it's, you know, the content of your character versus the color of your skin or your orientation. And now we're in the, literally in the age of superficiality. And the age of superficiality began when we started turning the cameras on ourselves. Instead mm -hmm. of picturing the world, we turned the camera around and we started to picture us. And that uh, ushered in the age of the narcissism. And this is what narcissism breeds. It breeds identity politics. Because all you're looking at is the superficial traits of who you are. And you're no longer looking out into the world and seeing the beauty and seeing what is out there that doesn't involve you. Now mm -hmm. everything involves you. And, and this is this is infected politics. It's infected fandom. It's infected film. It's infected television. It's infected every single form of media. And it's it was, I mean, you know, technology moves forward. Absolutely. That's how we develop as human beings. But we also have to understand how we use that technology and how that technology should aid us and not turn us reliant upon it. And so we got to stop turning these cameras on ourselves in terms of selfie everything. Instead of, here's a mounted, but it's got to be me. We've got to start looking outside to the world again. We've got to start looking with our eyes and seeing what we see, and we've got to move ourselves from that equation because we're no longer having social discussions. We're no longer interacting with people. We're texting, we're emoting, we're no longer connecting. And that's not how the human being exists. That's not how we as a society exist. We're not meant to live in urban jungles. We're meant to live in smaller societies that interact with other smaller societies. And that isn't a commie fucking thing because you can still have a hierarchy there. You can still have a, a situation of power there. 
but we're in a position now where we just got identity, 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 me, me, me. So when a country, let's just say, like Japan, hasn't succumbed to that yet and hopefully won't, yes, when your franchise is under attack from some fucking dog shit person, who, by the way, isn't even interested in your franchise, they just want to criticize it. They just want to pull it apart. They just want it to comply to your way of thinking. And yes, you reply with, fuck off. Mm -hmm. This is for our people. This is for our stories based around Japanese characters. And if you don't like that, see you, mate. And also, anyone is free to enjoy it. You can make something for the British people based on their mythology, or you can make it for the Japanese people, and especially if it's based on their history, but they also make it free for anyone to enjoy. Okay, mm -hmm. and and because these are people, you can connect with this stuff, even if it has a cultural kind of foundation. But and the and the idea to say, no, nah, it needs to look like me, is vanity and narcissism in the extreme. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, hundred percent, man. Uh, but we're winning. Things are turning mm -hmm. around. Uh, not sure what's going to be left, but we're seeing signs here and there, once in a while which we were not seeing even a year ago. So <clears throat> there's we'll more. See what, what, even if there's nothing there's... left, we have Shad, we have yeah. Ripa, <clears throat> we have you know, Razor Fist. We critical have more drinker. people making new, Critical Drinker, 3PM. making new things. The Epic Verse. People are making things. So we're going to be mm -hmm. seeing way more improvements and creativity on the other side of this than we ever will during this kind of this dark ages that we're in of just repeating the same storylines, the same franchises and getting diminished returns every <clears throat> single time. I can't wait to see what is well, down the line. If it, it does, you know, the, the indie sphere will always be there. It's just what form will it be in? Uh, indie films? Not so sure right now that that needs to morph in uh, like some alternative studio or it needs to spread out. What Hollywood needs to be broken up, basically, not by the government, by us. Hollywood needs to be broken up. That's what we're doing. Bollywood, <laughs> Bollywood has direct competition. There is competition to Bollywood, so Hollywood needs competition. I guess it'll just be us. We're breaking up the media right now, which is uh, glorious, absolutely mm -hmm. glorious, and that's thanks to you guys, everybody here, all you guys out there. Uh, we are the media now, as as said. Look at us. Uh, yes. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, look at me. Slade look Lawton, at me. five parts, fifty dollars total. Thank you very much, Slade. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. A little sip of coffee for the working man there. Hail Friday night tights. After Gary showed that utter abomination of a pizza last week, so Gary, I would rather be on Ottoman. Envoy sent to negotiate with Vlad Dracula than eat <laughs> eat pineapple pizza. I mean, I'd get quite the nail on the head after the meeting uh, part. Moving on, I, I wouldn't. I'd rather eat a delicious pineapple pizza, which I cannot eat right now. Uh, moving on, being 21 years old, I was always baffled as to how non-leftists allowed these SJWs to gain a high level of dominance over the culture. And then I watched last week's episode, and it all made a lot more sense. If that narrow-minded windbag Gavin... Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, man... Man... man Mentality? mentality is it yeah, mentality. mentality it's mentality it says mentality i like i like mentality better uh mentality. was the prevalent uh thought process among non amongst non-leftists well sjw's taking over the culture was just as predictable as the san diego padres losing in the playoffs oh <laughs> not oh, this year there. not oh. this year we're going all the way <laughs> anyway I had a very similar high school experience to Jeremy. I was a comic book nerd, but I also ran track and played football and hockey, a man's sport unlike basketball. Wow. Unlike Jeremy, I could uh, also read and articulate things above the sixth grade level. <laughs> Never forget Oran uh, but the Or fact that Oh, yeah, that's right. But the fact that people like Benny are out there doing their thing does me some hope that America won't fall in a similar manner to the Western Roman Empire. Uh, no, you're absolutely right. And Benny's been blowing up. 
absolutely yeah. blowing up. Um, because a he's a re- genuinely really nice guy. He's a good family man, good guy. Yeah. He's honest. He's not about this, uh, you know, just influencer shit. He's real, uh, and uh, he's authentic. And you guys can tell. You can only fake that shit for so long. Look at how many, look at how many huge podcasts uh, shifted over to the left and then absolutely dunked on their own fandoms. I dubs. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a piece he of shit. He made a video shit. with me he's, with, he's, he's, he's four got years his ago. Wife working on a fucking. Uh, he does, but channel. like, what's he trying to look like? Eddie from Stranger Things. He's got a fucking door <laughs> shirt on, and he's trying to look like an '80s rocker with fucking khakis on. What a poser, dude. Uh, but then dunking on his fans, and you know, H three H three, and all the other shit. And there'll be there'll be more. There will be more. Uh, but the thing is, like, you guys can always sniff that out. Um. Because you're smarter. You're smarter than we are, collectively. Uh, Comics Division's ball sack for $100. I keep taking the cards away from it. I don't know how this keeps happening. Uh, maybe they got their own card. I don't know. I'll put them in your pockets. Are two, ball, are two balls they them? I guess, maybe. maybe. Uh, I don't get the backlash from last week. Comics whips out all the time on a stream, and no one has complained. Every time you hear the sound of a tiny bells on a stream, that's comics whipping me out along with the little Tinker Bell. <laughs> well, little guy, little wee wee. It makes sense. Or maybe it's reverse proportional. Maybe. Uh, sensual pastrami. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sensual pastrami. It's pastrami, but sensual. But sensual for twenty five for fifty dollars two total. Uh, What up, FT? I just got back from my honeymoon in Thailand for nearly three weeks, and I missed all of you nerdy retards. I thought the hookers in Vegas were aggressive, but man, they ain't shit compared to the lady boys over here. (laughs) Using my wife as a shield did Uh, not deter them, as would have been in heaven. Gary, Sergeant Hatred, who's a confessed pedo, loves pineapples on pizza. Coincidence? Oh, wait a minute. Just because he breathes (laughs) breathes air. Uh, Thank you. That's dark, I let a a place you want to go at your honeymoon. No, yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, thank you all for what you do. Enjoy some of my Chicago Fire Department paycheck. Hail. Oh, you do that? <laughs> if that's what you really do. Yeah. Cheers. Hail. I the academy. I've learned how to beat that thing. There you go. Gavin's Micropeen has gifted 10 nerdrotic <laughs> memberships for $50. Uh, it's the peen that keeps on giving. Yeah. I mean, it's one keeps way on Gavin. It. You know... I knew you guys would just laugh about it. That's, that's, I mean, I, I gave the analogy before. It's like almost being in a car accident, but there isn't a scratch on my car. I'm fine. The other person's fine. I just keep driving. I'm just like, all right, everybody's fine. Take a look at it. Man. Take a look at it. Car's good. Uh, by the way, I, I, Chrissy, my car's finally done. I uh, got the call today. <clears throat> I, I don't I don't I don't think that place ever emailed me. They're supposed to email me. Oh no. Yeah, they they never did. So I backed into their like uh, ADA compliant fucking <laughs> rail. That's probably going to cost ten thousand uh, dollars because it's in California. Well, the ADA compliance stuff is a racket in California. I don't know if you get a real quick story. It's a racket. Everybody. There was a lawyer up in Northern California who was it. running around businesses. Small. He would find the smallest businesses and find that their doors weren't ADA compliant and threaten to sue them if they didn't pay his client like $4,000. And he was just allowed to do it for years. Just pure extortion. Pure extortion. I think they finally wow. busted the guy, but it took forever. Uh, but that being uh, said, it was my fault. Uh, Hayden75. I, yeah, I, before you move on, I, I got to get going. I'm feeling yeah, like yeah. fucking shit. I'm sorry, fucking dude. fading Take here. Care. But hey, this is an awesome episode. Everybody here is fucking great. Benny was the perfect, the perfect follow up guest, the literal other side of the coin. 100%. Uh, from what we had last yep. week. So um, good to be here. FNT chat, always the kings, no matter what. 
Unlike if you were Disney, if this was a Disney remake, you'd be the Kangs, but the Kangs. Only if you're you women. Later. Take care, Ryan. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Have a Bye. good one. Bye. Go check out RK Outpost. Nine videos daily. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, no, sports if Vinny Wars. wanted to show his penis, I would not be upset. <laughs> okay. It's, it's got to be an improvement over the last week. So. Okay. Oh, there you oh go. goodness. Oh, goodness did me. I, it out well? I, I think you did. I think, I I, I think yeah. filing cabinet might have heard you. <laughs> but, uh, Hayden, 75 for $80, four parts total. SVB may be in the news, but Jennifer Lawrence was the first banking collapse. She was also the first environmental disaster created by the U.S. federal government. Can we see the Seinfeld meme from the Legion of Memers with as comics, Odin, Mahler, et cetera? I, I, we, can, we get nailed for it. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, yeah, you yeah, would. It's too long. If it was like a little shorter. But, yeah. uh, Memers, keep that in mind. If you're going to play a song or something like that, mm-hmm. but like, you can play it on here. Um, it was funny. I'll retweet funny. it if you want to, uh, or I'm sure, I'll, I'll, but I'll retweet it later. It's freaking hilarious. Yeah. Um, I wasn't able to find it. It's on my timeline, but you got to go down a week. It's on my it's timeline. It's on I don't X-ray tweet Girl. as much. I don't think. Uh, I also didn't look very hard. Or at all yet. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> oh, I should have mentioned that. So happy Az is back tonight. He's got the absolute best rants and takes. Az is an honorary American. I mean, it seems like an insult now, but I'm I'm talking about for when this country rocked. Uh, as for uh, head of the World Economic For Forum or Illuminati, hell, I'd make him king of the world at this point. Based as there you go. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say this. This is a bunch of, uh, it looks like code. It's from the Streamlabs side. It's just it's it, SL it underscore ID underscore zero A six seven six lowercase F two lowercase C dash two one three lowercase C dash three A D B dash. computer. I know. Is this the AI taking over? It sounds like data when he <laughs> repeats the uh, passcodes zero, one, on the one, zero, zero, That's yeah. right. One, zero, one. <laughs> oh my Authorization God. Riker 6.24899-6648. Uh, dude, I can't stop watching Star Trek. It's kind of distracting. Season three. You're hooked. It's kind of distracting. I like good stuff, and there's so little of it out there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, great to see everyone on FNT oh. and the new permanent member Shad. Have a great weekend, Shad. everyone. Back at you. Thank you. Have a good weekend. AI super chat from the Streamlabs yeah, side from, from well. Chat GDP. Everybody, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> hey, hey! Uh, when the AI oh, co- you know starts to try and take over everything, it's gonna treat me well. I, I make so super chat. I'm right there with you, Shad. Stable Diffusion is the shit. All right, it's awesome. That was actually from uses. Captain Solo. I, I apologize. I think I copy and pasted wrong. That message. That doesn't $50. say Captain. Stop Ginger side. That yeah. That does definitely does not say. Oh, it says Captain Solo for fifty dollars. I see that twenty four. Captain Solo. And now I put the proper super chat for the um, computer name person. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Captain Solo 24 for $50. Great to see everyone on FNT and the new permanent member chat. Okay, so this, oh, you put it on the wrong one. I get it. You're fired. I finally oh, figured it out. It took me a second, but I got there. I apologize. You are fired, X Ray Girl. <laughs> and then you're rehired because I can't do math. <laughs> Something like so, a toxic man. I will find you. So family. that was Captain Solo, and this is the code chat GPT for forty dollars. You went from <laughs> someone who literally pissed the pop culture culture uh pissed on pop culture last week to Benny this week, who understands <laughs> and knows how comics and other works of fiction needs to be saved. PS stop ginger side. You're right. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yep. Eclectic. We're a little eclectic. We're an eclectic bunch. All right, I'm going to get the rest on a Super Chat square up. I will do it live. Well, I'll do it Sunday. You'll do it live. I'll do it live on right. Sunday. Do it live. I'll do it live. I did it Saturday last week. And I, I got to finish the video. I got to finish a video. I got so much stuff to do. We got members mm. uh, streams to do, gaming streams. And I, I'm going to get sucked into a 19-hour live stream with Az. 
with Conan because I freaking that co- that game looks fun. That game it's looks fun. so much fun. I'm like, it's yeah. Fun. But what's the so uh, what's the Conan game I have on street Steam? Then it's not Exiles. What's Age the other? of Conan? Maybe Age, Age of Conan. Conan. That's yeah. probably the one I got. So this is new. This is a new no. Conan. No, no, no. No, it's been off for a while. Conan Exiles. So okay, so maybe it's I have new work. <laughs> it's new work. Ish. It's new work. Ish. Man. As and I had to do this like double team on a boss when we were early level, and that was such a like peak yeah, game of movement. Yeah. I was like, we had we we had, we read out a healing stuff, and and Mr. Porkchop died, and uh, and then we, he was so close to being dead, and so we had to like switch the aggro on him. Yeah, bounce the aggro off each other. Yeah, that <laughs> was so good, man. Yeah. Freaking loved it. <clears throat> okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Right, I'm out of I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got bunch of bunch of. Take it, take it, take it. You go, you go, come back, come back. <laughs> I gotta go heal, gotta go heal. Where you go at? Gaming. Let's go around the horn. Gaming. We'll start with comics division. Welcome back, sir. Hey, glad to be back. Glad to have a functioning computer again too, which has That's been good. fantastic. Yeah. Meta PCs. Yeah, <laughs> I priced one out. It was like eight grand. I'm like, I can't buy that. <laughs> did you use code Nerdrotic? I I, I did. Link so in the description. Link in the description. Well, yeah, for what was, you need, th- th- okay, they're PC. not all of their like, PCs. Not all yeah. of their PCs are eight grand. Okay. <laughs> so. I, I I know. I I I spec'd it out to the max. And yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, hi everybody on Comics Vision. You can. Follow me on Twitter and YouTube at Comics Division, and I stream every Monday and Thursday. And should be doing some reviews again very soon, so look for those. I'm looking forward to, um, let's say, re- looking forward to, hesitantly looking forward to the D&D movie. Somebody I know got a um, invited to one of the pre-screenings and said it was actually decent and not as terrible as the, um, I guess, the people who created it made it out to be, mm-hmm. so... It could be I'm gonna good. go see it. So at least, yeah. at least we could talk about it. Yeah, yeah we, I'll we, be we, reviewing we it. We'll, we'll I'll be see seeing if it. It's any yeah. good. I will yes. be seeing it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like that's only because it's my job. That all the crap that they've said, you know, leading up to this, absolutely. they want to emasculate leading men. I would not like that's che- like as a fan, I'd, I would be checked out, checked out, and I would and I would need very positive reviews to give it a chance then after the fact. Well, according to Jason, they, they didn't do that. That was all a bunch of bullshit marketing. So I, um, well, okay, why man. do they keep doing this marketing? I know strategy? that was, that was the thing I, I was, I was raging about. It's like, dude, it's like, if you want me to go see the movie, don't market it that way. Okay. Cause at that point I had no interest <clears> in seeing it, even though I'm a huge tabletop nerd. Right. And we haven't gotten a good D and D movie ever. Ever. So. Yes. <laughs> So, so, unless you I'm, count Lord of the Rings, like Marlon. Uh, Lord of the Rings is Lord of the Rings. It's not D and D's. You know, yeah. it's, it's both the original kind of D and D. It's, it's the original. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's for sure, branded D and D. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. All right, uh, Odin, what you got coming up? Uh, you can check me out over at OMB Reviews on YouTube, Odyssey, Rumble, Locals as well. I should be streaming tomorrow. Uh, I've got some some plans in the midday, so I, I'm pretty sure those won't go into the evening. So live stream tomorrow. I stream every Tuesday and Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, last week had the Raven Awards, which were awesome. And again, shout out to Jeremy for winning Shill of the Year. Uh, John Campia, nominated five years in a row, has not won one time needs to uh, show more. I think it needs to stay every, that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. It's like, you know what? We should just have him nominated every year and just never he win. He put a Shazam <laughs> costume on during his live stream. He tried really hard, but I think that was after the voting. I think that came in after the vote. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't have any, you know, votes in the middle of the night. We had a, you know, a clean voting process. So, was anyway. it fortified? No. It no was midnight it? dumps. No midnight dumps. No midnight yeah. dumps. No. I did not allow there it. Go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Exode Agu. Ooh, um I have a uh, shout out Brittany Venti. I'm actually skinny enough to wear her bimbo power shirt. So. Wow. Free Brittany Venti. I know, I know, but I can't lift my arms up because I'm too tall. Count, oh, it's yeah, because you're a giant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, it, uh, yeah. So I think if I get skinnier, I'll have more material to come down. But, anyways, um, I have a, a shirt that I would love to show. The so chat we have that said mix. it's okay for you. The chat, stop it. Behave wow. yourselves. Okay. <laughs> Behave wow. yourselves. We have the Excuse Make Marvel me, mail again. These out. <laughs> Yay, it's back. We also have a new shirt, MCU Studios. 
Wow. <laughs> and you recognize yes. this shadow. <laughs> no, which shadow is that? Karen Gillen. That's is Karen that Gillen. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah her <laughs> nebula. It's a little That's inside great. joke. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you want. Grab them on Flagrant Triggers. Uh, Chrissy Mayer's merch is also there as well. Um, and yeah, uh, Conan. <laughs> the chat. After this the stream. chat keeps on saying, "Hands up." <laughs> <laughs> chat. Okay, my wife has a wrench. I don't know who wrenched my wife. Boy, what the heck was I going did. on? That's there? dangerous. I did. She'll ban me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Flagrant you. Triggers is awesome, by the way, and that's you, where you can get these. And uh, yeah, that MCU Studios came out great. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for whoever gave me the idea on the Nooner or BBC. I don't. That remember. was a meme. That was a meme. Uh, we will. We will. F I'll find out who it is because I retweeted because we should give them credit. We should give yes. them credit. Um, and quarterback Garrett. Yo, uh, I am working on Gary's next video. Waiting for some more recordings from him. And uh, watch our last video that Perry Chan worked on because it's a freaking masterpiece, like every single time he makes a video. And Conan Exiles, I'm I played with the with the team last night. It's very fun. So I'm gonna continue. And uh, maybe I'll start streaming this time. Yeah. And Sunday fun day. I don't know what we're gonna be playing, but Sundays, X Ray Girls channel, as a channel, my channel, Jane Theory's channel. We play some more games. It's a ton of fun. I can't believe and then also on Sunday. Forbidden oh yeah, Frontiers. Forbidden Frontiers. Continuation. A continuation yeah. of uh, last, yeah, of, of last week's episode because that documentary was amazing. The second one, one. you got to watch on your desktop. You can't watch that one in your phone because there's a lot of French, a lot of subtitles, and I'm like, oh, Ugh. nobody likes. My that phone's not that big. No. If my phone was like this big. If it was like a 32 inch monitor, I might be able to see it. Maybe I, if I get my 32 inch monitor phone. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, also, also, Vegas. <laughs> I'm gonna use my time here. Get your ass to Vegas. I want to see you there. It's a ton of fun. Third year in a row. Can't wait to see you there. Millennium Fandom RCP. Bar. Chrissy Tacos. Mayor's show. Chrissy, show. Chrissy Mayer's yes. show. It's gonna be fun. Top We're golf. all gonna be there. We're gonna yes, go to Top Yay. Golf. I wish. And I'm dropping a new shirt there when we. Uh, Oh, got a new shirt. If you like my original shirts, the skull shirt, you're going to like this new one. I'm trying to I peer pressure it. Chris Gore into going and others. Gotta get Chris yeah, yeah Chris, he was there last year. Uh, We're going to kidnap fun him. Fun dude to hang out with. Yeah, Chris is a good guy. Chris good guy. Yeah, yeah he's fun. Uh, thank you. Um, Shad M. Brooks. How are you, mate? I'm great. How are you? I'm going great. How's the book going? Book is going good. So in case people don't know, there's a second chance campaign on Kickstarter for the graphic novel. It's a bit of a silver lining because of the frustrating delays we ran into with the printing. But because we have run into it, people were messaging me, emailing me, um, asking if there was a way to get uh, a, you know, a copy of the graphic novel or Leather Bounds because they missed out. Well, now you have your chance. It's on Kickstarter and the Leather Bounds are available. Hard covers are available. Collect the covers are available. All there. So grab your copy or secure your copy uh before we're able to move forward with printing and so that's, that's yeah that's what's happening with me at the moment and then people know where to find me i'm i'm i'm, I'm half tempted if i should uh, also stream conan exiles on night's watch i don't know but i'm yes, just having do fun it. i'm just do having it. fun with you guys do we they don't have to do it, it, it all it's the time. Good, it's, it's chill. Sometimes. Yeah, like it, it's it's my one of my basically it's my current favorite game. I mean, my favorite game of all time is Dragon's Dogma. Um, but Conan Exiles, like I've sunk so many hours into that, and so when I saw As playing it, I was like, "Oi, this is my jam, As, mm. As, what you doing, man?" And come, uh, in. come on in. And I, I I jumped on, and we've been having lots of fun building castles. As a build, As has got a great castle actually. Yeah, man, it's Chad, cool. I built I built my the garden. House? You see my I saw castle? your house. Your house is looking good as well. Your yeah. house looks good. Like, <laughs> As has got house. a great we'll castle. At okay, I just want to say castle. We want to say castle. castle. We want to enunciate that. Yeah, and, uh, and all the ladies live in his cock. castle. No, oh, yeah, I think it sounds reason, more like I don't asshole. Know, but all, the, all the ladies are living in my castle. I thought um, you have a dancer. <laughs> mm, yeah. Slaves. I'm living with a bunch of traitors. 
Hey, hey, bro. No, bro. sorry, I'm not living. I'm playing with a bunch of trash. Not, bro. I mean, not you. Thank you. You're MGTOW. You're going going your own way. As towel. The yeah. women. Holy fuck. <laughs> Oh, this is why yeah, you have a bad name, betrayal. females. This is why you have a bad name. A I bad I, by the this way, this is really like modern day. <laughs> you go in the game, Shad's like, you want armor? You want weapons? Holy Here's a nice shit. bed. Here's Come a stay room. In Guys, please. I just got I a shout out. To help out. They, they then he killed her. Up. Then he killed her on the first night. Okay. That wasn't my fault. Talk about your video <laughs> game <laughs> on your video game streams, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Darius getting jealous. I'm not getting jealous. No, I'm actually I'm marveling at that. The Legion of Memers were on fire today. Yeah, the fucking the memes. memes are the memes. on point. You guys are great. It's art. It's art, I tell you. Uh, and I'll 100% play your little It's like It's just game. like GTA 5 role playing. We're just essentially doing going down role playing. Well, that sounds way better to me. Way better. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> on point. Oh, on wow. point. <laughs> 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 Oh no! As did you see somebody? Uh, somebody sent me this award, this like awesome collector or like Witcher, like and and I got a certificate. <laughs> I'm a Witcher. That I'm officially a Witcher now. Somebody sent it and made it. <laughs> I'll show it on uh, Real BBC. It's nice. it's hilarious. It's really nice. You guys are fucking awesome, man. Oh my God, you're awesome. Uh, speaking of awesome, Chrissy Mayer. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, I waited too long to pee. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, darn it. Imagine that would be like the best time to reveal that I've been trans this whole time. Hey, um, hey <laughs> And we'd still love you. Yeah. I got a bunch of shows coming up. I'm going to be in Bridgeport, Connecticut next Thursday, New York City next Saturday, Staten Island, April 7th, Jersey, April 8th. Uh, really excited for Vegas, April 27th. Get your tickets and don't be scared. Like if you don't want to be roasted, you know, you can sit in the back. I won't see you. Uh, and it's, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be awesome and fun. And what other shows I got Dallas coming up in May. So just go to my website, chrissymayer.com for tickets and, um, check out Simpcast this Sunday. Um, who is on Simpcast this Sunday? Amy War, Carmen Suter, Melanie Mack, and Tugs. <clears throat> so that'd be fun. Yeah. There you go. Melanie thank Mack, me. Tugs, cool people. Love them. Cool people. Uh, thank you, Chrissy, for being here. And uh, I can't wait for the shows in Vegas. That'll be fun. Thanks That'll for having fun. me. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, my audio is not great on this setup. So I feel like I was going in and out a lot. Uh, it always helps yeah, to have you're, you're you. Good. You got to have that mic closer, kind of like. Uh, yeah. Mic. It's called eating the microphone. Yeah, you got to be like this. Yeah. Like, like a that. softball. There's oh, analogies there. I can go the into. Microphone. There you go. Uh, As can eat a microphone. Yeah. Uh, that man can yeah. eat a microphone. Yeah. She said, What I can do with a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as as, as, uh, as uh, tried so hard to keep thank, a straight face. So oh, we missed you last week. So hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's good to have you back, brother. Please tell the fine folks where to find you and what you'll be doing in the next five minutes. Uh, in about <laughs> ten minutes' time, I might adjust the time because I was like, "Oh, we'll we'll be done by one o'clock," and it's like fucking ten to one now. Uh, I'm gonna play some Conan Exiles with some X-ray girl and some other. Don't know who's maybe Shad, maybe Nina, maybe Nina, maybe Garrett, uh, maybe Garrett. All coming on. Doing a little bit of Conan, Conan. Uh, Tuesday, real BBC on Gary's channel. Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan together. The Dream Team. Yeah. Uh, chat. Uh, you're the best. Uh, nerds, geeks alike. You're the best. Doesn't matter where you come from. What franchises you like. Never sell them short. Our stories are important. These are great stories of morality. These are great stories mm -hmm. of heroicism. These are great stories of aspiration and, and something to aspire to. And uh, never let anyone pull that down, ever. Because mm -mm. uh, you're awesome. Amen. And as, as, well said. remember to check your cupboard when you get back on the game. 
Uh, it's know. Vegemite. It's fucking Vegemite. That's what <laughs> it is. You will like it. You will like it. I slipped it, it in there. Okay. I found something. I just slipped it in there. I just slipped okay. it in there. I don't like y'all speaking in code like this. It just makes I'm it sound like I'm looking to see what's in there I now. I slipped something into I your cupboard. I something in your mm. cupboard, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds like code for something. Yeah. It really does sound, sound like code for, for, for gay sex. Shouts to Mark. It sounds like code for gay sex. Yes. Wow. Not judging. That's, I mean, no. <laughs> hey, let your freak flag fly if you want. Um, there as... were interesting accusations as to which character my character was married to, and I'm all confused now. And so... To Az's character, obviously, but uh, that's. A... Oh no, he's, he's he's kidnapped Nina. He's kidnapped X-Ray Girl. Yeah. Wow, is that how she you get the... married? Well, yeah, that's that's marriage. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I miss the Did old days. In this world, it is. I miss the old days. <laughs> Good times. He punked a performer. He, he, he turned her from a man to a woman. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the I got yeah. confused, obviously. Well, it was very modern day, as I said. As yeah. I said, mm -hmm. like, this is modern, you know. Well, I, I, for Melissa, I traded some uh, beads and some whiskey to her father. Little plot of what? land. No horses? Uh, no, no. Ooh, whiskey. Little pony. The Maybe a pony. <laughs> um. All right. Hey, it's been, this has been a great show. Benny was fantastic, so we will have him back. <laughs> Awesome. The chat was on fire. It's on fire, I tell you. You guys are great. Legion of Memers were brilliant. The Mod Rotics were on point. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. We could not do this without you. Hail to the fellowship who does not fuck around, which I love. And I've got a video coming. And yeah, Chuck Dixon, Graham Nolan, this Tuesday on Real BBC. I cannot wait for that. Final Frontiers with Adam Krigler. And quarterback Garrett, next ray girl is gonna be tons of fun. That show's growing like crazy. We had a huge crowd. Uh, and we're showing emails. and growing, unlike Gavin. Um oh. and <laughs> <laughs> had to get that joke's never gonna get old. It's not gonna get old. We're gonna drive it to the ground. We'll not stop until morale is improving. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh next week, who do we got, X Ray Girl? Aiden Paladin. Aiden oh, Paladin. No shit. Hey, that's fantastic. Who's that? Uh, she's a YouTuber. She's Socio a YouTuber. Sociologist. Sociologist. Yeah. She does essays, and she's also a massive Daredevil fan. Yeah. Uh, and Star Trek. Brilliant. And Star Trek fan. Aiden is yeah. great. I've hung a out with Aiden's great. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, hung cool. out with her on um, EFAP a couple of times. Aiden's awesome. Yeah, she's good yep. people. Been watching her for a long time. So that is good. And then uh, Razor Fist is confirmed. I, I know he's confirmed. Confirmed. He's confirmed. He's confirmed in a month. Razor Fist is confirmed in a month. Can't wait for that. Plus, we got some other fun guests which we'll just keep a lid on uh, for now because they're not confirmed, but we're trying. Dylan Mulvaney. No. <laughs> the Superman. I'm trying, man. I, I haven't gotten a call back. I haven't gotten a call back. <laughs> Getting ghosted. Getting ghosted. Uh, as far as... Right? So, yeah. Getting big time. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. We'll see you next week. Ciao, Bella. Bye. 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 Patrick's Day. Bye, everybody.
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.